to... Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday. It is August 16th. It is a beautiful, sunny day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Eat your heart out, streamies. Today's episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Thank you to our sponsors who we love, 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 love. It's a uh -oh. 104 or 5 degrees in this room. Don't it, dude. It's about 110 degrees in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call him a fat pig. You can't call him. Those, Those Italians, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. And as you can see, XQC will be uploading that later to his uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, that's fair use. Thank you guys. Well done to Zach and Ian, of course. The collaboration of the of a lifetime. The role of a lifetime. How's everybody doing today? We've got a fun show here. Any thoughts and prayers in the uh, Peanuts Gallery? Just looking forward to eating some toilet food, man. So here Hell we go yeah. today. San Samantha, as I like to call her, is a chef boy or D. She's a chef extraordinaire. And she ha- Oh. Some new kind of vibes. I like them. And Sam is taking a challenge upon herself. On TikTok, there's a dude who cooks all of his meals in hotel rooms. I'm talking about slow cooking ribs. Talking about you cooking stuff ribs. with the uh, iron. And so Sam got inspired. So if we we can cut to Sam, just say hi real fast. So she's going to be in the bathroom today, cook cooking us a full course chef's menu, a prefix menu, and we'll be trying it straight out of the toilet bowl uh, as we wait for that. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to review some of our favorites, and then. Uh, I think it's going to be delicious. I think Sam is going to be oh, making major moves. Oh, I know it's going to be delicious. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. going to be, it's going to be the idea of it that scares me. That it's is going to be physically beautiful. Um, everyone's saying I look super young. Oh, thank you. Here's Sam, <laughs> California Poopy Kitchen. I heard Dan used to work there. Hello. It looks like you're in prison, Sam. I feel like it. Oh, the volume's a little quiet. You know, I've have you seen those TikToks where people cook in prison? Yeah. It's giving that. Like the, in the bags and with little hats, yes. Kool-Aid packs yes. they use for lipstick. So gnarly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right Go here. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah. I'm working on, uh, this is what I call the poo vide. So the I'm using the back of the uh, toilet as a sous vide tank. And actually, I've got my steaks to filet mignon. Oh. I'm ready to drop them in. So let's get go. it, Leah. Let's just get it started now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just drop these in because they're going to cook for about 40 to 50 minutes at okay. their thickness. So there's that. Then and in, and inside here, the vacuum seal, Sam, is there some kind of herbs or oils? What's going on inside? Yes, the fat is rolled in brisket seasoning and I put some <laughs> seasoning salt on the rest. Fantastic. So, You're amazing. And, okay, so after that, I'm going to use the burner of the coffee pot to give it a nice sear. Oh! I'm also going to use the coffee pot to cook my instant mashed potatoes. Can I ask you, are you afraid that there's any shot that the coffee pot shatters? No. Over the steaks? I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Okay. It's gonna be good. And then I'm going to steam some green beans in here and add a garlic butter sauce. That looks to Ooh. be a kettle. It is, it is an electric kettle. And then I'm gonna cook some bacon with my straightener. <laughs> yeah, oh, this sounds like a good ass meal. Sam is in the laboratory, aka the bathroom. Your That's what I fall. always call the bathroom, anyway. So yeah, this is uh, this is the setup. So here it is, prison cooking with Sam. We love it. We love it. Very exciting. I'm excited to bring you a gourmet meal. Now, Sam. The toilet water is at a cool 140 degrees. If I were to take a oh dump God. in there, would my poop cook? Yes, it would It would be fall off the bone. 
Wow. I wonder what that oh, would smell tender. like. Sorry to be so graphic, but what would that smell like? I mean... Probably not good. Put a little chives, a little butter. I mean, <laughs> Shit. Uh, Shit. When you're done, you know, when you're done, leave it hot. Let's see if we can do some experiments. Take a hot shit. Hot oh shit, God. baby. So there it is. So much to look forward to. Uh, thank you, Sam. We'll continue to check in with her throughout the episode. Lots of I'll mastery. keep you posted. Thank you, Sam. There it is. So, um... That's very exciting. Hey, there's a new sound of me trending on TikTok. I was trying to click this last night, and it kept taking me to random TikTok videos, so I wasn't able to actually see it. Hopefully it works on the laptop. Okay, here that's it is. That's true. That's really, really, really... Okay, wow. Whoa. 730,000 likes. Okay, let's see. If that's true, that's really, really, really horrible. I do genuinely believe that's true, based on nothing. <laughs> nice. Right. <laughs> That's funny. I don't even remember that. Okay. Now, how long before, like, uh, Ross starts posting this about their low, low prices or something? Their sale is almost over. I, so let's see. Uh, how do I go to the sound page? So you click below, uh, follow. Original sound. Yeah. Oh, here it is, yeah. So we're, we're at this moment, we're only at 2,400, unlike, you know, my mega viral moment I had was at a hundred thousand uses, so... We're gonna have to hopefully keep an eye on this. If that's true, that's really, really, really... I mean, who hate cats probably also have a I problem with women. I genuinely believe that's true, based on nothing. If that's true, that's really, really... That's funny. Really I personally horrible. don't like cats that much. I do genuinely much. I hate believe to that's tell true, you, based on nothing. If I'm fine with cats, we're chill with each but other. But I think if I had a cat, I'd love them. I take that, <laughs> Ian. No editorial additions, please. If that's true, you can leave that's it up, really, really, really I am allergic. Men who hate Barbie movie probably hate really women. That I believe with. Horrible. I do genuinely believe that's true, based on nothing. That I believe. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. If that's true, that's really, really, really When someone outwardly hates horrible. cats, okay, I do that genuinely cat one. believe that's true, based on... I better change my tune on cats, because I'm going to be the taking thing I've ever groomed yeah. is my two virgin cats. Another cat one. Okay, the cat, the cat memes are out here powerful. So that's exciting to keep our eyes uh, open for. I'm here live. I'm Target, not, not Walmart, if you're looking for a new uh, sound on TikTok, go ahead. You'll definitely be hearing from my lawyer. That's right. I'm getting rich on these that's TikTok sounds. True. That's really, really, really... <laughs> 12-year-old me convinced that Naruto was going to come save me from an abusive household. Oh, that's dark. Jesus. I do genuinely believe that's true, based on nothing. I hope Naruto saves you, girl. I'm rooting for you. Okay, great. Also, just to touch on a story we talked about on Wednesday, or Monday, sorry. The Bobby vs. Drake drama. So Bobby posted potentially a clue about if this was a... Drake! Was this a stunt, or was this a genuine following up? Big announcement coming next Wednesday. Set a reminder, you guys will not want to miss this. 9 a.m. Next Monday. Is she... And we, we suspect it, that this has something to do with Drake? I mean, this mm -hmm. could... It could explain this weird falling out. It if it classic. doesn't... If this Drake. has nothing to do with Drake, then there was a real falling out between mm. them. Right. That's my opinion. Drake! You don't believe you don't you don't necessarily believe this, do you, Dan? Well, I just uh, I I mean I see why you can infer that, but I don't know. I, I it, believe it. It's so vague that it could just end up being nothing related to that. <laughs> There's a lot of thoughts though in the comments and responses to this story. A lot of people are like, "Yeah, Drake is a petty bitch. Of course he would do this." Drake! I saw right. some people saying Drake wanted the money, which to me seems no. less likely. I mean, he's so rich. Why wouldn't he want her to? Yeah, no, that, what does that suggest? I don't know. A lot of people were saying that, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> he wants the money from the YouTube revenue? Apparently, that's what people thought, <laughs> genuinely. It doesn't make any sense. No. Yeah. Dude's probably being paid like $50 million to just post Instagram stories about steak. I, yeah. I don't think yeah. he needs. He's like, girl, you need to send me that $2,000 right now. Yeah. Uh, another a theory was just something about with the label, Drake! you know, un, it was an unauthorized interview. Maybe he needs to get, I, I don't know, but we'll find out on Monday. I'll be able to say one, for one, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. 
if this was a falling out or a publicity stunt. Drake! <laughs> Thank you, Drake. Jason Nash, by the way, friend of the show? Not really. Sure. Is he a friend? <laughs> no. how, is, how is he a friend of the show? I don't know. He's not really, <laughs> is he? Not at all. <laughs> is he an enemy of the show? I don't know, kind of. I mean, As what he did yesterday was kind of crazy. You're talking yeah, about we'll what I, the Colleen Ballinger thing? Yeah, let's see if he's the So here's the Jason apparently on stage. Yeah, let's not forget what he did to poor young Seth. Oh, obvious. Oh my God, I totally forgot. <laughs> that was Jason Nash. Um, Here he is on stage defending Colleen Ballinger? <laughs> An interesting take from Jason. He, and, you know, he's, 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 not, he's not afraid to go against the, the he's crowd. He's got a powerful mind. mind. Refreshing take. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. All right, Jason. Negativity almost or something. It seems like you, whether it's Trisha attacking you over and over and again. Right. You just, you're not responding or it doesn't seem, maybe it does affect you yeah. behind the scenes that we don't. I know this guy. No offense to him. It's really weird. He, he's emailed me a bunch of times and he gets these huge interviews. But when you go to his channel, nobody watch it. And he, I think he, he like... Are you sure he's not big on Facebook or something? That's like mm, always the dark yeah, horse. Yeah, it really is. So tell me. Tell me. Do some ops on this what, guy. What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> you, said, <laughs> the guy. you said I know this guy. I know I know him, but you I don't just know. know you what's recognize him? him. Does anybody know this guy's name? No, what's I've never name? seen him before. So he, this is a whole conspiracy. He, he says like, yo, I'm part of like, um, he says he's part of Fortune or some reputable <laughs> magazine, but it doesn't seem like he works for them anymore. And he posted to his personal YouTube channel. Hey, like has, like a, has he been, was this like years ago that he was like always emailing you? He's still doing it. Oh, and he gets I like a thousand views. I remember this guy. And um, yeah. he seems like a nice guy, a fine guy. It's just, it's an interesting operation he's got going there. Um, huh. But does, nobody knows who he is. Yeah. I mean, he's even email, emailed me and I don't know who he is. <laughs> Oh, he emailed you trying to get me? What about you, Dan? You'd be a good guy. Tom Ward? Is that it? That sounds right. That sounds right. Somebody in the chat just said Tom Ward. Okay, so you do know. <laughs> yeah, yes. Tom one Ward person knows. Okay, so is this guy have a yeah, face? He only has uh, 39,000 subs on YouTube. And then YouTube, look look at the guess he has. It's Tom nuts. Tom Ward show. Oh, my God. Face. 39. <laughs> the Jason Nash interview has 235 views. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? what I'm saying. Yeah, what but, the fuck? But, but, hold on. I'm going to- I'm going Wait, to- Wait, what? 235? Here. Let me send it to you. <laughs> How did people even find that to post it on our subreddit? Yeah, that's- Is that but one then, person but in so, chat who knew him? So somehow this guy is interviewed, like, look, these are all people he's interviewed, right? Jake Paul, Gary V. Wait, hold on. Your screen. Oh. I, I, I'm only talking about this not to be mean, just because it's so- Odd. It's so interesting. I've been fascinated by this guy. The Tom Ward Show. So, it, is he an industry plant? Oh, um, I don't think so. Interesting. He's the opposite of an industry plant. This guy's been trying to do this for years, and he's getting a hundred views. Wait, is he on Facebook? I'm looking right now. Facebook is the worst social media website, though, and everything. I'm just getting constant pop-ups. <laughs> Uh, Dubrick. I haven't logged in in a while, so now it's just like bombarding me. Okay, Tom Ward. So look, so look who he's done interviews for. David Dubrick. <laughs> he had an exclusive interview with Logan Paul four years ago. Only got 170 uh, views. Natalie Noel. Charlie D'Amelio. Wait, this can't be, really be him, can it? The Tom Ward show on Facebook has 10 followers. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on with him. He has 190 That has to be the views. wrong... No, that is his account. What the fuck? That's him, bro. What's this? Hubi? What the fuck's Hubi? This is just his link tree of all his stuff there. Oh, so this is an, his official link. Mm, yeah. So let's let's check everything. And not to again, not to be rude, it's just a fascinating, weird thing. So we got Where TikTok. is his audience? Maybe it's purely the on the audio side? G Google, uh, look his name up in the email, because he pitches it in a way. Where I saw it, I was like, oh, this sounds like it could be interesting. But then I, I, I do some ops, right? I'm curious who it is, which apparently some people don't. Yeah. And I go to his channel, and it's got like 100 views. And I mean, listen, I mean, no offense. I'm, not, I'm down to talk to anyone, but... He has a 43 ratings on Spotify. And what does he that has mean? 200 ratings on Apple. Tom Ward, yeah. Forbes interview. Oh, there it is. He's a big fan. He says. 
Read it. I'm a big fan. I would love to do an interview with Ethan. This is from 2019, by the way. This is an old ass email. We do the Forbes article and I Forbes. I film it for my YouTube channel. So he I don't even think he works for Forbes anymore. Like type his name Forbes and see if he is in, even active. Uh he, he yeah, he is. A thousand he, on TikTok. Yeah. There he is. What's his latest? He's a contributor. Uh June fifth, not that long ago. He is. So 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 like why are you not I think people are doing this under the assumption that there's yes. an affiliation with Forbes, here, but got, there isn't. So there's uh, ridiculousness right here, right for Forbes. But is is this so weird? Well, a lot of people can write on Forbes, but they're not getting published to the actual news page. They're unlisted, basically. Yeah, a, a lot of people can do that. It's like an opinion page, basically. Yeah, right. here, opinions expressed by Forbes contributors are their own. So it's right. not, he's not like, he's not even a paid he guy. He does not get like put on the front front page ever. It, I it's think. It's just a fact in my opinion. This is so weird, right? Very strange. Instagram a thousand, TikTok a thousand, and again, once again, to go back to his guests, <laughs> um, Paris Hilton. Wait, Stassi Schroeder. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the girl from? Oh my God! Yeah, that's the girl. That's from, Stassi uh, from, from Vanderpump. Vanderpump. I hate that I know this. She you looks guys, so different. You and Ela infected Allie with an obsession with Vanderpump, and it's I, all I've been hearing in our apartment for. Dude, what, two he weeks got now. Stassi Schroeder. Stassi. Um, going down the line, you know, Gary V apparently was on here, although I can't find him anywhere. Different perspectives. <laughs> here he is. Gary V got three thousand. 3,000! Everybody look at your phone Paris right Hilton, 4,000 views. Gary Vee is only, six, it's only 16 minutes long. Okay, fine, 4,000 views? What the fuck? Why is it so short? Okay, let's see. No offense, Tom, I'm just curious. I, I, like, does he have a big audience? Instead of what I see a lot of people like doing, which is they podcast? give information, and then they want to charge you for that information. Shut up, Gary, you're annoying. Gary, you fucking idiot. Dumbass. So Loser. this is a big thing in like the SEO world. They Access. sell Forbes blogs, and mm -hmm. he's basically selling Forbes blogs for interviews. It's like a thousand bucks to buy mm -hmm. it usually. Oh shit! Yeah. And you get a link from Forbes to your website and shit like that. I'm pretty sure I saw Emma Chamberlain on here too, but maybe she had him remove it because it's just kind of embarrassing. Look at this. This dude from uh, uh, Pimp My Ride, 600 views. This is amazing. Ryan? Yeah, How do Ryan. You do this? Ryan. He's a good dude. <laughs> Charlie Whoa. D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio's been on like 5K. That one actually got a little bit of views. Gary V. I yeah. mean, what the fuck is going on here? You know? Yeah, Bradley Martin. And, and you would think, I, I, not to be rude, Tom, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Because like right. you, you somehow tricked all these people to coming on, and it's still Ryan, or Jason Nash is only getting 200 views. How is that even possible? <laughs> Let's get, let's watch and see if we can get a sense for why is this interview so not good. The most successful people in the world teach you how to elevate your life. You wanted me to come on your show and tell people how to elevate their life? Because I would, I, that's not what yeah, I that's do. Not, that's not Ethan. That's not what I do. Do you want advice on like ruining your life? Yeah, I mean, shit. Reputation. Well, here you brought uh, Jason Nash on to ruin his life and defend Colleen Ballinger. Let's take a look that's at that. That's what I do. You know. Oh yeah, so there was an Emma Chamberlain interview. I fucking knew it. Look at this. I think she must have got him to erase it or some shit. And, and I don't blame her. He says, my Forbes interview with Emma Chamberlain. Okay, see if this is actually on Forbes. Google that. In 2018. You know. Forbes, Tom Ward, when I Emma LA, people Chamberlain. Were like, Emma's Instagram is like, you know, whatever, like, she's like changing and all the shit. And I was like, yo, yeah, you can scroll the who fuck say, who back. Who says this? Who is that? I don't even know. It's actually so funny. You click on the- uh, she Send me a- Okay, Probably so. like, let's do the Forbes 43 questions. <laughs> okay, don't sleep on YouTube star Emma Chamberlain. So, he's doing this weird thing. He's like, look what I did for Emma. It's not- I Wait, there's no video. There's no video. I still don't think this is like an actual Forbes article. This is just like a blog. Because Forbes is a so? blog pretty much. Yeah, yeah. it's just a, exactly. It has a, there's two sides of Forbes. Cause look at this. It goes Forbes, Leadership, right. CMO, Network, the just fuck? The exact same as his other articles. 
Holy Could have crap. Been like, he's like, do you mind if I record the interview? That, and then right. he puts it on his personal YouTube channel. Where it gets a hundred views. And then she has to request her PR team to tell him to erase it. This is crazy. This is like, I see these scams on, scams on Fiverr. Where people do this. They well, sell these. I don't think, I don't know if he's char he wasn't char trying to charge right. me. Yeah, well, he no. charges no, you I, with I the interview. I think he's earnest in wanting to like no. build up a podcast and everything. No, I think he, yeah. I mean, he, I'm not going to say that. He wasn't trying to get money from me. No, I'm saying you paying is your exposure for his podcast. Who's paying? Yeah, I mean, no one is paying, but instead of paying, you're giving him exposure being on his podcast. That's what I mean. So instead of a and payment. in exchange, he posted on his 10 person blog. <laughs> yeah. He's a savvy, That's what I mean. savvy but the, guy. The thing is, he... I don't know how he's done this. This is so weird. I'm so... It's so funny that this guy came up. I've always wondered about him. Tom I mean, Ward. You said yourself, your his email almost got you. You were, like, I did. interested. Yeah, because I was like, oh, Forbes wants to interview me? And then I was like, wait, what the fuck is this? This is Tom Ward, not Forbes. You know? So let's see what Jason Nash uh, had to say on the Tom Ward. The only thing warding off is the viewers. Tom warding off the viewers. Well, this dude's been at it for four years. He's gotten super famous people and nobody's watching this. Sh I'm sorry, Tom. It's just time to move on. Someone said PMP <laughs> tactic. Just turn the camera on and start asking shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Tom got out of Jason. Wait, the negativity almost or something. It seems like you... Also, I feel like he's too... Uh, sorry, again, Tom. He's too old. Because he's like talking to Emma Chamberlain, 17-year-old Emma Chamberlain, like, like, I am... Fascinated by everything in your life. It's like <laughs> cool. Unlike me, of course. How yeah, old is I Tom Ward? <laughs> Before I accuse him of being too old. Yeah, I, I was just looking it up. Go on. Uh, uh I don't know, man. He's gotta be pushing fifty that Tom. His dude. age, there's a more famous Tom Ward, so I, we can't even find his age, mind. man. He's got merch. Well, the other Tom Ward is 52. So, so there you go. Um, He's got to be around that age. <laughs> the British film star. <laughs> Although somebody did find this and posted to our subreddit. So sh I guess eat your Wait, heart out, Tom. The negativity almost or something. It seems like you, whether it's Trisha attacking you over and over and again. Right. You just, you're not responding or it doesn't seem, maybe it does affect you yeah. behind the scenes that we don't. Dude, look at how fucking over this shit he is. I've never seen an unhappier looking person. Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, is this, what am I doing here? Is this Forbes? <laughs> Where's my article? <laughs> Don't see. Or with the Jeff stuff, you know, all that went on. Like, how do you stay, I guess, positive and out of all the trappings, I, the drama that comes along with this I job? I learned, I learned like a long time ago that like, you, you can't, I can't win at that game. Mm -hmm. So if you if you feed into any of that, it's just gonna bite you in the ass. And and um, so for the people that like do drama, I mean that's the dub that's it, the dubric it does, strategy. It, it eventually, I, I found the opposite to be true. Frankly, like when Keemstar was lying about me for all those years, and people were just like turning on me, I tried to ignore it, and it starts to snowball to the point where people will believe and say anything about you. And when I started addressing it, is when it started to clear up. This is the Dubrick strategy. And I think the problem with Jason and the Dubrick crowd is that the things they've done are so heinous, and that they've actually done them, that accepting responsibility for them means being sued into oblivion, or potentially even arrested. So I guess it's a little bit harder for them to not feed into it. It comes for though. Um... And you've got to be built for that. You've got to be able to be like, yeah, I don't care. I'm built and for that shit. I don't necessarily shit. know if I'm built for that. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not built for like, uh, oh, he said this and she you said You hear that, Ryan Kavanaugh, you bitch? I'm built for this shit. You fuck. You clown. <laughs> that, and it's just like, who gives a f <laughs> You know, like, honestly, who, gi I, who gives a f <laughs> Like... Colleen Ballinger, like, oh my god. I don't care. No, no, no. Like, I, no, you're not about to co-sign him, are you, Tom? No, no, no. Don't speak on something you don't know about now, Jason. Tom, Tom, wait, Tom's about to back him I up on this. Step in it, dude. I'm worried for Tom. I'm worried, Tom. You've been, you've Tom, spent no, so no, long no. building yeah. this this Tom. perfect career. Don't you dare build Don't throw it all <laughs> away, Tom. Don't. Here it is. I 
you know, the girl's been on YouTube for 20 years. She maybe she made some missteps. Mm -hmm. Oh my but god. But you know, like dumb. You're gonna you moron. Dumb. Why would you say dumb. that, Jason? Why would you call sending porn to a minor a misstep? Well, just like wondering. Listen, in Dubrick's crowd, it is a misstep. That's true. That's true. It is baby. I it's mean, baby it, you know, pranking to a death. dude into. <laughs> I can't even summarize what he did to Seth without sounding like crazy. Oh, that's horrible. But yeah, that that was a misstep too. Yes. I'm gonna sit there and and drag her and make money off her or her name. Like, I think it's really low. Yeah. I think it's really, really fucking low. And I won't do it. Like, I won't. You're so much better than me, Jason. Uh, <laughs> Isn't you can he so much manipulate better? Children instead. <laughs> the bell tolls. Yeah. From Jason, Ash. you're so much better than me. God, so above everything. That's what I love about Jason Nash. He's so above everything. <laughs> Except, well, the one thing he is under, of course, is David's thumb, toe, foot. Not as much anymore, does he? I don't know. Is he still David's on Snapchat. Goon? I don't know what goes on in David's Yeah, I don't anymore. know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll literally go work at Fuddruckers or Starbucks before I... That's literally not true. You have debased yourself to the utmost level in order to keep Dilbrick's money coming from you would do anything before working at Fud Rockers, trust me it just won't do it and it, it's um and so you see the bags under his eyes man that that's a man who's seen shit no offense again to Jason but those are some bags those bags <laughs> those bags they've got those Suitcases have Feel luggage. Uh, what does it say? You've got to... Uh... Feel that bag up! My brain don't work so good. Bag! He's got baggage. Make a bag! Under his eyes. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just, not, I'm just not built that way. No. And, and, it, and it's like... Also, like... I, 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 I want to see what Tom <laughs> said about it. I love Tom Ward. He's my absolute fave. So I'm reading into his history. And it seems like his big break was an article with Jake Paul. And then after writing this Forbes article for Jake and Jake sharing it, then Jake was able to hook him up with interviews with like Emma Chamberlain and these other big people like Josh Richards, David Dobrik. So I'm guessing that's what he's doing. He's just doing... He's, uh, but it's not... Tom. Oh, man. Tom, you had your shot. It's just not happening. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I might be really. too mean to Tom. I mean, he's... Work. He's out there. Tom's doing his thing. Um, I do feel like he tried to mislead me a little bit with his Forbes association. <laughs> well, I so when you brought this up and you mentioned that he used to email you I'm a lot, I, like I said, it immediately rang a bell. Um, and Lena, who acts, has access to your your like public work email, uh -oh. searched his name, <laughs> and there's several exchanges or several emails that he sent, but this one. Caught Lena's eye, wait, and, I, and I remember this happening now. This was so fucking funny. Wait, wait, wait. This is an exchange I had with Tom. Not with Tom, with uh, with his booker. <laughs> Tom has a booker. His, That's it. It's his Steve Ross. Yeah, who's his booker? It probably Rossi. is Steve Ross. Yeah. Um, One of them is Well, with his I, I censored the name because I actually based. It might be a real person, but here. Um, do you remember getting this email? Hey, Team H3, it's blank. I am the talent booker for the Tom Ward podcast, and he would love to have Ethan on the show. I loved working with Timothy at full screen on his podcast. I have no idea what that means, but... We can tape when and where it's convenient for him! Do you remember this now? Yes! I remember we were like so confused, we were like, why? It's bolded? Holy shit! In all I caps! Do. I remember being like, who is this fucking guy? <laughs> okay, this, so, this is on. why I have Here's like what irrational... You with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, this is why I have an irrational oh, distaste okay. for Tom Ward. Oh shit, nice fine line. <laughs> Wait, pull oh, that back up God. again? Oh, sorry. Let me, let me read it verbatim for the audio listeners. Uh, oh shit. Tom's booker, Steve Rossi, reached out to us. Yeah, t uh, should I interview Tom? Do a little switch the tables on him? Grill his ass? So what were you trying to... Uh... Re pull up the email again. Your part or the original the whole part? thing, the whole thing. I okay. I'll or my part. You know. Should I send it with the timestamps too? Does it? It's just because I'm trying to leave out the person's name, but oh, well, okay. you, you just show, pull up where you already pulled up, where it's where it's. 
cut out. I didn't save it. So. But also, that wasn't the first one. The first time he reached out to you personally was in 2018. We should send Jimmy. When was the last time he reached out to me? The messages that Dan is showing you now, that looks like the last conversation. He gave up. Oh, check. There's some good details later here. Let me see if I have in my personal. It says, uh, after the, where it's convenient for him, we have a studio booked for thir this Thursday evening. Uh, he's interviewed everyone from Demi Lovato, friend of the show, Kate Hudson, David Dobrik, friend of the show, Shane Dawson, friend of the show. Mm -hmm. Doing popular That's it, Britain you see? Now launching a new podcast. So this was early on. You were one of the original guests here. He, here's his reel. Here's his articles on Forbes. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, so, yeah, I was, I was flabbergasted. He says... We can tape when and where it's convenient for him. <laughs> Bold, all caps. Pull that back up again. It seems like a threat. <laughs> I know. What are you threatening <laughs> me? Yeah. <laughs> we have a studio book this Thursday. It's like, it's Thursday, bitch. It's <laughs> Show up or else. It's Thursday at our <laughs> studio. No other options available. Show up or else. <laughs> Did he strong arm all these people? <laughs> and then I responded, he sounds like a busy guy. <laughs> sounds like a busy guy. <laughs> I wasn't sure what the fuck to make of that. Did they reply to that? Did yeah. they yeah, did they respond? They did. They said uh uh only if you keep him busy interviewing awesome people like you, smiley face. <laughs> wow. Aww. I guess she didn't nice get retort. it. Nice retort. Yeah, she didn't get it. Yeah. You have to hit it with that ping pong. I have never been propositioned like that in my life. <laughs> and by the biggest nobody, too. Like, listen, I've, I, you I'm know. Still, like, it's all so weird that part of me still feels like he secretly has a massive fan base on, like, <laughs> so, on Rumble or it something. It would make more like, sense. Of. Well, I he predates Tumblr. Rumble. Uh, not on Facebook. On Tumblr, yeah. yeah. He's huge on Tumblr. And we he's just, not on we don't Facebook. Even realize. If it's not on YouTube. Could be on Snapchat. I don't know. He's a LinkedIn in influencer. Mm. They are addressing the H3 podcast and talking about you, Ethan. Who? Tom? Is Tom live right now? <laughs> Tom. <laughs> it's Tom. Because they're saying because the email was uh, to the H3 podcast, the him was in reference to you, not Wait, Tom. hold on. Pull that up. Dude, no yeah. way. It was in reference to you, no, I, I thought. I, I, well, yeah. I get that. Oh, it was? But the yeah. wording is still fucking hilarious. Wait. They're talking about it's, you. It is addressed to, hey, Team H3H3. It's, I thought we'd love for to have sure. Ethan on the show. We can tape it whenever it's convenient for him. Whoa, but the whoa. thing is, is that they mention... Pull up the whole email. Okay, got it. I have to read it again. Yeah, it's definitely read yeah, the whole email. I, I, I still think it's funny to write him. Don't yeah, no, it's... Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck was that? But then, go. to make it even more confusing, they're like, we have a studio on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Like, this dude doesn't have a studio. <laughs> right. We, we got it ready only for Thursday. <laughs> And it sounds important, and like, if you're not there, something, they're gonna lose something big. They're like, we have the studio, it's in place, you've gotta be there. In bold. Okay, it says, I'm a talent booker for the Tom Ward show. We can tape when it's convenient for him. But, and he would love to have, have Ethan, Ethan on, on the show. show. We can tape hey, when it's and where it's him. convenient the for him. him. The him is this. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm Yeah, uh, that's definitely the intent, because the, the it's crazy otherwise, but I, but it obviously, I understand why you, I mean, I interpreted it that way too. Like it seems like. And then we have a book, studio book Thursday even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe I, maybe also, maybe this is part of why your show's not popping off, Tom. I mean, even your emails are confusing. Right. Tiny. I thought you were insulting me. <laughs> it's funny that you also Sounds like a busy back, guy. <laughs> Is this how you emailed Demi Lovato? It could have changed the whole trajectory of Tom's career if you had just read this email a little more carefully, you know? We got him. I you think know, they, they bold those parts because this is a generic email, so they swap it, and they want to make sure that they swapped it. Mm. So Ethan, then him. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then it says Ethan and bold again a little yeah, later. Yeah, bolded down here. To proofread. <laughs> so they just blast this out. Oh, here, I can draw your attention to it with my new add-on. Oh, oh, that's sick. Look how cool that is. That's, that's sick. Yeah. How'd you do that? discovered this. Yeah. It's big news. That's big, big news. news. Oh, boy. That's great. Well, shout out Tom Ward. Shout uh, out. My boy. My good old boy. <laughs> He's grinding hard. 
I got a. He's grinding. Yeah. He's been grinding for years. Yeah. Put some respect on us. He's man. grinding to the bone, man. He's hustling. He's, he's got grind. nothing left. He's leveling no up. No way. Him in the grind, Look at this exclusive that just <laughs> Wow. Bro! <laughs> Dude, Joe yeah. Biden! Yo! It's him. How many views did the Joe Biden interview have? Joe is looking... I, like 400. 400 views for the president? <laughs> What's happening to his skull? He's looking for <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on, Jack. Make fun of old man's shape. Shame <laughs> on you. Shit, you get down, dude. Pull it up. Pull up. Put you up right now. That, 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 that. This man has not had an interview with, oh, look, the, what the fuck? <laughs> Four weeks ago, he had his biggest video with 9,000. <laughs> with Alex Hormozzi. These all have, like, 90 views. That's how much you get, like, that's, like, how much watch when you post it to your family on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. Shit, man. Watch it. Here's the truth. I failed. Let's hear. He's the founder of Rude, the streetwear brand that's been worn by everyone from Jay-Z to LeBron James. And he said something that really stuck with me, and I'm still thinking about is this, it. This is 1080? The people need to learn to lean into their struggles oh. and share those because it's not, at 1080. That doesn't look 1080, does nice. it? Nice. Everyone Brainy knows what it feels like to win, but everyone knows what it feels like to what lose. What are these captions? And that really resonated with me because I'm <laughs> guilty, that? like all of us, of sharing our wins. Look at me on social. Look at me on Instagram or on TikTok. Hey, I'm at Paris Hilton's house. Hey, look at me. I'm at David Dobrik's house. Hey, I'm at the Rude Fashion <laughs> Show. Isn't this cool? Look at me. What I don't show you is kind of what's going on behind the scenes, and really, I'm failing. A lot of you don't. <laughs> that's know. that's. In front of the scenes. Oh, no. Wait, hold on, Tom. I don't want to be. I, again, I'm not trying to be mean to my my dear friend Tom, but the failing is in the front and in the back. I'm Team Tom after that. I mean, it's funny. Hold on, let me watch. Let me watch. Know this, but I quit my steady corporate no! job that I had for ten years. No! I was selling <laughs> kitchen equipment to grocery stores. No. Oh, I like this guy. I love him. Oh, I love come him. on. I all right, maybe he's Tom a good maybe guy. Tom maybe he knows nothing he's about grinding. Balance. He's no. working his tail off. Let's um, give him some. No, no, no. I, that's me. If you never hired me, this the, <laughs> the last thing this guy needs is a yes man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I bring him on? He's trying, man. You gotta well, give him yeah, props. Yeah, he's trying. Let's but... see, Dan, reach out to his uh, booking agent and tell him when it's convenient for me. <laughs> <laughs> he can come on. Dude, this guy's gonna beat us at the streamies next year. Tom Ward 100%. podcast, baby. Live yeah. last year, gonna I blow quit up that soon, to dude. focus on YouTube full time. Well, if you look at some of my previous videos, just go back and look. I'm failing. My views suck. I okay, okay, right. fair, fair, fair. You're a good guy. Oh, You're a good man. Self-aware. Yeah, he's a good man. Rob Deerdeck a couple weeks ago. That's a good example of it. And if you look, it cost me two thousand dollars to shoot and edit the video. Mother of God, bro! You did. You interviewed Rob Deerdeck, and you got. 200 views? But how? We have to do something. But how is it? E like, again, okay, I'm starting to respect the hustle, and so I'm not trying to be disrespectful. How is it possible to fail that hard? <laughs> like, I don't need, I didn't know it was possible. It's the algorithm, dude. The algorithm? Yeah. <laughs> Unless Shadow he band. started this channel by shitting on his homies like Blippy, then I don't understand how the algorithm. Oh, apparently that him. juice is the algorithm. I mean, by for blips. Yeah, I feel for this guy, man. I gotta, I gotta wonder what's going on. Feeling my views suck. I interviewed Rob Deerdeck a couple weeks ago. That's a good example of it. And if you look, it cost me two thousand dollars to shoot and edit the video, plus all the time prepping for it, getting there, coming back, reviewing it, making notes, all that, and it hasn't even cracked three hundred views. So it's how? not go how <laughs> Tom Deerdeck's a big deal. Tom Deerdeck, <laughs> Rob. Are we sure it's actually huh. Rob Deerdeck and it's not like a fake Ellen situation? <laughs> it's Robert Van Dyke. I mean, I'll look just to make sure, but all these other people are real celebrities. You just had Jason Nash on and couldn't crack 300 too. Or There's maybe something happening. It's like some good ass deep fake or some shit. You know? Let's let's see. I'll go like back. Someone put a curse on him. Okay, no, he's, YouTube he's views. trying, man. You know? It, Ro I know he's trying. I'm just trying to analyze. It's fascinating. You can't deny it's fascinating. Oh, without a doubt. I just want to know how the fuck he gets these big names. That's it. Because he because the, his emails, the Forbes emails. <laughs> People no, he's magnetic. <laughs> it's, uh, the YouTube game is different. I mean, even Howie was sort of talking to... about that. You know, about like... Uh, That's the game. Like, 
he learned so much from the episode with you. Maybe it's just YouTube. Yeah, but, well, okay, first of all, how we... First of all, wasn't getting 300 views. The second of all, <clears throat> I could point to a lot of things Howie was doing wrong. Right. With Tom, I don't understand why is he failing so hard. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's he's, bad he's interviewing class. famous people. I mean, what more is there? This should blow up on TikTok. Like, if you have J Jason Nash, I feel like you'd get a couple thousand, but these only have five so, likes each. How is that possible that even on TikTok, like, yeah. TikTok's the easiest platform to get tons of views yeah. on. He's Especially cursed. with big names. He's a he's the cooler. If I bring him on our show, nobody's everybody's gonna stop watching. Yeah, some witch it, did something. It might once. be uh, anti bald bigotry. Oh, I did wow. not say anything about his beautiful dome. Wow. But it, I'm just saying oh, as people? an explanation. Okay. I mean, this guy is grinding his ass off. He's got big names. Nobody's watching shit because he's a baldy. He's a baldy. That's an interesting it's, theory. It's a good theory. Well, let's see what he asked you Rob. Dyrick, <laughs> whatever, the laptop uh, guy. Dyrick Enterprises are money's fearless, right? <laughs> and the concept was scared money doesn't make money. So our money is fearless. Nice, nice studio, like, uh, you know, pretty good lighting and everything. It's moody. But um, I th he shouldn't be laughing. He should be listening intently. If I could give him some. Because what he's saying is not funny. It's, it's you know, it's I deep. used to say. Uh, this is the fucking... It's the Jimmy Fallon method. Right. He's like, oh, so I hear your dog died. <laughs> so it was funny. Uh, spending too much time with Dobrik. This is the ridiculous guy. Have some respect. Dick Enterprises are money's fearless. Right? <laughs> and the concept was scared money doesn't make money. So our money's fearless. And it was so like... He's even got like the good ass water. What is this one? Fuji? That's expensive, Fiji. man. That's expensive <laughs> bottle of water. Fiji. You are incredible. Um... I'm loving this Tom Ward stuff. Hold we on. really got to do our ad, and we need to check in with Sam. They, um, so, let me miss... watch one minute of this. Oh, okay. It should have been <laughs> Deer Deck Enterprises. Our money is just dumb. I'm Tom Ward, and over the Hold last on. couple I gotta years, I've had the chance. They misspelled his name in the title. They did. Yeah. Rob Deerick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yeah. It's D Y R D E K. When we misspelled it. Oh. You're right. <laughs> Wait. Aw, maybe that's why. Wait. <laughs> that's probably why. Wait, after everything you've done, you still misspelled it? You were just talking about how you went through... You went through so much. You misspelled the name, man. Fuck. It's misspelled, it's Tom. Oh, poor Tom, man. Can we do something for him? Dude, you spelled Jason I'm Nash team Tom. Right? I'm Team Tom, too, man. I can't spell either. I'm Team yeah. Tom, too. Okay, I'm I can't Tom spell too. either, but I fucking... <laughs> I'm on the... I spell check shit in the Dude. title. I didn't make it this far by not spell checking. <laughs> Sit down with some of the biggest celebrities and influencers in the world. What I've always found most fascinating is the stories of the businesses that they've built behind the scenes. On the show, you'll get an inside look of what it takes to build a successful business from some of the biggest celebrities, You're losing business me, people, Tom. and up and coming entrepreneurs in the world. <laughs> this is the time I'm Ward here for show. Rob. Welcome to the Tom Ward Show. It's time to level up. We're sitting here with the legend Rob Deerdeck. We got to coach Tom. Yeah. We can make He's it happen. I want to make some clips for him on TikTok. Maybe the beginning we... of his pod. Hey guys, it's time to level up. Welcome to my pod. It's time to level up. We got to get rid of the up. level up thing. It's not working. Right. I mean, look, I think we, let's look at Howie Mandel's podcast as a case study. I think we basically. Rob! We made Howie Mandel, to be honest. <laughs> Oh no, my live doesn't show here. I love Howie. He's so fucking awesome. Rob! Oh, here he is doing a Rob. Howie Mandel. Welcome next door to a podcast. You know we were on lunch. So, how many views did Rob get on Howie's? Because I know Rob did his too. Let's see. Rob. Robbie boy. Robbie. Robbie boy. I can't find it. All right, so let's do the sponsor. Uh, yeah, we'll move on. Thank 86K. You. Huh? 86K. Okay. All right, thank you, Tom. Uh, reach out, Tom. Send me another email. We'll, we'll, we'll link up and do something. I'm sorry, that was the second time. First time, 36K. God bless. Uh, oh, two? Okay, so you want to check in with Sam, or should I do the ad first? All right, let's, let's check in with Sam Samantha. 
We have uh, some updates from the bathroom. Um, is she... Are the steaks ready? Is the bacon <laughs> being flat ironed? I'm about to take the steaks out. They have 60 seconds. Oh, that's gonna and be perfect. And I am getting started on the sides right now. I'm about to start cooking the green beans. Oh, we gotta see that. Wow. Yeah. We're having some technical issues in the bathroom. Sam, what is it like cooking in the toilet? Like, do you feel like eh, about it or is no? It, honestly, like I different? would do this again. Okay, I think it's fine. Like, it's 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 uh, vacuum sealed, so like it, I'm yeah. not I'm not worried. Uh huh. I'm glad that no one saw uh, what got like um, kicked up from the bottom of the uh, tank Don't when say I poured that, me. Bro. Chicken from under. It's just seasoning. Dude, Shut I'm up. Scared. It's a little really? extra. It's a little something. It's nothing to worry about. It's just on. Oh. All right, Dan is back there with the camera. How we doing, Dan? There's here we are. We got the feed. Sam is there with what looks like some green beans. Yummy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the green beans into the electric kettle, and I'm going to steam these for I don't know, like six minutes or so. And are you are you uh, seasoning the green beans or is it just a straight? I'm gonna season them afterwards. Okay, fantastic. All right. Here it is. Oh, that's, that's going. That's fantastic. That of course that will work. Yeah, of course. And then steam. here, I'm going to pour two cups of water into the basin of the coffee maker. This one wow. I'm more confused about the logistics of. Nah. Uh, nah. Uh, Sam is heating up a coffee maker, and then she's gonna be cooking Idaho, mashed up, potatoes. We love Idaho. So the mashed potato, okay, I see what's happening. The mashed potatoes go in the coffee uh, pot, and you're just gonna be brewing coffee like normal into the instant mashed potato. Yes. I like my coffee dark. And I'm gonna mix some butter and cream when they're done and I'm gonna add sour cream on top with bacon and chives. They're gonna be like loaded mashed potatoes. And where are you making the, the butter sauce? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't thought that far. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna use this, uh, the warming plate under the coffee pot as sort of a uh, burner. Mm. Oh my God, that's and, uh, exciting. My, Hi, my Dad. Timer, my timer just went off for the steak, so. Ooh. Exciting. If you want to accompany me this way to the oven. Here come the sous vide, perfectly cooked steaks. Wow. He's dipping in the tongs into the toilet bowl, and here it wow. comes. Wow, that looks like perfection. Here comes another one. Man. Right. That looks good, good, good. So I'm going to sear these so they'll get a little more color on the top, but. For a sous vide steak, I think that that's pretty good color for, uh, Absolutely. for what I Absolutely. And did. so I'm excited to watch you uh, saute those on the coffee pot. That I want to see. That, you'll have to come back because I'm cooking the potatoes right now. All right, so uh, can I'll we get a shot know. of the potatoes? Is the water filtering in there? It's, get, it's getting started. The water has to heat up. Yeah, it's starting to drip in. All right, so here, let's go thank our one sponsor and we'll come back, check up. Uh, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. talk about something, other things. We've got lots of other stuff to get to. Thank you, Sam. I'm, I'm getting hungry for some Good. bathroom food right there, Bob. Good. All right. Thank you to our sponsor. We got one here, and I'm so grateful to ExpressVPN. Man. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like checking in your baggage at the airport without a lock. You think your stuff is being kept private? But you never know who's going through your panties, your hemorrhoid creams, your vibrators, butt plugs. Oh, in my case, I always travel with the uh, the dildo that you strap to your forehead. You know what I'm talking about, Dan? No, I, I no. You you ever wonder why I'm so good at this? Oh. Nobody? I get it. All right. 
I wondered. Why does everyone need a VPN, you ask? When you go online without a VPN, internet service providers can see every single website you visit. They can sell this information legally without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. I don't need any more digital profiles of myself. Okay? I don't need my Alexa listening and then trying to send me, you know, ads for hemorrhoid cream, frankly. Although, maybe I need the hemorrhoid cream. Maybe that is good. Yeah, you've been Creepy. talking about hemorrhoids a lot. You good? No, actually, I don't need hemorrhoid cream. My, my, my b-hole's doing fine. The one thing on my body that seems to be doing fine. That's nice. We have health updates for you guys, too. Um... Browse more anonymously. When you use ExpressVPN, ISPs cannot see your online activity. Your identity is un an anonymized by a secure VPN server, and your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. It's easy to use. Fire it up. Click the app. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Click one button. Your Bob's your uncle. You're good to go. It works on all devices, yeah. too. Phones, laptops, routers. If you do it on a router, everyone who shares your Wi-Fi is protected. Slick. I always talk about why I use ExpressVPN. For me, it's the... It's getting into that good content in other countries. You can tell whatever website you're visiting, you're from any country. So you can say, hey, yo, I'm from England. I want to go on Netflix and watch Doctor Who. You go, oh, I'm from Japan. I want to go on Netflix and watch uh, Miyazaki films. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Secure your, line act, secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash h3 today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash h3. And you can get three months for free right now by going to expressvpn.com slash h3. Thank you to our wonderful sponsor. Please consider supporting them. Twitter's getting hyped. Me too. Uh, okay, wow. I just, wow. I want to talk more about Tom Ward, but I guess we should move on. I just love him. <laughs> we can uh, circle back to it. What I think we should do is watch some of these uh, prison food TikToks uh, or bathroom TikToks so people actually understand why All we're right. doing that. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> so there's a bathroom cooking uh, meta on TikTok. One guy in particular is the king of it. Uh, Barfly seven 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 seven. That's a great name for the guy who cooks in the toilet. Here he is cooking baby back ribs in his hotel room, and man, this is impressive. And also looks kind of dangerous. Don't recommend. Do not do this at home, right, guys? Can uh, we get one of those up? You think I shouldn't show it? No, no. I, I'm. You don't. You think this is. Man, this thing is just cooking. What's the problem? All right, I'll play it. Well, this man Let is not at cook. home. He's out of the, at a hotel. That's fine. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. You I can gotta... burn the hotel down. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, your yeah. house. Oh, right. th you're concerned about that? Yes. I see. I thought you were talking about like the sanitary, if it being unsanitary. No, no. I don't. I'm not worried about that. Got it. Got it. Got Th this got man's got a trained it. professional. This is a trained professional. He does nope. have a hashtag private chef. That's it. Uh, He's private for himself. Do not do this at home. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. Only if you're a professional. On that, on that level, I understand. So here he's got a nice rack there. We're taking off ever, the uh, membrane. Getting blood. I, is his goal to be as dirty as possible? <laughs> it's like on the wall. He thrashes these hotel rooms, man. Yeah, there's blood on the wall, over the sink. It probably scares the shit out of the maids. Fuck yeah, it's going to scare them. So, let's see, he's cutting it in half, he's taking a pillowcase, just destroying everything in the hotel room. Uh, he puts a ra it on a rack and a pillowcase, takes the, the oh. air... So he's taking the air, uh, the hair blow dryer. Four hour roast. And it's just going for four hours. I mean, it's just air frying, basically. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. I didn't know that you could... That's crazy. Run at blow dryer for four hours. Because I thought those things were kind of dangerous. Because they suck so much power. Uh, they do. In fact, we had to bail them, uh, the hair dryer portion of Sam's stuff because it was, uh, way too much power. Holy crap. And it was tripping the breaker. <laughs> it looks amazing. But, but, uh, dude, 
this man probably spent like a hundred dollars plus in electricity at the hotel, man. He's getting his money's worth. <laughs> Walked Still, right into a Best Western and got the best meal. Yeah, he's going to spend more than the hotel room cost. And, but, I mean, not bad, right? That looks good. That looks, like, real good. There it is. And he's even got the prison-like tray to go with it. Gotta have them ribs. <laughs> Gotta have them ribs. That's right. And Obama. what else? So we have another one. Bathroom fried chicken by the same legend. Let's take a look. Fucking fried chicken. This is Barfly77777. Oh, man. He's got a, a whole ass box. game chicken. Let's go. Yo, this guy knows what he's doing. He's butchering it. Cut it up into little pieces. He said he's a private chef. Hashtag. Maybe that's real. Now he's breading it up. Oh, he, he brought himself like a single electric fryer. Yeah, I mean, is that... That's... I mean, you're just... That's the intended use of that thing. Yes. Okay, so this one's a little... Less, I mean, it does look good. Yeah. Here, we're just cooking. We're just... That's just standard he's cooking. He's just cooking with heat. Man's cooking. He's doing it well. Looks good, though. Damn. Yeah. Better than room service, probably. At Best Western. Uh, here's another one. Hotel Turkey. Let's take a look here. What do you got for us, Barfly? Hotel Turkey for under two bucks. Huh. Wait, two bucks? Wait, what? <laughs> Under two dollars a serving. A serving. This is a turkey breast tenderloin. Okay. <laughs> so a thing of Cheerios, grind it up. Nice. Making the breading out of that, I see. Ah, Mix water so and seasoned there. flour he's using and the ice, ice bucket. bucket. Let's go. That's okay. clever. <laughs> now he's using the raw chicken in the ice bucket, and I gotta say, turkey, but yeah. that's pretty insane because. They're not going to clean that ice bucket with the yeah. presumption that it's raw chicken. I'll bet gross stuff happens in the ice bucket. I'm going to hope that he cleans everything after this. How do I you know. clean? Oh, how do you clean raw chicken in a hotel room out of an ice bucket? You got to throw that shit out. Dude. Yeah, you, you guys got to. I mean, what the fuck? So shout out to the family that got salmonella after this. Also, I'm sure like that ice bucket has had vomit in it before. I'm sure it's been cleaned. Obviously, I feel like vine, but... vomit's easier to clean than raw chicken. But the idea of it. You're putting you're putting stuff into it. It's like us with the toilet. Because I mean, raw chicken is a specific nasty beast. Yeah. It's oh, turkey. but dude, he's making stuffed ham with Swiss for a turkey cordon Damn. bleu. Yo, wow. that's fire. That's classy. It's worth it to kill the family of for of Salmonella <laughs> for that. Shoving that right in there. My man. Oh, God. He's going in the toilet bowl. So he's going in the toilet bowl, Sam. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. He was dumping out. He dumped out the, the ice bucket in the toilet. Yeah, he cleaned it. Uh, He poured it out. Yeah, he's pouring out the, the extra there. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, he's not <laughs> cooking in the toilet bowl. Don't clog hotel He's saying sink. don't pour it down the sink. Pour it in the toilet. Instead. I didn't see him clean this for the record. No, that's cleaning Wait, it. This pouring is part it of out. Just clean the raw chicken juice out. It's, it's the same thing. Out. Cleaning. Pour it, it out. It out. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. I'm just Keep saying. Keep clean. So let's see. Again. He's, got, he's mm. got the fryer again. That probably... I want to eat that badly. <laughs> you want that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to eat that <laughs> yeah, badly. Wait, How? look at this. <laughs> What would you oh, oh god, look at that thing. Juice Fuck. up. Juicy baby. That looks raw. Microwave the rice. Wait, Wait where do you get a microwave? That he said two dollars? There's no way that's two dollars a serving. Two dollars a serving, yeah. Two per I serving. Believe that. I believe that. I don't believe that. How? Well, okay, so you got a travel Cheerio. That's probably one dollar from the dollar store. So half the money already. Now you got ham, well, turkey, okay, yeah. and cheese it's and probably serving. three servings. Maybe you got like, like a that. lunchable? Two servings. I'm not buying it. I think he's eating more Friendly than a serving there. Servings are known to be very small, smaller than a portion. His serving is not a portion, I guess. So if he went to the dollar store, he could have got the Cheerios for a dollar, easy. The Cheerios are probably like 25 cents, let's be real. One yeah. of these things are so cheap. Yeah. The turkey, he might have got that shit for a buck, dude. Okay. Still mm -hmm. though, we have... There was ham in there too, right? The ham mm -hmm. he could have got for a buck, the and cheese he got rice. for a buck. I saw rice. So he, and for a buck, rice, rice is super cheap. Yeah. I get these are all cheap ingredients. I'm still not buying the two dollars. He probably finger. spent five bucks on this. That, that's the fine. Crisco, then say that. No, five split. He said per serving, Dan. Don't come for him. He's eating it all. That's a serving. Give me, oh, no. give me a break. Yeah. 
Give me a fucking break. No, that's a Porsche. Now here's where I here's where I doubt him. The Crisco, you can't get that cheap. Can Walking. you? How much <laughs> is a tub of Crisco? <laughs> Dan's leaving in anger. Oh, man. Could someone look up a Crisco tub? Queen. You can't um, do nothing wrong. It's uh, six twenty nine. See that? That's where he fucked up. Whoa. That's a premium product. Yeah. Nice try, dude. Depends where he ought, where he is in the country too. It could be cheaper in Middle America or something. We're ready for an update. All right, go ahead. We're cutting to Sam. So back to the bathroom with Sam. We have some updates. All right. Here <laughs> is Chef Samantha. So. I just tasted a green bean. They're perfect. Tender. Tastes delicious. Wow. So, and these are all done as well. Y'all were doubting the potatoes. Wow. Y'all were doubting them. Look at that. Gorgeous. And the steaks are out. I do not know if that is going to get hot enough to have any form of a sear in here. So, uh, yeah, the hot plate. Well, I don't I'd know. love to find out. Yeah. So Sam is about to throw a steak on the coffee. Oh, it's sizzling! Oh, it's sizzling! Oh, it's it's sizzling. sizzling. Wow. Let me hear that sizzle. Let me hear that. Get your mic closed. Oh. Let's she's go sizzling. right now. She's sizzling. All right. So I'm going to be ready to plate this up here soon. Do you want oh me to save my. the big reveal for when I bring it out? So, yeah. or should I? Okay. Probably, right? Yeah. So you're basically good to go. Is there, and what's for dessert, Sam? <sighs> Shoot. I didn't make dessert. <laughs> what kind of meal is this? I know. I'm shutting this restaurant down. All right, I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, all right, I'll bring it out in, in just a few minutes. Well done. Thank you, Sam, for the toilet food. It looks so good. Absolutely well done. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, we'll so. see you soon. So, um, back to the the hotel chef. The part that I'm not loving about this is just that he did it on a cooker. Yeah, it's cheating. Yeah, I could do that. Although, to be fair, I don't think he's in trying to invent any rules. He's just showing you how he cooks in his hotel room. And at <clears> that point, why was he doing rules, it in the bathroom? You sons of bitches. Right. You can do it in any room. You. God, that looks good, though. He'd be eating. What else is next? We've got the uh, <laughs> Hotel Toaster Chicken. Yum. That's a Here, classic. Once again, from Barfly7777. What the hell are you doing? So we got a raw chicken that's all seasoned up. Mashing it with a beer can. Hitting wow. The beer. That's awesome. It looks okay. well seasoned. How do you No, he's toasting them. Wait, oh, in baking paper. He put, I like so he that. wrapped the chicken in baking paper, paper and put them in the toaster because he sl flattened them real hard. Here come. Oh, this one seems man. like a fire hazard. This seems. Don't do this one. I was the one that was skeptical before. Don't don't do this. Don't do any of this. Don't do yeah. any of this, people. He is a trained chef. He's a trained chef. Although to be fair, Dan, I I disagree that this because I mean this is what. This uh, parchment is meant to go in the oven and go through extreme heat. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, it doesn't light on fire. Personally, I think, I think you should have used al aluminum. <laughs> I just no, but that doesn't really conduct don't, heat. That was a joke. Don't do that in a, one of those. <laughs> don't do anything stairs. here or anything ever. Don't just do anything. Don't do anything ever. Literally don't do anything. If I've ever influenced you to do anything, stop and don't do it. Just never ever do it. It is death. Don't say that ever, Kip. Keep that to yourself. Never ever ever do it. <clears throat> Very impressive though. That looks vile. That one looks really vile. I feel like if I'd be doing this, I'd use beef only. Cause then you skip the salmonella part, right? Yeah, beef is safer yeah. for sure. And it doesn't need to be cooked as hot either. Right. But look at that. Success. He, he didn't show himself eating that one. He's like, interesting. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Okay, well, here's a toilet steak. Uh, perhaps the inspiration for Samantha. Let's see what he did. Barfly7777. God. Oh, the TV froze? What's the deal? What's the deal with that? <clears throat> 
Yeah, I don't know. We tried swapping everything out. Still happening. We have a technical oh, issue. Yeah. My feed is frozen. So... Oh, I'm back. Nice. That's weird. All right, so here's our boy in the bathroom. Let's take a look from the beginning. Looks like <clears throat> he will be taking the sous vide method as well. Some fingerling taters. Now that bath right. rare. This was the inspiration. Garlic, I love that, man. Mincing garlic, shrimp. Ugh. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Got a little now that I like he's using those little like diner butters. Cause you know he got those for yeah, free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. That's what I'm talking. Now he's using the little free coffee creamers. Yeah, that I like. Goated. That I like. He mashed the mashers it. to work. Wait, we can I see like how <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know, but I like what I'm seeing. But how much was it? We saw 10 bucks, brother? Oh, what is 10 bucks? I told you. Dude, this guy's a total fraud. I told you. I warned you all. <laughs> I thought this guy was poor. This is buying $9 per pound cheese? Ragolette? I never even heard of that fancy shit. Well, anyway, he's putting it in the uh, little grill there. He's going to melt the whole block. Goddamn. <laughs> it looks God, like a murder that's... scene. Dude, he's destroying that rag. We'll never live again. Okay. Flash sear right on the grill? Why not? Fuck it. How's that fire alarm not go off on that? I think it's smoke. He takes them off before he starts. Oh, uh, shit. Oh my so God. He's, not, he's not using the whole thing. He just scraped the top of it. I'm sorry, but that, that looked good. That did look good. Pricey, though. Very expensive. Very, very pricey. That one probably costs, what, $6 per serving? And don't forget the hotel. I mean, oh you got to be calculated. In, yeah, in, you do in have the, to calculate the, the, uh, the hotel yeah. rental. What's happening? Couldn't find my hat. Oh. <laughs> Fell into a, a twilight zone. Um, I'm assuming he's a, he's a frequent traveler. You know? Yeah. Yeah, maybe if it's like a business expense, I can... <clears throat> I'm fine with calculating out of the total, you know? Right, yeah. Yeah. He's doing it regardless. So, right. uh, I guess, Sam, are you ready? I'm about to bring it out. Hold on, just one second. Oh, this is bring exciting. It straight out. I am just. We'll, we'll hold off for the big reveal here. I'm slicing the steak, and then it'll be out. Ooh, um, slicing. If we just need uh, to um, fill just a minute of time here, there's a pretty big update on the Tom Ward front. I told you I want to talk more about him. I'm so excited. <laughs> What's Pretty up? big update on the Tom Ward front. Uh, let me, I'm pulling it up right now. Stand by. <coughs> I need to, I need to verify this information for myself, too. <coughs> he sent us a cease and desist. That's correct. No, here it is. I used to The... Rob... Deirdrek... Interview? <laughs> yeah. He updated. The name has been fixed. Yo! Tom's watching! <laughs> Tom! What up, Tom? Tom? So, buddy. We love you, Tom. See, we're, we're already giving you life-changing tips here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We love you, Tom. We do. You know, you know. <laughs> we're in love with you, Tom. We really have such a great service here on this show of coaching creators and turning, turning it all around for them. I mean, that's what we do, mm -hmm. basically. And we can do that for an hourly rate for you, Tom, on my... That's what I do. You know. Whenever it's convenient for me, okay, I'll let you know when that happens. Interesting. Is Tom on Twitter? Is he perhaps tweeting about us? I'll take a look. Uh, I think I, he did have a Twitter. It came Twitter a link. Tom Ward. I think it had 300 followers. I'm not even kidding, dude. Yeah, see. The first one that comes up is a... Baseball is a, player? Yeah, with yeah, 290 followers. Yeah, 290. His, there's a lot. I mean, it's a fairly common name. I think he deleted his account. Actually. Yeah, his link tree leads to a, a bad link, so... Tom, oh, maybe what? he doesn't like Elon. Shout out, Tom. How do you hey, know that? Because he quit Twitter. Oh, you're just a, yeah, right. He's a, just, he, he, oh, he does follow us. Here, I found the official one. Yo, we can Tom, your link on your link tree is broken for oh, Twitter. Oh, we can another tip. Let's there. fix up all yeah. this stuff here. Let's go. Okay, yeah. so Tom, That's the, he does have Twitter, but he's yeah. linking to a dead yeah, account. He's linking to the dead Tom, account. Come on, man. But he Jesus. does have another Twitter. <laughs> I'm just saying, Tom. So don't click on it. Don't. I'm telling you not to click on it. 
but just look at the trends on the side. I see Jew face. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's that? not the one I was pointing out. That's probably about the Bradley Cooper thing, which we're talking about. Click on the mouse. Oh, okay. In Jew face. Wait, what's I show me? I uh, show. He just yeah, don't click on, on What is it? <laughs> he showed his, dick, showed his dick on stream, apparently. On purpose? <laughs> no, uh, no, I doubt on purpose. But is he a child? Out of How old is he? I don't know. Huh? He's, I mean, I know he's young. No, I think he's. I show speed, age. He's 18. Dude, that dude almost committed child pornography. <laughs> Yeah, in a way. Yeah. Like I when mean. he turned 18 in January, so you guys, all y'all watching him got lucky by six months. You'd all be Show in jail. Us. Looks like he's going to be going to kick, I'm guessing. <clears throat> after. Tom. So it was on YouTube that this happened? Because, yeah, that's so. uh, I'm seeing a bunch of memes about him going to Twitch. I mean, to kick now. Let me see where he was at. Um, well, I think he was banned from Twitch. I think he primarily streamed on YouTube, if I remember. Yeah, it was on YouTube. Okay. Here's a tweet from Tom from two hours ago. I was terrified. To quit my job and try podcasting full time. I have a mortgage, a wife, kids, etc. The whole deal. I debated it for two years before I finally did it. I always feared lying on my deathbed and having regrets about things I didn't do in life because I was too afraid. So push through that fear and try that thing that scares you to death, but you know you'll okay. love it. Right on. Right on, Tom. Give him a second like for that. I mean, I right. I mean, to the extent that, to what extent are you saying right on? What do you mean? Well, he he gave up a job. Fuck me, right? And he has a mortgage, wife, kids, the whole deal. Right. He's been doing it for two years. How much money do you think he's made in that two years? <laughs> How much, Dan? I don't know. I don't know. He said he debated it for two years. This was prior to quitting and becoming a podcaster. <clears throat> he's actually been doing the podcast now for, well, I mean, the first email we got was 2018, so like five years. You know what? Been doing it almost as long as us. He's a happiness billionaire. He's a, he's, he's a happiness trillionaire. That's right. Here's what oh, I'll say. Quadruple. Big moment. Big moment. All right, we'll Big get back to Tom Ward, Ward we in a second. It oh, smells so good. Mm, that steak looks rare, girl. It's not rare. Rare steak is the best steak. It's medium rare. That steak looks rare. What? <laughs> Look it's, at that. Ooh, that is the perfect. That looks perfect. No, it's literally perfect. I'd say medium rare, yeah. Do you like leather steak, Ethan? Ooh, smelly. <laughs> <laughs> looks good. <laughs> so here's Sam's beautiful bathroom creation. You want to come sit with me, love? I know you were excited to get into this. Yeah, sure. We'll try the green beans first. Oh, mmm. Mm. Making interesting faces. So good. <laughs> I, the only thing I haven't tried is oh. the meat. Oh, should we wait for you, Dan? Yeah. Love, bring your mic a little closer to me. Yep. I don't want to ruin the presentation. Alright, go ahead. Alright. I'm, gonna... I'm gonna eat this. Steak is good. Alright, I'll hit this one then. Mmm. Wow. Gorgeous. That's a 10. You like? Try those potatoes by itself. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. You like that? That's yeah. The potatoes are. I'll get another piece of meat, I actually. So. You can't really do. Uh, if you don't mind, this really meat is gorgeous. The instant potato. Cheers. Cheers. My the green beans keyed out. Cheers, Fuck. my dude. Look, I'm That's eating nothing, guys. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that meat hits hard. I, that's a good piece of meat. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, the meat is good. The mm -hmm. meat is the most successful yeah. part of this meal, I'd say. Yeah. I was curious. Yeah. Hit it, this. Mmm. Yeah, the meat is good. Yeah. Nice seasoning. Peppery. The green beans are good. I think I'm just not a fan of the instant potatoes, Sam. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, they're not great. There's not much you can do with instant potatoes. 
So I, that's not a strike against you at all. There might have, there might have been a little bit of a coffee essence in those potatoes as well. <laughs> I liked it actually. <laughs> mm. Smoke. Tastes the green smoky. beans are good. The first one I had, there was a little something weird about it. But this this one's hitting. What was weird? I don't know. It's, it's uh, garlic and butter. That's all. You know. Maybe the garlic? Yeah, it's the garlic, I think. No, no, no. It was like a bathroom thing. Oh, oh. I did not feel that. Interesting. You know. Okay. You want to crush this, to, love? To me, all... Yeah, I'll finish that this shit. This is a whole ass steak dinner. To me, all, all veggies taste a little bit bathroom. You know, in general. <laughs> That's why I don't eat them. Mm. So no one else wants this. I will slam this unironically. This is a fucking bang oh, plate of food. food. You should eat it. it. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Well, in that case. It. Well, yeah, but you should definitely eat it. I mean, that's a good meal right there. <laughs> Ethan, you got to admit your mistake for misunderstanding. Dan was right about the two years the guy took before deciding to become a streamer. Sorry, but Dan's the man in this case, huh? <laughs> what do I need? I need to apologize. Shout to out to yeah, Tom, uh, Dan. Dude. Tom, that was from Tom Ward, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. No, it was from Reddit GIF. Tom Ward's mom. That's delicious. How many super chats so to good. get Ethan to watch chiropractors to adjusting stay. babies and toddlers? You like that? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. In incredible work, Sam. You made toilet Thank taste you. so good. I appreciate it. Thank you, Olivia. Yeah, I think the the toilet cook was 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 phenomenal. <clears throat> I'm telling wow. you, sous vide. It's the uh, the poo vide. I'm telling Huge you. Huge success. It's good. The, you are the so poo vide. Dude, it's crazy. What are we doing? Everyone giving it a shot back I'm there? I'm trying the steak right now. Let's see, Zach. I'm going to dip it in the poats, you know? Hell yeah. Zach, steak and poats. Throw a piece in there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Steak and poats. Good, right? That's busting. I'd say so. Has Eat the, the chef fried the it. meal yet? I'm not. I'm about to. Who ate half a piece of the steak and put it back? I ripped it with my hands. <laughs> I, I ripped it with my hands. That's the classic Ethan movie. I ripped it with my hands. I know. Okay. Mm. So what do you think that makes it better? I can't believe you said that was rare. That's literally the most perfect cook. Okay, on geez, a steak. Geez. All right, all right. The sear right. could be better. Obviously, yeah, I was right. using a coffee. All right. <laughs> but the Take inside it of that easy. cooked great. That poo V is very good. It's very good. Yeah. Ian. Ian, you better eat that, or you're gonna be in trouble. Finally, Ian is coming to take a glorious bite of poo v steak. Here he goes. Ian is on camera. We love to see Ian, don't we, folks? Love to see it. Love to see it. He busted that whole damn piece in his mouth, and we love it. This man ate an entire Sum Stroman fish. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's good. It's good. It's good, people. I mean, listen, for having been cooked in a toilet, doesn't get much better than that, girl. We gotta get our yeah. toilet put it to work tonight. I know, I know. I know what I'm doing when I get home. <laughs> so is the, is the water still hot? Yes, it is. So who wants to take a dump in there? Is that where the bidet water comes out of? <laughs> no. No, the bidet comes from... It's separate. A different pipe. Mm. That would be crazy. That would be, be dangerous. That would be yeah. like spicy chip chow. Get some 140 water up the a the pooper. <laughs> Sanitize yeah. my bee hole. Hey, what what temperature do I need my butthole to be at first to be safe for consumption? <laughs> you'll Pop need that. Chow. You'll need that hemorrhoid cream after that, dude. Fantastic. Well done, Sam. Very Thank impressive. You. Thank you. Very impressive. I gotta go clean my kitchen. Um, in short, I was saying to Tam, uh, Tom Ward, essentially, like, let's just focus on dotting the I's and crossing the T's, you know what I mean? Let's get the links working, let's get the the spelling right in, of your celebrities. Right? But Tom, I we gotta talk. Come, please reach out. We, let's, well, let's do something. Me and you. We're gonna figure this out, me, Tommy me. boy. Right? Let me talk! The legendary Tom Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Good man. Somebody's uh, suggestion is potentially, oh, Jimmy's going to come co-interview with me. That could be a good time to have Tom on. Because mm. like Tom, Jimmy is a man who's 
basically thrown it all away to live his dream. A soul wow. for a soul. Yeah, there are some parallels there, actually. Mm -hmm. Hold right. it. Oh. All right. Wow. Fantastic. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the top. Wait, did we ever even get to finish what Jason was saying about Colleen? I went down the Tom hole so I far. We don't really care about oh, Jason. We care about Tom. At this Jason's point, yeah, you're dead right. to me. Yeah. yeah. We went so far down the Tom hole. <laughs> it was a good one. And Tom, you've been prepping like, this hole for so it's long, and I'm ready. I'm now ready to journey down it. Mm -hmm. I think it's your time, Tom. He hasn't tweeted though. He corrected the spelling. Talk to me, Tom. Tell me you're out he there. He might be mad. You were being <laughs> maybe a little mean mad at the beginning. True. He Maybe. might be. I don't know. We don't know tough Tom. love, man. We don't know Tom. This man has a family and kids, dude. Yeah, we gotta but put, I mean, we gotta put exactly. food on the and table, Exactly, and he's been on Tom. the grind for years, and now he's got this Ethan Klein guy. I mean, Tom, you're not getting the name spelled right? What the hell, man? You're better than that. <laughs> Maybe he's still at the bad part. Maybe he hasn't gotten to the part where we start being nice. He Right now, we're just reading emails and giggling about the but, him and bold, you mm -hmm. know? No, so all, he'll come back. all I'm saying is I love Tom. I, I want to have him for Thanksgiving dinner this year. Zach mm. wants a Forbes article. That's what Zach <laughs> wants. No, <laughs> I just, I, I feel bad for the guy. Yo, no, Zach, I'm with you. Zach, what, what if I did a trade where he can come on our show, but in trade, he has to do a video about Zach Lewis. That'd be fucking sick, dude. <laughs> I'd love that. 300 views, baby. That's and it changed the game for you. It's going to number one, baby. <laughs> this is, I'm cooling off my head. This is a very warm bucket hat. I'm gonna take it off. It's 104 or 5 degrees in this room. Let me just see if it makes sure we heard Jason out. I think it's really low. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Jason was talking shit. Um, oh, this is exciting. Dylan Page, this guy we talked about on Monday, okay, who docks this poor woman. Please. We had a TikTok blowing up. Yep. That was stopped dead in its track, James Charles style, video removed for violating community guidelines. Why? It just says community guidelines. Yeah, no reason whatsoever. They don't usually give you any reason, but what's weird with this? The appeal. When you click that button, appeal up there on the right, usually you can appeal and they come back within an hour. They must have done something, in my opinion, right? I think it's too convenient for this to just go away. I could not appeal it. It said too, too long time has gone. And it just happened. Yeah, it just happened. So somebody on the back end, theoretically, right. flipped a switch and said, cannot appeal this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Allegedly. So Dylan, and look, we've seen this kind of thing happening with James Charles and other famous people. You can't talk, you can't say shit about them or it gets, it gets removed. Sister sniped. That is some bullshit. Dylan yeah. Page is out here ruining people's lives yeah and Ugh. tiktok's running d for him but wait it gets even better we have a tiktok rep now mm -hmm. what out. happened with them love so i did send that email to them didn't get a reply but mysteriously 40 minutes after i sent that email boom the tiktok was up so somebody saw it yeah here it is check this out and so this, this TikTok, I guess, was, was blowing up Page. pretty He's good. Really big on TikTok, yeah. just okay. to show you guys. So this is Dylan Page. It's like Philip DeFranco. So Dylan, kind of. the truth, the truth will, will be revealed. 850, Dude. yeah, we're making moves here. Yeah, it gained like 150K the last so this 30 minutes. Name Dylan, you Dylan gotta, Page. you gotta answer for this, bro. It was Bobby too Altoff fucked up. God damn it. Blown up on social so this dude's name is Dylan Page. He's really big on TikTok. Just okay. to show you guys. So this is Dylan Page. It's like Philip DeFranco. You guys saw it. You guys watched this already. Mm -hmm. Why did he do that? See, the people get it. Wow, that's dangerous. I remember when he released that video, I was so shocked. Why he gave so much personal information. Who cares? What's the point? What's his problem? This was so upsetting. Are there laws against this? There may well be. I don't know. I think a lot depends on which state he's in. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I enjoy his content, but also I don't think people realize he's a citizen journalist. He's not professionally trained. Good point. Yeah. I'll be honest, I've come across his videos before, and I was like, these are fine. These yeah. are good. I mean, they're, I've they're enjoyed good. them. Informational, simple. But this, you got it. You oh, got it. Oh. 
something's got to be addressed here, Dylan. We can't just bury our head in the sand. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Dill Dill. My boy Dill Dill. And I got news for you. What does it mean? Since you just mentioned Philip DeFranco, should, are, it's further down the dock, but do you want to uh, talk about this uh, Philly D thing? Oh, why? Because it's related to TikTok? Yeah. Sure. Um, when you just mentioned him. Related to, I guess, Dylan and that it's on TikTok. Um, there's a new news daddy on TikTok because Dylan called himself that, but he's right. full of shit. And he's been, pr if he was news daddy, he's been demoted. Yep. You want to see who's the real news daddy? News Get a now. load of this fucking hunk yep. of meat. Wow. Sexy Holy too. shit. Maybe. Holy Sexy shit. Too. Who needs two kidneys when you got two guns? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, he looks good. Bill, can I talk about your body when you're jacked? Probably uh, not still. Yeah, oh, yeah probably sure. not. He did explicitly it. ask you not to. So. Jack it off. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> so, no but comment. But you look great. No Congrats, comment. Bill. You nope. Great. Nope. Oh. You, you, you're black. Hey. You never say anything. Oh my Jesus God. Christ. Are you good? Powerful sneeze. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. My dad used to sneeze <laughs> like that. Wow. <laughs> Oh, good, Ian. My dad used to sneeze like that, and I uh, thought he was crazy. Mm -hmm. But now, I when I sneeze, it's so explosive. Yeah, I'm a powerful sneeze too. I can't silence it. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Thank you for backing me up. So no comment on Phil. His From hand. You. Yeah, I'm gonna say that he looks great. Congrats, Phil. No, yeah. no, don't say that. You're the only one blacklisted here. Bullshit. He said no, I don't want people talking about my body. No, you're on this you. show. You talking. Okay, pull up. What did he say? We got to analyze it. We got to play semantics. No, let's not relitigate it because he was actually upset about that. I'm just joking around. So here's a post he posted from June, and I'm not going to comment on it, but here. My, bi my, my bi monthly health and fitness update where I seek praise from strangers on the internet, except not when Ethan. You're not a stranger. He knows you. Okay, that's the exception. Yeah. In the last month, I started caring less about the number on the scale and shifted to think about what my body can do. It's a healthy mental change. Good for you. Good for you, bro. Also, can I? His hands are looking nice and meaty and veiny. Big hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Big hands on mm. veiny suckers. <laughs> like to imagine those hands doing something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Keep it. Keep it light. Ah. Um, there's I something eat. not related to Philly D's body that we can talk about that I do think you should comment on, though. Hold on. Can we please get some? Corpse husband styled hand thirst traps from Phil. Please. Corpse husband hands. He just films because he didn't show his face. He just right. shows his hand like when his veins bulging and everyone's like, oh yeah. What happened he, to Corpse Husband? I haven't heard that name in years. Oh yeah, his fucking hand is so hot right now. Anyway, Phil, if I were to say anything, it would be nothing because I've been prohibited and I respect your request. Fantastic. I call you news daddy. Mm-hmm. That's right. But there is actually something I do want to talk about. Like, uh, something that we've all kind of noticed. And something I think a lot of y'all have noticed, too. In fact, geez, he's even crying blood. It's so serious. Uh, <laughs> Philip DeFranco's TikTok is turned into, like, literal doom... <laughs> doom baiting. It's like all about war and fucking death, and it's cr it's I, it's working for him. The views are nuts, it's but like crazy. If you watch Philip DeFranco TikTok, I'm pretty sure you're just living in a bunker or a safe room because the world is ending. This is so like <laughs> different than his YouTube videos. I think he he found like it's exclusively what like military like battlefield updates. He's a warlord. News daddy, <laughs> baby. Um, yeah, it's all U.S. soldiers fled North Korea to escape racism in America. What? That's interesting. Oh, that's bad for America. Damn. They're like, <laughs> North, even North America is better than this that shit. That is really bad. Al-Qaeda calls for revenge on Sweden and Denmark. North Korea is preparing offensive war. Shut up. Uh, France is fighting. U.S. picks a side in the World War Africa, he's calling it. 
World War Africa has begun? World War mark? Africa appears to have begun. <laughs> ECOWAS has activated standby forces to restore democracy and constitutional order in the Republic of Niger, with a maintaining that all options remain on the table. Also, earlier today, Niger told the U.S. that if their neighboring nations intervene, they'll kill the ousted president that they're holding hostage, which is the biggest mistake the junta has made so far, as this seems to be what pushed ECOWAS Oh, they're wearing intervent- white pants on the outside of their... ECOWAS's military Combat fatigue. The U.S. has picked a God son- damn it. World War Africa appears to have begun. ECOWAS has activated its standby. World War Africa. If it's a world war, why Africa? There's a little bit you of a can't have a world there. war Africa. It's just a world war. Continental war. Continental war Africa. <laughs> yeah, Philip, the bad. State Department. Top comment. That's good. By forces to restore democracy and constitutional order. But yeah, I noticed that. He's just, I mean, you know. He found something that works, but it is a little doom baiting. I don't know. You know what I mean? A little bit. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. China attacks Philippines in South China Sea. China attacked the Philippines in the South China Sea, with a Chinese Coast Guard ship firing a water cannon at a Philippine ship, attempting to resupply a marine garrison. The Philippines condemned the action, and the U.S. reminded China that it has a treaty obligation to defend the Philippines, and that extends to its ships in the South China Sea. Yeah. China attacked the Philippines in South China Sea. Like, it's... He's trying to make everyone think that, like, war is about to break out any second. Civil war. You know, World War Africa. But, I mean, what do you think? Because he's getting views, but... And he is a newsman. I mean, he's news daddy. Yeah, it, yeah. It, he is covering the news, but is it selective to get views? I guess that's the question. I think he exaggerates the danger to right. the world. Uh, in a, you know. China is abandoning... Let me look for a really scary looking one. China and Russia sail off coast of America. China and Russia sent a huge naval patrol near Alaska, with at least 11 Chinese and Russian ships coming very close to Alaska, but never entering U.S. waters. Reportedly, four U.S. destroyers and P-8 aircraft were dispatched <laughs> to shadow their patrol, and it was reportedly a historic first, as this was the largest flotilla to ever approach the United States, which is why the U.S. described this as highly provocative. Follow to stay in the loop. China and Russia sent a huge... Follow to stay in the loop. Follow to know when the first nukes drop. <laughs> I want to hear, uh, like... The slide of all the Phil TikToks, like the noise he makes. Oh, like the big news. Let's try it. Naval Let's try it. It's the calm before Kenya is ready to lead a multinational force. It's Kenya is ready to lead a multinational force into Haiti. And China attacked the Philippines. Mm, China is fed good. up with the U.S. is taking over peace talks with the Belarus has begun military drills on Russia says they may not hold press. Y'all, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia reportedly have a working plan in place. The U.S. just issued an urgent security alert telling all World War Africa appears to have begun. Igawas's military intervention in the, the U.S. has picked a side in World War Africa. With an out- it, it, yes. Is World War Africa his own verbiage? Is that or is that like? <laughs> nah, I th- I've heard it everywhere. I've never heard it before. Really? I don't know. He's he's World War Africa. There's nothing know. here. He is World War Africa. I type World War Africa. I don't see anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot. That's a Philly D exclusive. If he coined that, that's awesome. I think he did. Crazy. Um, by the way, that flotilla thing, do you know anything about that, Dan? Because I feel like when that stuff happens, it's usually like routine and happens all the time. And you can make it sound like uh, the world. I had read a little bit about it. From what I understand, it was uh, they, they kind of went by the uh, Aleutian Islands, which is the island chain that extends out from Alaska. So... Um, and like he did say in it, I mean, they didn't enter international waters. But yeah, I mean, um, there's no question that their tensions between China and the United States are rising. But um, yeah, that's that's about all I know. I'd have to read into it more. World War Africa is beginning. World War Africa. I think it. Yeah, it's a proxy conflict of World War Africa. Actually, <laughs> it's the Alaskan campaign. Oh boy! China uh, he did say it's the largest oh flotilla boy, to ever approach the United States. I. I feel like Pearl Harbor was probably a bigger <laughs> flotilla. Mm. Well, they didn't have flotillas. Yeah, they didn't. I mean, that's just a term for a fleet. Oh, it is? Yeah. Because there's nothing floating. There was flytillas. <laughs> <laughs> well, the aircraft carriers got relatively close to Hawaii and Pearl Harbor. Flotilla? What's a float? I'm going to define flotilla for my dumbass. Flotilla. Ugh. Here it is. You guys want to know what flotilla means? A fleet of ships or boats. 
but it was airplanes. Those airplanes were launched from aircraft carriers that were part of a giant fleet, though. They were, I think they, well, they were, they, they were close enough to bomb, so. Mm. Anyways, I. Mm. I'm defending News Daddy here. There's, an, there's another angle to this, it too, that I'm true. curious about. This is original content. It's not from his show. So they recorded for TikTok, which I find. Or, yeah, or yeah, it's must. an AI. Or it's like an AI DeFranco Yo, voice. Oh, Philly DeFranco voice. Because I watch a lot of these channels. It's, they must spend time doing this. Well, Do you know what I mean? It takes them two seconds to rattle off the dialogue. I guess. I suppose, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. here, this one got 8 million about aliens. A former see. intelligence officer testified in front of the United States Congress today that the U.S. is in possession of alien bodies. He did talk about this on the main body. show, so this one's a little less. Yeah. But, but it's really dumb, though. The story. Hold on. And UFOs. The officer claiming that non-human technologies have injured humans and that the U.S. government became aware of aliens in the 1930s. He also says he's seen a video of a UFO being shot down and that the U.S. government has a program to retrieve crashed UFOs and reverse engineer <laughs> Whatever. them. Whatever. I like this comment. Why do UFOs only spawn in the U.S.? Good question. <laughs> Does seem like that sometimes, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Here's actually. Russia uh, just attacked the U.S. Bill's profile picture. Oh, TikTok. he's the warlord. He's the warlord. <laughs> Wait, is that real? Yeah, this is a real photograph. No, is that really his? I know. Uh, what are you asking? What what aspect? Is this his profile? No, 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 no. no. Cam made this. Okay, Jesus. I don't know. He used to be taken on the persona. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> that would rule. Maybe he should. <laughs> Just own it. I thought I was like, okay, fuck, he owns it. Here's Philly D's collab with uh, Corpse Husband, by the way. Look at those meaty hands and veins, bro. Like the Magnus hands all over me, Corpse Husband. <sighs> this corpse husband <sighs> picture, I forgot about that. Drone. Right, when a U.S. drone was returning home after it completed its mission of defeating ISIS, a Russian jet flew within meters of it and deployed flares on it, which hit its propeller, severely damaging it. With the U.S. saying this was an attempt to knock the U.S. drone out of the sky. And the U.S. saying, we call upon the Russian forces in Syria to put an immediate end to this reckless, unprovoked, and unprofessional behavior. And apparently both sides use the deconfliction hotline, but reportedly that line has been very heated lately and has just been a place for the two of them to verbally argue instead of de-escalate. Follow to stay in the loop. Russia Follow to stay in the loop. The Put on notifications to get not to know before the alarms go off. Tell them to bring out the cappuccino. Tell them to bring out the nuclear war. <laughs> Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. I don't know though. I mean, he's doing his thing. I don't know. Is it a problem? I don't know. Probably not. He's fine. It's just funny. It's like, whoa, when did Philly turn into It's interesting how different it is from his YouTube content, for sure. Yeah. Follow to stay in the loop. Put your notifications on to find out when the zombie apocalypse is happening. <laughs> anyway, good for you, Phil. Found success on TikTok. It's not easy. Nope. Uh -uh. It's mm -mm. not easy. Uh, okay, you guys want some not health easy. updates? People have been demanding <laughs> it since we went live. Health updates. Is Ethan dying? I demand all of his medical records. I want to know his blood type. I want to know his platelet Careful. count, his white cell count. I'll tell you all of that. You're gonna HIPAA violate yourself. Um, I got my rights, the HIPAA. You're gonna HIPAA violate yourself, buddy. You better wash yourself. You wanna HIP? You don't. You just done gone HIP to you you yourself, to brother. You know what happened after you HIPAA yourself, boy? They come give you the COVID shot. <laughs> All right, so yesterday I saw a rheumatologist, very smart, very nice guy, spent a long time talking to me, a young guy, nice. How young? Uh, he probably was younger than me. How tall was he? Trust that? He was probably about 5'10". It was that the first thing you noticed? Uh, it wasn't the first thing I noticed. Mm. Oh shit, I got a new, hold on, I got new results here. Uh-oh. So I did a ton, we did a ton of blood work that day, so I'm still getting the results of it. Uh, rolling mm -hmm. in now. So there's been, there was a few unusual results. <clears throat> but let me tell you about our conversation first. Um, so basically, he Let does- Let the conversation begin. This, this facial rash I'm getting here, I'm getting it at the corner of my eyes. 
I'm getting it on my uh, eyelid here. Or here, fuck, I'm confused. And I'm getting it here on my nose. So that was one of the concerns is that lupus causes facial rash. But he told me, and which is kind of what I read, is that lupus rash is pretty much all... Um, on the cheeks. Yeah, it's all right here in this mm -hmm. kind of area. And so I have not had any rashes there. That's good. So he looked closely at the rashes and stuff, and he says he believes it to be eczema, most likely. Which eczema. is great. That'd be good, yeah. That'd be awesome. After all this... I'm not done, <laughs> bitch. Got, okay, all right. <laughs> It's just some eczema. I'm not fucking You had us all worried. Okay. All right, all right, all right. No, I'm... Eczema doesn't cause a positive ANA, Dan. Okay, tell me about your anatiters. Tell me about your anal titers. Or whatever. Titer in yours, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first thing. <laughs> the next thing is we did a full physical examination. Checked all my joints. Again, because with autoimmune, he says it's almost hurt unheard of with people with lupus or similar autoimmune uh, diseases is that they don't have some kind of pain, some kind of symptom in their joints, some kind of arthritis. Mm. And I, I'll tell you what, my joints are beautiful. Let's I have beautiful go. joints. Really? Stunning joints, in really? fact. No back. He goes, do you have back pain? I says, doctor... I can't even explain to you why I don't have back pain. <laughs> My wife is healthy. She exercises. She has chronic back pain. I slunch. I'm fat. I'm sedentary. I have no back pain, doctor. I said this to him. Mm. He did says, you I, ask him about he says, how your, ask, your elbows been <laughs> backwards? I did, actually. Yeah? Because that's also an autoimmune thing. It's the... Right. Some kind of connective tissue thing. I remember you talking about it on... So I was like, okay, history. everybody says I have weird elbows. So I show him this. I did this for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, now that you lost so much weight, it's even weirder. I, show, I said, doctor, I have weird elbows, take a look. I seriously did like this. <laughs> and he agreed, right? They were weird. He's like, so damn, like, those are weird as fuck, dude. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> stop. <laughs> Can you stop, please? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> so, he, well, so there's a test you can do. A really simple test. To see if you have hypermobility, which is, you know, the symptom of these connective tissue disorders. And so one of them is can you pull your finger back? Uh, you can't see it, but you put your hand flat on the table. Can you pull your finger back like over 90 degrees? Not even close. Not me. I can't do that. Another one is can you put your thumb down to your wrist? Can you force it down to your wrist? I can do that. Interesting. Can you guys, can anyone else do that? No. I, I can do, do the, the first one. Yeah. Oh, you can do that one. Yeah. I, That's I all you got? I think it matters that you have to lay the hand flat, though. I well, can no. do gross shit with my finger. Well, hold on, hold on. Like, AB, show me how you're doing it. Because you got to bend your wrist, bro. I'm like... You bend your wrist forward? How do I... <laughs> like this? <laughs> like this? Like this. Yeah, okay. right. And then, yeah, you and, then you, and then see if you can your thumb. Oh, yes, press I your can. thumb down like this. You can do that? Yeah. I feel like it's not that weird that I can do but that. But you can bend your wrist a lot, compared to me. I can only do 90. That's all you can do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That what? seems <laughs> odd. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, you, <laughs> wait, you got... Show wait, me your wrist, doing? guys. I got alien thumbs. Ready for this? Oh, don't. I hate yeah, that. Yeah. You yeah. can do that. Stop I hate it. I can I do that with my other finger. Oh, move my finger too. oh my god. Cam, can you do this? Can, you got some wild ass fungers, dude. I don't think I can do that. How do I you know what you're doing? <laughs> what about that? Wait, can you, can you guys can you guys do this? Yo! Yeah. No. I still know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. So. Wait, can you do is this what you're talking about? <laughs> Dan, can you do this? Oh whoa, 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 what the whoa. Whoa. Yo, he her, definitely man. has lupus. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, <laughs> he's got time. lupus, bro. One more time. I did the doctor. I was like, yo, yo. I'm concerned, doctor. Can, can you do this? <laughs> Whoa. Yo, that's not lupus. There's nothing L about that. That's whoopus, dude. That's a W right there. <laughs> okay. so, so I guess, and then the other one is can you stand and touch the floor flat with your palms? Which I cannot Easy. even close to do that. Wait, if you're flexible, like that doesn't. I think it's all together, like it, it like you, 
Like camp. Yeah, maybe maybe yeah. if it's all of these yeah. collectively, Can you do yeah, this? that would make sense. Okay. Would be hypermobility. But Cam, can, oh, yeah. I used I to be able that. to do that. Ooh. Wait, Cam, come here. Are you hyper flexible? Yeah, dude. Ready? Watch this. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. My boy has lupus for Yo! sure. <laughs> what the no hell? Fucking way. Wait, yeah, what? This. Wait, what? Damn. Have you always been like that? Always. Do you eat oh, your toenails? So wait, wait. Let's do the, the hypermobility room. test. Come here. Okay. Come, come here. Uh, uh, let's do it. That's crazy. The the foot behind the head. God damn. Just like no problem, bro. Yeah. You just that toss so that funny. thing back there. Damn. All right. So the first one here, come sit with me. Or I actually just come stand here. Come stand here. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the first one is the finger one. So can you put the finger back 90 degrees? Yeah. If you put on the table, like this. flat on the table like this, and then pull your Point your finger back. Okay, that's wow. That's definitely flexible. Okay, you can stop. You can stop now. You can stop. No, it's not related to lupus. Oh, well, I'm gonna put it closer to you. Yeah, let's not let's not put that too far from me. Glad I don't got lupus. Ah, the world is on is falling. Oh my god. Oh shit, I'll move on. Yeah. Ability. Oh my god. Little crooked. I can though. do this. The snake. Oh. The snake. Okay, so see? you can do that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other one is the thumb one. Let me see how you do that. Just go. No, no, no. You, you can you touch oh. your. Just, how do you do it? Just yeah, do that? basically that's it. You yeah. can do that one. Oops. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Okay, then the other one is, can you touch the ground with your palms, standing yeah. up straight? Let yeah. me see. Let me see. With my palms? Yeah, with your palms. Holy fuck! Your your knees aren't bending. No. What the hell? Wait, let me do it. Can I do it on the table? Sure. Oh, do the table? Yeah, do it on the table. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. This table's about to break. I can feel it buckling under the immense weight of your flexible ass. And then the other one was there was four. So that one, that one. Oh, the other one is, can your, do your arms bend more than 90 degrees if you go like this? Try to bend it, so no, that one doesn't. Oh, I failed that Wait, one? Wait, 90 degrees backwards? It's gotta be able to bend, like, down. More than 180? This goes down, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, oh, okay. Degrees. Oh, I see. I don't <laughs> think so. Broken so, say, arms. <laughs> do like this. Let me see it, the camera, like me. Do like this. Did you just, you how do you do it? it? What's the method there? I don't got it. You don't, you don't got, got it, it, kid. I don't got it. I don't got the stuff. And then also, it works with your leg. Does your leg bend more than 90 degrees? If you can, you bend this up. What do you mean? Like, is it this doing? leg goes? Yeah, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. No. Interesting. I can do this. Dude, bro, what the hell? Both legs? Put uh, me between your legs. I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna fall out. No, I don't think I can do both legs. Okay. I don't feel Tucking it. your dick between your legs. <laughs> do, do, you, do you stretch or this is just natural? Just natural. All right. Thank you, Cam. That's it. Do I have lupus? It's not related to good, lupus. Good, 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 good. <laughs> you might have t uh, connective tissue disorder, though. I'm just kidding. Connective tissue. Here, can I diagnose you real fast? Disorder symptoms. Hmm. No. You're sick. Do you, do you feel generally unwell? Shout out. Every day of my life. <laughs> Amen, Do you brother. feel fatigued or have mild fevers? Every day? Well, fatigue for sure. Do you have, dude, your fingers or hands ever get swollen? No. That's good. Muscle or joint pain? No. Do you ever get weird rashes? Mm, no. You're fine. Sweet. Muscle or joint pain? No, my do, joints are perfect too. Do uh, cold and numb fingers or toes? Mm, nah. So you're so. good. You're good. You're good. You're just a stretchy boy. I think so. Gumby looking ass. And Gumby. Gumby core. Uh, so anyway, back to... Africa World War is coming, guys. Subscribe to Ethan Klein to know when the nuke drops. Oh, that's good. It's decent. I appreciate the plug, Philly. Um, so anyway... We tested the el the weird elbows, okay? Because everyone was telling me I have weird hyperflexive elbows, so that one was fine. <laughs> Basically, 
he says, so the ANA test is basically a diagnostic tool for lupus and lupus like diseases. So he says 15% of the population will have a, a false positive ANA test. Some, but, um, he says it's, it's really hard to diagnose anything like this or to do anything like this when I don't have any symptoms. I mean, I feel fatigued. I feel tired, but that's about it. And especially without the rash. So we ran a whole bunch of more blood tests. I don't know if it seems like a lot to you guys, but I filled up 10 vials of blood. Whoa. That, that I was, I was like gnarly. Wait, 10 vials? 10 vials. And the doctor, you said, seemed very young? Whoa. Where are you going with this? <laughs> vampire. A vampire? Well, he didn't take the blood. It was actually a really nice old uh, lady. And I'll be honest, I'll, be, I'll, I'll vampires admit my- Vampires have um, thralls, you know. It's the blood of God. That's right. She, well, the nice lady who took my blood mm -hmm. actually was comforting. Because I was like, yo, 10? And she's like, well, when you donate blood, it's a lot more than this, so it's not actually that much, she said to me. Hmm. Also, this nice lady, because I have tiny veins, um, and people are always poking me and missing. And every time I give blood, it's a fucking nightmare, because sometimes they have to poke me four goddamn times before they find the vein. And she had this great technique. She brought out a heating pack, heated up my arm, which apparently makes my veins bulge more. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she got it in the first try. So this is all sounding funny. very much like a vampire. Yeah. Well, the, so who's the vampire? The blood lady or the doctor? I'm thinking doctor. maybe the whole clinic. Is They're all... See, I think, that, I think the doctor is the vampire. I think that the nurses and the, the so technicians, like, those are mind-controlled thralls of the vampire. Like in Dracula, like that room that... Jonathan. Yeah, Hawker yeah. Vampires, they, they, they can they can enthrall people and make them their their servants. <laughs> okay, so Okay, you've been playing Baldur's Gate too much, Dan. Maybe. <laughs> I just I mean I that's, just, that's undoubtedly true, regardless of if I'm right or not. Uh, apparently Dave uh, just a side note, Dave Porkboy DM'd Bobby and he has the scoop. Is he spilling the beans on authorized? I don't know. Like this was uh, uploaded and then deleted. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. Wait, what are we about Like, to... I heard that Bobby slept with Drake and is getting a divorce, so I asked her. I DM Bobby. What? You asked her, did you sleep with Drake and are you getting a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not com commenting on that publicly. Wait, so you just outed her? Oh. You just outed her not public comment? Wait, hold on. Okay, if he's joking, that's super fucked up. Like, that's not funny. R right. Mm -hmm. I can see why he erased Pretty it either wild. way. What? I was laughing at how Josh talks. The way he, he presented back to Dave. And just repeated the thing on that yeah. publicly. <laughs> Wait, so you just outed her? Oh. Is he the coconuts of this he, of this group? He is. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Coconuts and Barbados. <laughs> you just outed her not public comment? So, either way you cut this, it's insane. Like, to put that out as a joke, like, oh, yeah, he, she fucked him? Like, that's not funny. She's married. She just had a kid. Yeah. Ew. Weird. What does it mean? There's no way that's true, right? Is there, there's no way that's true. No. Right. There's so no you said the TikTok's deleted. That's obviously from an episode of their podcast. That was the podcast? She's been on, on their podcast, right? Yes. Uh, so he could have an in. Maybe. I believe that he could have messaged her. Right. Yeah. I don't know that she would confirm or deny that she fucked Drake to Dave Porkboy. It's unclear if she just meant like, oh, I'm not going to talk about this topic. Well, the way they or, bleeped it. Right. It so, made it, they were like, look mm, at her. See, that was bad. That was yeah. bad. I see why they erased it. That was fucked up. Drake! This is what my doctor looked like. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you guys are worried. No, no, <laughs> can't, can't do this. <laughs> so, no. Um. Uh, so anyway, we did a ton of blood tests, some to check um, my basically inflammation, some to test 
here. I have a whole bunch of resu results here. I'll read it to you guys. You guys can tell me what I'm dying of. They're all coming in right now. <clears throat> so there was a few abnormal ones I noticed. My thyroid is fine. He, you know, a, a, a hyperactive thyroid could cause a positive ANA test, which I don't have. This one's a little bit above the C4 complement. C4 complement is a 44, where the normal range is 10 to 40, which is not that elevated. What's the C4 complement? A protein involved in the intricate complex system. It has a critical functions in terms of immunity, tolerance, and autoimmunity uh, with other numerous components. Here I say it's a C4 is associated with some autoimmune diseases like, let's see. Uh, doctors will order a C4 test if they suspect you have lupus or other autoimmune diseases. So that one's elevated. So what the fuck? You know what I mean? Dan, you want to make fun of my condition more? I got C elevated C4, bro. Does that mean anything to you? You should plant the bomb. Site B. You think I should, what? Did you just say I should Made a counter-strike, uh... Bro, what? Do I need a button, you? <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb! <laughs> you saying I should bomb a... What did you say I should bomb, Dan? Bomb them! Things like a Call of Duty reference, counter-strike. Counter-strike reference. Back me up, love! Yeah. That's yeah, what all I that's bomb. all I was doing about when I talked about the NRA. I was also doing a kind of I reference. think it's okay. I think it's okay <laughs> though now. Them? Mr. Beast and his bombing them in his latest video just like had a transition where they like bombed friends. Yeah, yeah. it was fucked up. I would never talk or do anything like that. <laughs> Super fucked. So it's 44, <laughs> so it's slightly elevated. Hmm. Which is, you know, potential. So that one, the C3 is normal. Okay. Shadow C3. The rheumatoid factor, normal. God tested me for rheumatoid. Whatever, oh. the rheumatoid arthritis, I guess. I don't know. Normal. <laughs> they just send you these results? Yeah. Without any extra information? No. It's, oh, it, they usually put like a note if it's elevated to a certain degree. But. Yeah, they, there's, they show you the normal reference and they mm. tell you. I, I personally like it. The doctor comes, they give it to you as soon as it's available, and then okay. the doctor comes and analyzes okay, it for you in a few days. That's fair. Can I, yeah. can I ask you a question? Um... Please don't get offended at this. I myself am a hypochondriac. Would you describe yourself as the same? Personally, no, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I think everyone's paranoid about their health at certain times. Right. I don't. I don't think I have like crazy crushing uh, anxiety whenever you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But this is gen. You know, this is. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I don't think I'm being a hypochondriac. Absolutely not. So creatine is normal. I think that's the kidney thing, because I know because shredder. So we're good on that, guys. Okay. That's the KC. The C-reactive protein is normal. We're good. C-reactive, everybody. The sedimentation rate. This one was very elevated. Sedimentation rate. You got sediments in your blood? Is a 28, where the max... Volume considered normal is 12. So L. over double. You're eroding, my dude. L. What is what is sedi sedimentation rate? Sediments, right? Erythro... Erythrocyte. Uh, it uh, can show if you have inflammation... A blood test that can show if you have inflammation in your body. See, that's not good, then. Infla inflammation is your... Yeah. Inflammation means, you know, something's going on. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty positive there. Well, it says the normal is uh, 0 to 15 in men. I'm sorry, what was yours? Mine was 28. 28! Is that okay with you, Dan? Or you want to demean my, my health? No, again? no, no, I would never. I would never. I would never do that. I'm out here, to, I'm out here with elevated sedimentation rates. Yeah. And you're just going to joke. Don't even get me started on my C4. <laughs> I won't. Uh -oh. Here's a new one. I won't. Transglutamin... Transglutaminous. Antibody. Normal. 
or normal on that one. Trans, 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 sometimes called meat glue, is an enzyme. Oh man, I want meat glue. It is an enzyme. A chemical that speeds up the chemical reaction between molecules yeah. of different substances. Fuck it up. Damn, meat glue, bro. I'm not, I don't got, have meat glue. Yeah, you, you're good on the meat glue. Uh, it's bad as fuck. Gliadin antibody, I'm normal on. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, then my... We should, so what are the ones I'm normal on, I'm curious, so we can try to rule it out and make a diagnosis here live. Yeah, I, let's do that. So, what it, so the thyroid peroxidase, which I'm assuming is just thyroid function. Uh-huh. If somebody can fact check that. Oh, it's an enzyme crucial to producing no. thyroid hormones. So I'm good, my thyroid is good. Okay. My C4 is elevated. What was that one about? No. Uh, I don't know. I was making it is. I was making uh, jokes during that one. I think it was also an autoimmune thing. It, um, it can be found in people with cancer or inflammatory. Bro, bowel why'd you disease. have to say that? <laughs> I was trying to. Don't lead with cancer or inflammatory bowel disease, which sounds more like you. You do have bowel stuff a lot. What's inflammatory bowel disease? Is that autoimmune? Uh... That'd be funny I if I just shit. I hope you get weird. ass cancer and die, you son of a bitch. I'll <laughs> cut your throat. I'll come to your house. <laughs> what the hell? Children. But Dr. Phil, you uh, are off the rails. Uh, Crohn's disease is one of two types of inflammatory bowel disease. Oh, so I don't have familiar Crohn's. Crohn's. Well, there's, an, there's another type as well, but that gives you a sense of what we're talking about here. So it's pretty serious. Uh, yeah. Inflammatory bowel disease is Crohn's. And ulcerative. Oh, that's my mom colitis. has ulcerative colitis. Oh, but like she—that's like when you well, ship well, blood and stuff, which I don't do. Hmm. Okay. So you know, Dan, I don't ship blood. I'm very they, well, happy um, to hear that. What aren't you due for a colonoscopy soon? No, I—I I actually went. My doctor said go go in and get it at. Uh, I think he said forty-five. Oh, okay. Because you're you're not at risk or anything. Right. So three years. Two years. In, um, no, that's, that'd be seven years. Two years. Two years. So, um, what is Crohn's disease? Let me read the inflammatory okay. bowel disease that affects the lining. It's a sign. Mr. Beast has Crohn's. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of people signs, have Crohn's disease. Abdominal <laughs> pain, <laughs> severe diarrhea, fatigue, weight loss, and malnutrition. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. You know? Not sure about that one. No my, Crohn's? I don't think so. And then my C3 is normal. What's C3? Mm -hmm. C3PO? C3 oh. complement. Um, it shows how parts of your immune system are working. Um, and how they're responding to harmful substances. So I'm good. And that one. Mary said, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I had an ultrasound result that was sent to me with no context or doctor note that basically said, prob cancer on it. Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus. I also got the results before my provider. Holy shit. That's scary. That's awesome. The doctor's like, well, uh, the news is that I guess they're right. The good news is you've got a great radiologist. They were right on. <laughs> Super yeah. accurate diagnosis. Yeah. I mean, at least that, I guess. Uh, what rheumatoid factor. What is that one? <laughs> I'm good on the rheumatoid no, factor. No, no, no. <laughs> Measures Oops. the amount of rheumatoids in your blood. Can't, uh, can't do this. Rheumatoid factors are proteins produced by your immune system that can attack healthy tissue in your body. I'm good. No rheumatoid. Oh, I'm so glad that I have the doctor, the good doctor treating me. Yeah. I feel so much safer now. He's a surgeon, though. I know that. He's mentioned that. Yeah. So what is, I mean. No. Well, if I need, well. Stuff like that, right? If I need surgery, he's the man. Okay. Let's Why does he have a doctor. watch on? Dumbass. That is a good question, bro. Don't start digging into me with a yeah, watch. It's fucking uh, unhygienic, dude. Can't do this. Like Got, Captain Hook, dude. Uh, I think. Kind of a wild fit too. Is it what? It, what is he wearing? He's getting an X-ray, I think. Oh, that's like a lead vest yeah. thing. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, okay, I've got the CK total I'm good on. Tell me about the CK total. CK total. <laughs> uh, creatine. This is something. Test measures amount of creatine. Canassi? Canass? Elevated CK levels may indicate skeletal, muscle, heart, or brain damage, or degeneration. Ooh. Ooh. Either chronic or acute. Glad I don't got elevated of those. <laughs> Why are we looking? Yeah, we're... Also stands for Cricket Kenya. <laughs> well, I just want to see what I don't okay. have, Dan. I want to see what I don't have. I mean, that's going to be a very long list of no, it's not. conditions and diseases. So I'm willing to wait here all don't night. Have. No, it's not. It's just a few set amount. I mean, it's a set amount of 10 tests we did. Okay. C-reactive protein. I'm good on the C-reactive protein. Gold. You might call my C-reactive proteins a reactive proteins, A plus reactive Amen, proteins. Brother. Yeah, protein no. made by the liver, the uh, level of CRP increases when there's inflammation in the body. Flavor. Um, Zuck, shut the fuck up, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to get my diagnosis. Did you- I didn't hear you, AB. Oh, I'm sorry, the level of CRP increases when there's inflammation in the body. No. Okay. Okay. Um, we did the sedimentation rate, this is the one that's elevated. This one's significantly elevated. <laughs> Thank you. Slide whistle. Uh, Cedric. Here I am, uh, and this is great. This is basically... <laughs> well, Mr. Beast has an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. And so, I think it's perfect that we're sitting together here and... kind of discussing the outlook together. The way you're holding your hands on your lap. That's me. I love it. So it's E. SR is yeah, the acronym, yeah. I got it. Uh, it's a blood test that can show if you have inflammation in your body. Um, high levels may be caused by autoimmune diseases such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, chronic kidney, uh, kidney disease, infection. Yeah. So yeah. again, I don't think I, I didn't have any rheumatoids in my blood, so thank you. Yeah. Another lupus arrow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's another lupus arrow. Here, this is transglutamycin IgA antibodies. <laughs> we looked that one up. Well, I don't know what it means. Or did we at, look up yeah, already? We, we, yeah, Let's look it up again. One. What was Just it? Just in case. Can you say that one more time? Transglutaminase. Here, right. it's, it's, the meat, it's the meat glue, bro. Remember, we talked about the meat glue? And what does it mean, though, if you're high in meat Meat glue? Yeah. But you you don't have high meat glue, right? No, but what does it mean if you do have high meat glue? Uh... Let me find that. I don't have meat glue, though, but I'm just curious. Um, um, celiac disease. Yeah. Know your way around Oh! Okay, shit. Because we were- we suspected it might be celiac. But this one says... Not celiac. There you go. So I don't have celiac disease, because that was another one that can cause elevated ANA. And my mom has celiac. Hmm. Okay, so what else? What else can we rule out, you think? Let me see. Here, here's a list of um, diseases. Let's just go one by one. Dan, I have a list of blood Cholera? Work. You think you have cholera? I have no- I don't know. Why would I- why would I know? I'm just looking at my blood work. It sounds like that's probably a no. The next one is, um... Gliadin antibody IgA. Gliadin antibody. Do we have gliadin antibody IgA? Uh, that seems to also gastrointestinal <laughs> inflammatory disease, some autoimmune conditions, liver disease, plasma cell disorder. It sounds it's a pretty pretty wide net there. I'm on good that on one. It, though. You're yeah. good though. You're good. And then this is the last one, if that's okay with you, Dan. You should put in the values in chat, GBT, and then say, what diseases can I have? I, have? To, I know what it will say. It says, you, you, pro you probably have lupus, dumbass. Yeah, ass. but it might be something else, too. Do you think you might have Hansen's disease? Hansom's disease? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mom tell, used to tell me like, that all the time. Charming disease? Charming and amazing disease? All right, this is the last one. <laughs> Gli gliadin antibody IgG. I'm sorry? G -G. It's the same one as the last one, but IgG at the end. Gliadin antibody IgG. You have high or? I think that's a Star Wars character. I'm good on it. That's good. I'm negative, I think. Uh, 
associated with antibodies that are associated with uh, diagnosing celiac disease. Uh, let me read more. Go on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Nice font. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I went to read more, I just fucking went off the charts. All right, hold on. Go on. <sighs> Continue. <sighs> Tell me about the GG. GG, often used as a way online to signify a good game. <laughs> also, bro, that's not the GG. <laughs> can you read the whole name of it again, Ethan? It's... I can send it to you. If you want to help me with this research? <laughs> yeah. What, what was the name of it again, Ethan? I was actually I was yeah. I have follow-up appointments. I was messaging uh, Lena about acquired immunodeficiency. Listen, guys, I'm live so much. I gotta do. My, I gotta do all this medical shit now. I mean, <laughs> no, not when? No. Yes. And by the way, I keep nothing from you guys. Yeah. Tom Ward is taking my notes life right now. <laughs> is an open book. And if I have inflammatory bowel disease, my asshole will also be an open hole right. for you guys to look into. Fantastic. Like that, uh, like the Nair guy. Oompa Loompus. <laughs> nice one, guys. Oompa Loompus <laughs> Doompa Dee Doo. <laughs> Do you have chronic poopy poo poo? <laughs> <laughs> it's gliadin antibody IgG. You found it. The findings of IgG antibodies may indicate a diagnosis of celiac disease. So I don't have the celiac. It's sounding like we can definitively rule Well, that's out interesting. Celiac so stuff. that that yeah. is actually really useful to know. That's good. No celiac. That's great. Oompa lupus. It sounds like oompa lupus. <laughs> all the positives say you have lupus. Is it possible that all of these problems and symptoms that you're getting are because of the um Big, big pharma's vaccine no. kill zine. I mean, all the doctors know the medicine I'm on. Some medicines can cause a um, positive ANA, but none of the ones that I'm on are associated with. Yeah, they're with, part of the cover up. Right. Could yeah, could always be a cover up. The M in M N R uh, M R N A, mafia, mafioso. Mm. Okay, so this is insightful. My girlfriend has celiac disease, and you definitely have ligma celiac. Oh, fuck. You're a silly ass ligma, you know what I'm saying? Ligma celiac. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, there it is. There it is. Dude, you can't say I'm a hypochondriac. I'm literally being referred by hematologists, rheumatologists, my normal doctor. Like, these guys are like, you're dying, bro. You need to go see a specialist specialist. They're yeah. juicing you, dude. If, if you... <laughs> I'm not even... I'm not... It's costing my insurance a fortune. Right. I barely pay okay, anything well, for it. Well, they're still getting paid. It's like a $30 copay. It's nothing. Well, fault. they're getting paid. I love it. What? It's, not I'm not it's costing... <laughs> it, they're... Dude. No. I'm kidding. If chat knew actual like hypochondriacs, they wouldn't be calling you that because it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Well, if you're really, I think people use that word loosely. Like it right. is a medical condition. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Thank you. All right, let's move on. So pretty exciting. There's my, um, in short, health update is basically inconclusive. Still don't know. Still ongoing. <laughs> Probably my uh, rheumatologist will, when he reviews these tests, will probably order more tests to narrow in. But uh, as as I get any information, I'll come to you guys first and foremost. And and is the chat have any diagnosis for me? Uh, let's see. Uh, in all caps, Ethan. Who cares? Um, who cares? <laughs> it just happened to be on my screen right as you You don't care if I'm dying? <laughs> I was gonna say, I think they might care. <laughs> I care. Wait, hold on, DeFranco has an update. In a recent podcast episode, YouTuber Ethan Klein discloses that he's suffering from lupus disease. Oh. What? Really? That is really bad reporting. That is insane. <laughs> that is irresponsible. Really? He knows before the doctors, he's the goat. Billy. Can we do a poll? Let's see. Does Ethan have lupus? Oh yeah, he asked. The doctor goes, "Do you know uh, your ethnicity?" I was like, "Oh brother." I was like, "Yeah, dude. <sighs> You're not gonna like this, but I'm 99.3% Ashkenazi Jew." That's why. That's literally why they asked your ethnicity, just to know if you're Ashkenazi Jew. 
Because we're fucked. <laughs> so you're going to be like, oh. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> did you really present it that way? You're not going to like did. this? I <laughs> did. Well, no, I That's said. That's kind of wild. I said, well, I, uh. <laughs> you I raging think I said anti Semite. Like, <laughs> You're not gonna like this. I said, I think I'm the holy grail of genetic disorders. Uh. Mm. Uh. Yeah, Ashkenazi Jew. All right, let's, let's tell, have the chat tell me what's my diagnosis and then we'll move on. Well, we only have four. I mean, it's gotta be from four options, right? Well, so Ethan has, Ethan has a lupus. B, some other autoimmune. C, Ligma. I mean, that's going to win. Yeah. D, nothing. Or AIDS, I guess. Nuts. Nothing, parentheses, or AIDS. Or AIDS, give or take. Somewhere between nothing very and AIDS. Poll. Let's see. This is, a, has HIV in it. this is a great poll. I voted for lupus. <laughs> Chat will decide your fate. Ligma is taking a commanding lead. 42% Ligma. And second is 92% nothing or AIDS. <laughs> lupus actually has the least amount of votes. 12. 21% some other autoimmune disease. So I'll, I'll ask my doctor about uh, Ligma. And, doctor. <laughs> and perhaps AIDS, because that is in second place. Doctor, I have I have people telling me I might have Ligma. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Sending them an uh, email. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would go, he'd probably go to Google and say, what is Ligma? <gasps> and then Ligma meaning. Ligma is a made up disease on internet hoax claimed to have killed popular Fortnite players. And specifically Ninja. When people not in on the joke ask what is Ligma, the prankster will apply Ligma ball. Yo, now I get it. Oh, term like now I get it. That's awesome. Dude, that'd be so funny. Alright, let's talk about Bradley Cooper. This freak shit. Bradley Cooper's <laughs> this out shit. here. This shit is pretty wild. Coop, my boy, what's with Coopy, you? Cooper. So Bradley Cooper is working on another biopic. Like we need more fucking biopics. Can you just what about this one? It's interesting though. Are you sure? Well, I not this biopic specifically. I don't know, but the the subject of it, I would be interested in watching about. So it's called Maestro. Maestro, where he was. He stars at a world-renowned conductor and composer, Leonard Bernstein. The goat. Legend. My grandfather. The film is being <laughs> produced by Martin Scorsese and Steven Spielberg. Produced, that doesn't mean shit, right? Bradley wrote it, is directing, um... And stars in it. Yeah, and stars in I'll tell you, if Martin Scor uh, Scorsese or Steven Spielberg were on the set, they would have stopped him. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. 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 <laughs> if either one of these guys were on the set, they would have stopped this motherfucker. But this was all on Bradley, like we said, directing, road, starring it. Okay. He got he got the backing from the King of Jews, Spielberg, and thought he could right, get away with I, anything. I, I was gonna say at the meetings, Ethan. I mean, he talks all the time. S Spielberg got absolutely um, <laughs> sideswiped by this. Side uh, Spielberg is pulling yeah, out. Yeah, uh, is he out? He's out. If he's not, are you actually reporting that, or I don't? I'm think. saying if he's not out, then we need to put we need to lean on him. Jew card revoked. Mm -hmm. A card which I don't even want, and I hope someone revokes it. Please leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Maybe he feels the same way. Take my religion, please. <laughs> um. So this guy, uh, here's a picture, a side by side of the prosthetic nose that Bradley Cooper did, and then this composer, Leonard... Leonard. Leonard Bernstein. Do you guys notice something? So, they put a big fucking ass prosthetic nose <laughs> on oh, a Jew. Oh, my nose is fucking massive. <gasps> okay. But then when you go over to the actual guy, his nose is totally normal. 
Am I Jewish? Now, Am what was the purpose of this big ass <laughs> prosthetic nose? It's like a, it's like comically anti-Semitic. Would you have a little? Do you have horns in your hair too, Cooper? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with this. Is Here, here's a better one. I mean, their their no his natural nose is frankly comparable. Like yeah, it could it, have just not done but, anything. But the, the fact that they did the prosthetic that means that they said they thought to themselves the nose. This is the one thing I need to change about myself. This it this defines the man's face. It's his nose. Really? Right. If you it, like, if that were the case. Then I would understand, but this just seems weird. I mean, Fuck. is anyone like Leonard Bernstein, aka Big Nose? Oh, the oh, the nose guy, the guy yeah. with the giant nose. Now, like the thing is, is that later in life, you know, if you look at old photos of him, he had a large nose. But a lot of old people have large noses. Grows, yeah, it grows. So it doesn't seem that needed. I'm Not sorry. needed at all. <laughs> I, Not. I, I, I'm gonna get shit for this, but I don't, I don't see it as an issue. Oh my God, dude! You were Mister like. I know I'm Jewish. Wait, so so explain why that you don't see just this looking at more and more photos of Leonard Bernstein. Um, I I don't think it's that. Look at this shit. But that's what the just, fuck that's is this? One that. What the fuck is this, Zach? <laughs> it also just looks ridiculous. Come on, he, the guy had a big nose. <laughs> not that big. It's like it was it's big, big, but big, it's like dude. it's big, but it, I'm sorry, it's just not. Was it? Big enough to like a prosthetic. What does he got? A hook arm? This is a statement. I feel yeah. like an artistic statement at the very least. <laughs> All I'm saying, there was a lot that went into this. Right. A lot with the family. I I don't think they would have like. I feel like it's all been approved. Look at this! This looks fucking absurd! Right. I, I think it has to just be straight like- straight-up Nazi propaganda. <laughs> an intense implementation of like ignorance. Just like blind ignorance. Because what what is the- I just- I don't see the intent. Like, why is it so- Because he had a big nose. But is that- is that- Like, yeah, it's an anti-Semitic fucking thing. Probe, but, yeah. But like, the guy had a big nose. Not that big. <laughs> It was pretty big, dude. Yeah, I mean, there are other photos of him where where it's like, okay, yeah, his nose is on the bigger side. But again, it's just like not that. It's not prominent enough to require makeup. I disagree. For yeah, and um, Bradley, like I, I would, if you had watched this movie, would you have been like, t like, his nose is not big enough. That's not Leonard Bernstein. That's not. Well, I wouldn't have said that, but I, I. You would have never even dreamed to think of it. That's the point. It's well, just like, who cares? All I'm saying. What is, is happening right now, Zach? What do you mean? Well, first of all, Bradley Cooper, he fucks. So Zach you, obviously has you, his back just kind of automatically. You are abandoning your people. No, 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 no. I'm supporting the, the people here. I'm supporting the people here. And I'll tell you why. I support the family that approved this. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. They didn't know about they the did. nose. Well, they they no, must they have. They, they released a they released a statement yeah. this morning. Did they? they but did. Um, okay, let's, I'll let's read the statement. I was wondering one thing because he has super bushy eyebrows. I noticed like that's another prominent thing that he has. But they didn't do that to Bradley Cooper's eyebrows. Why not the eyebrows? Can we see yeah, the movie first? And he has can like curly curly hairs. What do you mean see the movie? I'm first? saying can we see the movie? Yeah. You want me yeah. to you want me to bookmark right. this conversation till we watch the I'm movie? I'm saying let, let's watch the movie before let's, I just feel like everyone's just trying chance. to just pin pick at fucking everything nowadays. Like I feel like it's it's not that bad. Who are you? <laughs> I'm I'm defending the like I'm not defending Bradley here, but I'm just saying I don't think it's as extreme as people make. I think like, a lot of people probably agree. I mean, I I personally just find it absurd and funny. Like I'm not well. Okay, like, tell me about it. Tell me if you think this is a coincidence. Somebody asked him what was the budget on the film, and he said it was about fourteen eighty-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> it's fourteen. And I was pages. like, why did he say it like that? Fourteen. Eighty-eight thousand. Yeah. Why don't you just? Wow. I right. thought that was weird. That 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 was very weird. Why did he do that? Why would he say that? Why did he do that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> also, like he's kind of hunky. Like he's he like he looks hunky yeah. here. He looks like a fucking weird freakazoid here. <laughs> I disagree. What? The hairline is off too. Right. 
All I'm saying is a, a person that I'm not saying I'm a, a scholar on Leonard Bernstein here, but I studied yeah. the guy's work and I've watched multiple documentaries with the guy. I don't think it's that crazy. Mm. All right, let's continue. Here's a gallery of tweets. Uh oh, not Twitter. Listen, it's my turn for this outrage. Don't take this from me. And guess what? Bradley Cooper's not even Jewish. Oh, we're having non Jews play Jews now? Come on. Sarah Silverman must be shaking. She's fuming, shitting. Fuming right now. Uh, this feels especially sinister because Bradley Cooper's nose is already the same shape and size, if not slightly larger. Now, okay, sinister. I'll be, I'll be totally honest. I'm hamming this up because I think it's funny. I don't, I highly doubt anybody on there was like, let's fucking make him no. look super Jewy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, I mean, they're made, be, just every scene he should be rubbing his hands together and asking <laughs> about shekels. Who's got some shekels for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the story is clearly, Give me the guilt. <laughs> like, they're clearly trying to tell his story in a respectful way. It's just whether or not people are debating whether or not this choice is, was like morally. I don't think right. anyone thought about it. Yeah, that's which is crazy. That seems pretty wild that you know, on a feature crazy. film with how many right. production people are involved that nobody brought up. Like, should we be doing the nose? A thing? prosthetic nose? Do we need the nose? Are we gonna get shit for the nose? Right. Somebody Look had out, to huh? have been like, are we gonna get Wait. shit for the nose? Yeah, Look. that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and somebody was like, it's fine. And now they're getting shit, so that person was right. But look, look how hunky he is. He's a beautiful man, isn't he? He fucked. He was, He dude. fucked. Dude, he fucked hard. Even in his later Maestro. age, he was, uh... So why the fuck would you go from this to this? Like, okay, Bradley Cooper's handsome. Why you gotta make yourself look more freakish, nosish? Bradley Cooper looks like he has no brows. Wait, somebody said Sarah Silverman is in the movie. No, no way. I love Sarah way. Silverman so much. That's, see, if she's hold on, in hold the, on. I gotta confirm that. Sarah Silverman. So if she nice. got by her, then I mean we're cool, man. If you it know. got by, Sarah, I mean if she signed off, yeah. Oh my God, I think she, she is. She is. What? Sarah. Sarah, you dropped the you dropped the dreidel on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this was like she had like a crusade about this a few years ago. Yeah. So it can't be that. Bad. And to clarify, it's not about the nose thing. It's, she on her podcast or something. Uh, one on a rant about Jew face, about non-Jews playing Jewish characters in movies. Which, and then she she's this, now this in a movie. This is an example of that, yeah. Because with I, a giant nosed goy, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get more Jew face than that. I'm just saying it, That's it, interesting. It, it, it's a little blown out of proportion. That's all I'm trying to say here. I mean, the movie isn't like canceled or anything. Like, I, I don't think the uproar is. That intense about it. Look, well, this came from S Stop Anti Semitism Twitter account. The Hollywood, they, you know. Hollywood cast Bradley Cooper, a non Jew, to play Jewish legend Leonard Bernstein and stuck a disgusting, exaggerated Jew nose on him. Can I, can I tell you how? I All know? while saying no to Jake Gyllenhaal, who is actually Jewish. I did not know that. I looked into that. Who actually. has dreams of playing Bernstein for decades. Apparently, huh. Jake huh. Gyllenhaal and Bradley Cooper were in talks separately to do a screenplay about Leonard Cohen oh. or Leonard. They should have given it the other Leonard and, musician, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the family went with Bradley. Well, now I'm the very family upset. decided. Yeah. yeah, the estate and the family. I don't right. think well, it's that bad. As a Gyllenhaal head. Now I'm pissed. A Jill head. A, as a Jill head, Ooh, I'm pissed. Ooh, the dude. Swifties are gonna come after you. I'm a Jew. You're a Jill. You're saying that. The Swifties? Why? A Jello, oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Can, can I? The say, album Red. I gotta ask him. a question. Gotcha. Huh? The people in charge of his estate <laughs> are they Jewish? Yes. How, maybe not. What's his family? Maybe though, he got married presumably. to a to a non-Jew, and then they started raising their kids not uh, non-religious. I uh, or maybe not even associated. Maybe. They could be full-blown fucking. I mean, it's be, that, they could be Mormons, dude. That, that's, Mormons it, 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 probably be pretty it, easy it, to uh, this, verify. This movie is about the love affair of him and his wife, and she passed away in the seventies, I believe. His was his wife Jewish? I do not know. Educated in Chile, she was like raised the Catholic and later the, converted. There to, it is, bro. And later converted. The family, to wait, 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 wait. She, she converted. converted. Yeah. She All right, converted. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. she converted. She Give converted, her a break. and uh, her own paternal grandfather was Jewish. I guess. Okay, uh, the con to Wikipedia. Uh, one thing about the converts is they're always more hardcore than anyone. Bro, they fucking hate her. That's true for all religions. Yeah, definitely. So, may I raise something? Everyone gets pissed off when I do this. Can they have done it for 
attention and publicity. That's insane. <laughs> that would be really. I, I'm nuts, with you man. a lot, love. Uh, but this time we got Spielberg, we got Scorsese, and Bradley yeah, Cooper. They don't. I don't, it they don't need it. It's so obvious. It's not that really good. Because it's so obvious that people are going to get pissed off at this. We're all Sarah saying, Silverman yeah. would have so, never signed off on that. Well, I mean, maybe it wasn't her decision. I'm just. She was, she was I, I think people. To be in this film. Or just blowing this out of proportion because someone on Twitter got mad. Really, Zach? That's, that's all I'm trying to say. What about this? Is this blown out of proportion? <laughs> oh my god. That's blown out of proportion, guys. <laughs> that's basically what he's doing. I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this again? Macklemore. Malchelstein. Malchelstein. So on a scale of one to that, that, where do you guys place it? Oh, on a scale of <laughs> of Macklemore to <laughs> Macklemore to <laughs> uh, Jake Gyllenhaal playing the character, right? Yeah. <laughs> I place it at. I mean, the nose is really dumb. It's really silly. I'd still, I put it at like a three. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. A three, two or three. It's like it's 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 eyebrow raising. It's a it's a three. Two is too low. Two is too low. Two is too low. They earn a three for this shit. Okay, that seems sort of low. Zach's Take it off arguing. screen for a sec, Ian. Put my document up here on accident. Thank you. All right, you're good. Hmm. Um. Let's see if there's anything. So they put out a statement. Okay. Yeah. Let's. let's His children released a statement this morning. There you go. They, that was very easy to verify. Well, whatever. They're friends with Bradley. You know, they pre probably glizzed, been glizzing him up for this whole these years. He's been doing this. How do you think he got the part instead of Jakey Boy? Oh, because all Jews like money. Because he glazed him up, that? dude. Bunch of operas. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, I just made a huge boo-boo. I what hit you... the button by accident for no reason. What? Why? Because I, I have it on my screen. I was trying to click a window. I misclicked and I clicked the button. <laughs> Wait, don't you have a physical button? No, I have the... No, oh, I you just don't the have a physical button. No, no, we only have the one button. Can you get that on a separate monitor or something? Uh, I mean, I did, it, it was just kind of a freak accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It, it was, All right. Uh, this there conversation. Was no, there was no, nothing was needed to be buttoned there. That was purely my mistake. So, that was a so rogue so, button. That was a rogue button. Oy vey. <laughs> so last thing you said was. Uh, you were saying you don't know who Leonard Bernstein is. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. You are saying yeah. West Side Story, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You were talking about the kids putting out a statement right before it cut. All right, so let's read the kids statement. All right. Look at this Jew-nosed fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, it's fucked up. <laughs> like, and somehow they made Bradley Cooper look not handsome. I disagree. When he is handsome, and Leonard is handsome. Mm -hmm. What have you done? All right, let's read this fucking Look, oh, just, I just want to say this, not, you don't have to have a big nose to be do you, just because you're Jewish, it doesn't mean you have a big nose or vice versa. A lot of other people have big noses. That's our point, dude. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what What do you mean? What do I mean? That's our point. That's what. That's why it's. Stereotype. That's why it's that's why weird it's that they did it. But he did, in fact, have a big nose. Not that big. All okay, right, stop. Whatever. Bradley Cooper included the three of us along every step of his amazing journey, as he made his film about our father. We were touched to the core to witness the depth of his commitment, his loving embrace of our father's music, and the sheer open-hearted joy he brought to this ex exploration. Dude, he was in so tight with his family. They would never peep a bad word about him. <laughs> it breaks our heart to see any misrepresentation or misunderstanding of his efforts. It happens to be true that Leonard Bernstein had a nice big nose. They put that in the statement? Wow. They literally wrote that. Bradley chose to use makeup to amplify his resemblance, and we're perfectly fine with that. We're also certain that our dad would have been fine with it as well. Any strident complaints around this issue strike us above all as disingenuous attempts to bring a successful person down a notch. Practice we observed all too often perpet uh, perpetrated on our father. But, mm, okay. Probably because of anti-Semitism. Yes. So it's not. It's kind of the inverse of yeah, that, but I, I guess yeah. I see what they're saying. Yeah, the Jews, the the 
the anti-Semites, the Jews, can't win. At all times during the making of this film, we could feel the profound respect and yes, the love that Bradley brought to his portrait of Leonard Bernstein and his wife, our mother. Why do you keep calling him Leonard Bernstein? It's your dad. Our mother, Felicia. Felicia. We feel so fortunate to have had this experience with Bradley. We can't wait for the world to see his creation. I mean, genuinely, the film is shot. I don't think it, anyone had a bad intention about it. So, I mean, I get it to put out the, uh, the statement. That being said, it's just, this is just what this movie is now. <laughs> You're not winning an Academy Award looking like that, Bradley. I hate to tell you. <laughs> and if you do win, you better not wear that up to accept the... To accept it, all right? That would be inappropriate. Let's, I'm curious what the audience thinks on the, um, let's do, let's do a poll, okay, on the scale of Jake Gyllenhaal playing to Brad, uh, to, to Macklemore. Uh, Macklemore knows. Now, I think in general, because we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of options with the poll. We have four. So I say we start at two, two, three, four, five. It's not six though. So maybe, maybe start at one. Just do one to four. Yeah, one, just one <laughs> to four. I think some people might vote five. Probably not though. But like oh, one but to one out of four. Just make that the whole breadth of the scale is <laughs> one to four. Mm, that makes sense. Reduce right. the frac. Re yeah, right. just kind of. No, I don't like that. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, yeah, why don't do we that. do a scale do like that. one to a hundred? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do like we'll start at like eight. Let's do. We'll do like forty ish. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah. On a scale of one to four, go ahead. All right. A scale yeah. of one to four. How questionable is the nose? Is that so the, four being Macklemore, one being Jake. So Gillen. one being Jake. Jill. Oh, his name is so hard to spell. I'm definitely going to spell it wrong, so forgive me. And then we'll do two, and then we'll do three, and then we'll do four Macklemore. Got it. All right, poll's going up. So my vote is going to be somewhere... The thing is, because it's such a limited scale. I'm going to vote a two. Okay. But it could be a thing. See, it's not a three just because... Oh, the, wow. This, it's all over the place. Mm, very divided. Very divided. Interestingly, the least problematic one is is one. So some people are saying, yeah, this this nose thing is a, is it's a big deal. This is a big, big deal. <laughs> it's a huge deal. <laughs> Two and three are tied at 32%, and Macklemore Bad is uh, second to last with 22%. <laughs> I was just saying bad for <laughs> Zach, Zach, with all, with all shtick aside, I totally understand where you're coming from. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I've mean... I've seen lots of people uh, echoing what you've, what you've said. Yeah, uh, and uh, clearly the family agrees with you, so, uh, you know. I I'm not... I'm not trying to come down hard on it at all. I just think it's, it's really fucking pretty funny. funny. It's, yeah. a, it's a quite an oversight. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite an oversight. You know, <laughs> I would even I would even hesitate to verbalize a comparison to other ethnicities because I would have to hit the button on myself. Right? Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Let's not do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. So it seems uh, so it seems that two is is taking the day here. Thirty yeah. three. I mean, there's lots of people whining about it being a bad poll, which fair enough, but also it doesn't really matter. You know me. what I'm curious about is uh, if there is a dong scene in this movie, how well this Yo. decision is. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you're saying how far how, how far, far back is, is the really? hood clipped? <laughs> well, we need to see the original dong, and if we could get side by side, how good the moil did. How good did the moil do, Bradley? Are you even circumcised, Bradley? <laughs> Now that that would be anti-Semitic. I would take <laughs> I would take it all back. If he's not circumcised. If he's unclipped playing Leonard Bernstein. Can you Google is Bradley Cooper circumcised? <laughs> uh, also, has Bradley Cooper has Bradley Cooper had com? sex with men? They should have circumcision. 
he was he bisexual. Bi? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good for him. Yeah. They should cut it before the recording of. Yo, the that movie. guy's pretty. That guy's pretty brave out there, being bisexual and Jewish back then. He was closeted. He was closeted. I, oh, I think, think that's was... actually largely what this film is about: is yeah. his relationship oh, with his closeted. wife. <laughs> which, yeah, I see. <laughs> so, did his wife know he was closeted? I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Answers.com. Go ahead. It's the vaguest thing I've ever seen. It says, is Bradley Cooper circumcised? <laughs> and then one person with no upvotes said, yes. Dude. <laughs> okay. I, Maybe that's Bradley. Dude, I found... It's a data point. <laughs> unrelated. <laughs> celebrity circumcised list 1982 has every male celebrity on here, and it says cut or uncut next to their name. What the That's awesome. Fuck the book. <laughs> the book of cut. That's fucking... What the... That's like wiki feet of circumcision. Of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Way cut. worse than wiki feet. Wait, how do they know? Yeah, well, I don't know why. I mean, Some I of guess... them are bolded. Word of mouth, maybe? Jeff Goldblum was bolded. Well, he's Jewish. It comes up sometimes in interviews, I don't know, or, I mean, I guess some of them may have done My nude Jewish? scenes or something. But in the I'm 80s, not? this was some groundwork people were doing. Yeah, that's... Because that was like the Red Scare shit. They're like, yo, who's Scott? Who's not? Mm, yeah. Elvis Presley. Although everyone was get was circumcised back then. Everyone. Elvis Presley, uncut. Freak. Just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I should <laughs> hit the button on that. I just, I don't like Elvis. I don't think people who are uncircumcised. Should I hit the button? Over out. No. 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 You're offending the uncut brothers? I wonder we if love our uncut they brothers. They don't got nothing to worry about. I wonder about. if Austin Butler, like, if he was clipped or not. To play oh, the right. role because he was so about that, you know. He's a yo. Fun. What if he was clipped and he had it restored just so that he could get into the role? <laughs> oh, Ringo Starr, uncut. Sorry. Here is um. He's an uncut. Steven guy. Spielberg taking the dub for this really brave new film, <laughs> and Malcolm Moore actually just was just finished performing. So wow. So that's exciting for him. Malcolm, Malcolm Moore's Bradley. list. Dude, this is crazy, bro. What are you doing? Didn't he like deny it too? He yeah. Kind of like, he's like, dude, I just picked it up at Party City. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah, we talked about it relatively recently, and I, I seem to recall he tried to explain it away somehow. Oh, Elton John, uncut. Mm. The English, I think the English. It's largely an American. Yeah, the Americans back then to, were all. To universally do it, so. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, huh? Not bad. Did you guys know about the movie before this drama? No. Uh, you know, I had, actually, I had heard a little bit of buzz about it, so I was like, it, I was kind of aware that it was happening, but I'm, certainly I, hadn't seen the trailer. Or I just, that. I'm so. You going conspiracy today. theory? Yeah, I'm full of conspiracy. They did, they, None of us knew. Dude, why about would the movie? they like potentially ruin the like? This movie is tainted. If, I, in my opinion, they will not. Put make him wear okay, a prosthetic okay. nose for the entire movie just so that they can nah. go viral nah, you're right, during the marketing campaign. Oh, Dustin they would Hoffman. just do one Cut. picture or something. You right. Know? Yeah. If they were gonna See, okay, I didn't know the trailer was out actually. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That, I think that's okay, the trailer dropping is what made everybody go okay. yo. I thought they what? just put out some pictures because then, then I feel like if, yeah. they could have done if it. If they faked the prosthetic, yeah. If he didn't, yeah. wasn't actually wearing right. it. <laughs> well, if the if the trailer's out, I'm yeah. less conspiratorial. Apparently, eighty percent of um, of men in the United States are circumcised. That's crazy. Al Pacino cut. <laughs> Don Cacino. Al Pacino My cut. Man. Okay, cut right them on. Off. Cut them off. Keep Is up, Jordan keep Peterson up the cut? Sporadic uh, uh, circumcision updates, AB. Yeah, yeah you like keep dropping those little. Like William Pacino. Shatner cut. <laughs> William Shatner cut. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's American, so yeah. Or is he? Is he Canadian? He's Jewish, isn't he? Mm. Christopher Walken cut. How the fuck do they know that? <laughs> Shatner is Canadian. I take it back. So, um, thank you to Bradley Cooper and uh, good luck on the film and all the best to the family. And All that being said, this movie looks boring as shit. And I like Leonard <laughs> Bernstein. I'm not going to see it. And that's it. They, these biopics. They got to chill on the biopics. Well, they're, it, like we mentioned. Biopic me films, more like. They're, they're focused, they're yeah. choosing to focus on his uh, marriage and his relationship. Yeah. And a lot of biopics do that as like a way, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently even Oppenheimer is like kind of uses his marriage as like a framing device for the whole movie. I feel like that was a little more relevant to the plot though. Okay. He was, yeah. I mean, he was dating a 
communist lady on the side. And right, the right. Downfall, but. Yeah, biopics. I got an issue with Oppenheimer though. They had two sex scenes and no perfect Hillian cock in there. What? Oh, yeah, there was. There was what is this? You know, there was communist dong, boobs. Bro? What? There was sex scenes in Oppenheimer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was there, communist there's boobs. Comey boobs. Communist Com- boobs. Comey? <laughs> there were James but, Comey's boobs, <laughs> but no perfect Hillian cock. And my other issue with Oppenheimer. Wow. All of the fucking physicists and shit. They look too hunky. They got, they're all like fucking too right. big dicked uh, captains Matt of the football Damon, team. Matt Damon, yeah. fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. right. That's Robert my... Downey, hell no. But so, Killian looked perfect for Bunch it. of pencil necks in reality, probably. Wasn't yeah. Oppenheimer Jewish himself? He was, yeah. Mm. That was a big part all of it. Alright guys, let's stop, let's stop naming all the Jews here, okay? <laughs> you may, you're putting us at risk. Is Killian Murphy cut? I gotta know. I don't he's know. He's Irish, right? Vincent, probably not. Alright, tell us uncut. if he's cut and we're gonna move on after that. This is from the 80s. Oh, he wasn't. In, yeah, he wasn't. When I'm done with yet. this list, I'll check on that. No, all right, TV. guys. Here, we're gonna do a clean Killian. cut. We're gonna circumcise this segment. <laughs> okay, ready <laughs> and chop. Okay, we're done. We're moving on. So, there's some pretty juicy Tannis stuff. Friend of the show, although I don't know because apparently she's like back friends with James Charles. What? Oh my God. Johnny Cash, uncut. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm done. But. <laughs> That makes sense to me. So, um, is that right, Olivia? She's like made back. She's posted, she was, yeah, she's po- she's has so, always so, said that James was friends with her friends, and she just like didn't like him. But now it seems that they've mended. So the problem friends. isn't that Watch he's a beat. predator. Yeah, the problem is that James Charles is a predator. That's the problem I see. Is that not the problem she had? That's with not him. the problem no. she ever had. No. She just thinks he's annoying. It was personal. Can you send me the photo she posted of them together? Sure. Yeah. That's not why she got in trouble, but it was something, again, I keep seeing big creators collaborating with James Charles, yeah. and I don't know what the fuck are they doing. Um, this is like straight up, in Hollywood, they talk about how everyone knew this person was a predator and everybody kept working with them. That's happening right now on YouTube. Yeah, I couldn't care less about the other Tana story, to be honest, like, she did that, she was mean to someone, right? Or she ducked someone. That I don't care that much, but being friends with and promoting a known like child predator, I guess, that's fucked up. That's bad in my opinion. I don't bad. get it. It's, it's not great. Why don't you care? It's really, really bad. Like I don't know if it's on TikTok. Where where are these happening? The makeup bad girl, and then even no, a friend of the, the show. I, bad girl? I love Terry Joe. I love Terry Joe. I I, oh, I couldn't say a bad word about bad about her. Girl. That hurt. And Terry Joe. But Terry Joe. Jojo Legos The Lego company Lego would never uh, he's But Jojo like and him are like besties Is this somebody who's this happy Father's Day his dad's kind of hunky No, yeah, yeah, I mean I guess so yeah, wait, what is that Lego guy? bag something's weird here make a bag <laughs> Make a bag Lego bag uh, I think he posts a lot to TikTok. We can see who else is. Make a bag. <laughs> She's so like <laughs> unhinged when she says it. She sounds rabid. Make a bag. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Make a bag. She was stoked. <laughs> Whoa. Make was... a bag. <laughs> Whoa. Um, did you find the Tana pic? I thought it was on Instagram. Yeah, I can find a like a tiny little. One that doesn't have a lot of pixels because it was on Snapchat. I'll send that to you. I'm Hello, looking for a better yeah. quality one though. Let's see. They were twinning at Coachella. Oh, they were twinning at Coachella. Pixels, it was an accident, but... to be fair. They what? did. Say that. Oh, but she posted a picture of her with him. Yeah, that's on her snap. That was so. That's Snapchat not. That's story. not a good look. Hello, Olivia. No. Tana and James twinning at Coachella. We showed up matching to Coachella day one, drunk. Me had no choice but to take this pick. So she's kind of trying to distance herself a little bit. She's Never. like, drunk me had to take the pick. They did a TikTok together on the 6th. Or okay, the let's see that. Okay, send it. Do you see it on here? I see. Oh, here it is. Oh, they did a TikTok together. Here. You're right. Today the car is all packed and I'm driving all around LA to drop off PR packages and flowers to my friends because my brand's about to launch in two days. Hi, BB. That's what? James, this is so cute. No. Thank you, B. And then I also I have a painted can. Okay, this is so cute. Wait, and- wait, wait, wait. I know this guy. I think he's a fan of the show. He's a makeup dude, right? Right, yeah. Love you. That's Manny MUA. Yeah. Yeah. 
Manny, I know. You, I think you watched the show. Manny's also a Colleen apologist. A queen? Colleen apologist. Jeez. Oh, mm. he maybe he doesn't watch the show Colleen. anymore. <laughs> okay, so well, but like James is object. I mean, James, what James is doing? You can't be doing this, man. Why? This is so cute. Ooh. Thank you, B. And I also you can't keep getting away with it. And of course, a little pink can open. And it's only because of these people he does. They are straight, just like, welcome back, baby. Let's get those young boys in the DMs. A literal pink can. Yes. I don't know who these people are. He said for. That's so, actually no comment, I guess. Love you. Well, you'll know this next person. <laughs> Jojo, I don't understand her involvement at all. Like, listen, I know you're friends, but guess what? The man's a predator, and you're enabling him. That's just what it is, man. Tom Ward's tweeted about us. I'm a lesbian, of course. Stop the press. Stop it! We have our next delivery for Alicia Marie. Who is this? I don't know who this is. Oh my god, these are stunning! Oh, flowers. I never get Another makeup person. Why would you be in this video? It's you are literally like you remember when Harvey Weinstein went to jail, and everyone's like, all these people knew. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, they all worked with him. They all knew. And then when he went to jail, and they're all like, I swear I didn't know, nobody knew. That's you guys right now. Yeah. No, all of these people should be pointed out when he does it again. Because they don't even really have plausible deniability. Like, these other people had a little bit of plausible deniability. Because it's been public so long. Yeah, it's yeah. been public so long. Crazy. I'm so excited for me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Tana, why is there? Okay, no comment. Tana, why, man? Why? Who would have ever thought that you would be at my house with flower and flowers? My hands, my painted princess. Wait, was her was her bottom of her boobs not supposed to be out? No, because she she pulled it down and then it. I, I just I never seen a top like that. No, under boob is in. It's in. Oh, it is. For real, it's in. It's always been in, but now it's acceptable. For reals. Oh, really? I never seen anyone out in public with them under boob out. boob coming out. Okay. I was just turning my head for time to see. Because here she pulls it down, and then it looks like more, more normal. But what do I, I mean, you know. I mean, I imagine it's really difficult to wear. Um, but dangerous. I think it looks kind of sick. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, not to be a boomer or anything. I'm, you know, adapting with this, uh, the world around me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just new to the underboob scene. You're being absolutely. a boober. I'm being You're an underboober. You're being deprogrammed, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dan is doting over the, the dogs. That's what. My hands, my painted princess. Painted prince. We don't gender around here. These are beautiful. Her makeup looks great. Thank you. Paint it. And then you can paint the blueprint. Oh my god. This is like a long clip, too. They're like fully back. <laughs> Tana and James are back. We are, we are so, so back. back. <laughs> they are so back. Being this a predator is so back in. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> yeah, he's do he's delivering a paint bucket to Roman Polanski. I heard. Or the Roman is Roman Polanski still alive? Yeah. So yeah. he so he's actually doing he's going to do his makeup. Be real cool. I don't know who these people are, at least. <laughs> There's two of them. As a fellow brand owner, once in a lot of that work, I just want to still getting me every time. Let's just see. That's the bell, man. Calling for all you fuckers. It does seem like a lot of famous people who we once associated with are not in this video, though, which is good. There's still a few, though. But anyway, that's not at all what we're here to talk about. 
We're here to talk about the... Uh, right, this isn't even the story. No. Oh, wait, Tom Ward tweeted about us. <gasps> Dude, I, I'm losing my mind. I cannot Drop find everything. this guy's Twitter now. Tom Ward show, right? That was... I, I got it. Thank you. Tom Ward is watching, this everybody. This is the Tom Ward show. It is my favorite show. Remember that? This... The, the Tom Green Not. show theme song? I have no idea what you... I have no idea. Okay, Tom Ward is watching. Here it is, guys. Big moment. Tom Ward, it's time to level up. Here it is. Our big moment. We have been recognized by the GOAT. I'm scrolling down. I, my hands are shaking. The anticipation. I'm sweating. We just tweeted Goatsy at you. <laughs> <laughs> you scroll down. Just... That would be good. That would be funny. He, got, he would get me on that one. <laughs> here it is. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I was actually looking for jobs today because YouTube has def not worked out. Oh, you hit. Oh. Okay, I was. I, uh, I'll be oh, the asshole. No. I was. A, I was a fan before. This is a little. I Wait, don't know. What? What? This make this. <laughs> okay, let me read it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let I, me read the whole thing. Let me read the whole thing. Okay. Let's read it. He says, "I was actually looking for jobs today because YouTube has def not worked out, and I get a text that H three H three was talking about me on a show today. I could only watch like five minutes. It was tough." Oh, Wait, I told you heart. he only saw the mean parts. Yeah, you should have kept watching because we, we were nice. We should comment and say keep watching. <laughs> he was right about a lot as far as my views, so I'm not angry. I'm embarrassed, yes, but not angry. Oh, Tommy. Don't be embarrassed. No. But I would um, like to make clear how I get guests, how I pay for everything, and I want to be crystal clear about how nothing shady. I don't think anything shady is going on, buddy. Ethan, I think I'd love he's just to talk a go getter. I mean, like he's a go getter. He, he almost got you. He's married almost to the Almost got me. He's hustling. Oh, this what is it? heartbreaking. You know. Oh my God, finish the segment, please. He said, but he says, Ethan, I'd love to talk. Hit me up. I we got to get a call in from Tom. Definitely. Let's get a call in right now. Call right him right now, now Tom. You want me to try and message him? Yeah. Okay. I'll say, uh, I'm not logged in here. Let me follow him on my. On my main account, because this is just a throwaway, I think. Or is this the show one? I'll message him from the what pod. What is this? Instagram. No, it's just a random one. Tom, call in right now, dude. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's make magic happen for Tom Ward. The interview extraordinaire. Mm-hmm. So, go ahead, AB. What were you saying? <laughs> nothing. I wish him nothing but success. I. What I, were you saying, A.B.? I knew what the end of that was going to say before we even read it. Nothing. Have him call in so we can do that thing where <laughs> the audience gets mad at me. You think he's pity baiting? <laughs> yeah. That's what you think. I want that. I want that. The. Uh, I want that. I saw Rocky Balboa on him. You know what I mean? People's champ on the come up. Rocky Balboa wouldn't pity bait. That's all I'm saying. Do you think that he? Do you think that he's not looking for a job? Uh, no, I'm, I'm sure he's, he may be looking for a job. No, I'm not saying he's lying about that. I mean, yeah, I could see from I could see him turning it on and then feeling really bad about the dumb shit Dan was saying about him, not me. <laughs> I didn't say anything mean. Dan is the one who uh, was being super mean to him. <laughs> Tom, re Tom, check, uh, where, where are you reaching out to him? The podcast? The Instagram for the pod sent him a message. Okay, let me hit him on Twitter, too. Dan's gonna apologize to you. <laughs> well, you know, we weren't fully clowning. We were more surprised. Why is he not getting views? Because he's putting out decent content. Let's he's not having pretend these like there wasn't clowning. Sure, there was sure, some clowning going. I was at, at the bottom, he's it was kind of, he, he is putting out good, like, it, visually pleasing content. Why is why is the yeah? So what low? was that fascinating was about it is that it was slow, right. slickly produced. It, it seemed really well put sense. together. Right. Big big guests and very low views, and all of it. It just wasn't adding up. And I think that's I think that's fair. That's fair for us to make that <laughs> observation. Sure, that was the bottom of her. But yeah, then that's the core of we got of a bit what we were into the interested mutual. in. Yeah. Um, I just texted him. Let's or I I DM'd him. Let's see. <laughs> Someone said, Abe, let people have opportunities. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Abe. <laughs> I was the one saying I, I, I had 
I, I was rooted for him, okay? I'm still rooting for him. He's my favorite root content for creator Just ever. Just root for yeah. him, EP. That's all you gotta do. He's That's a true underdog in the realest possible, most literal sense. <laughs> That's that's kind of a funny thing, dude. You are such an underdog. <laughs> you are literally like the quintessential underdog. Like if I looked at you, I think this guy has no chance. Underdog, <laughs> massive underdog. <laughs> Button. <laughs> Kidding. No, but Tom is family now, so let's let's bring him in. He Listen, I, I now knowing. Because remember, I kept suggesting that perhaps he has an audience that somewhere that we're not aware. At first, I thought it might be Facebook or something. The fact that he doesn't have an audience anywhere and is still getting guests that size is a testament to his ability. I mean, that that is impressive. Hustler, to get a bunch man. of big names to come talk to you. Sometimes hustling isn't enough, and that was Dan's point. Well, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, I don't remember who said it, but it was, I think it was Dan. Tom, come on. I need you now. We're waiting for your call, Tom. We're live, Tommy. <laughs> Destiny is calling. Will you answer? Destiny is calling, Tommy. We could uh, set it up for Friday as well. Uh, we'll follow up. Let's do both. <laughs> I'm overcompensating now. <laughs> um, Post his videos on our channel, actually. New frenemies co-host. New, new, new episode. Me and Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, Tom, on Ethan his Tom. channel, not ours. On his channel. Yeah. That's where the views are. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's just a matter of exposure. Yeah, of course. You post it where they will get the most exposure. <laughs> You're so <laughs> fucked up. Tom. Tom the underdog ward. He's interviewed every famous celebrity. All of them. Got cool tats. Tom Ward probably knows Bradley Cooper's clipped or not. <laughs> he might. <laughs> he might if anyone knows, it's Tom. <laughs> Let's ask him that in the DM before we interview him. Tommy, first question. Bradley Cooper, clipped or not? <laughs> um. All right. Well, as we wait for for Tom to reach, yeah, I hope, out, I hope we hear back. No, we should do anything until he calls in. We should wait in silence. So you just want to sit in silence? So and it's like a protest. Like Tom, <laughs> right. this silence is on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This dead air is on you. Yeah. All right. So Tana is getting canceled, I guess, and she's losing sponsors and all kinds of madness. Uh, uh oh. I, she went on a she went on a trip to Europe. And she was super unhappy with an experience she had at a wine tour in France. She explained that the tour wasn't what she imagined. She wanted to have fun, but this experience was a lot more serious than she had anticipated. I mean, I don't, I've never been on a wine tour, but I don't think it's like a r um, meant to be ruckus so parties. So this tour, they walk a span of about six to seven miles. Holy shit. Which she, was, she didn't know about, but apparently their friend who signed them up, it was on the flyer when she signed them up, but Tana did not know. And um, Tana says that when they were in the car, or the train on the way there, their tour guide asked them, do you want it to be fun or educational? And they said fun. And then this story okay. happened. But th to give you preface, she okay. asked for fun, I guess. We asked for fun. And you said it was in Europe? Yes, France. it was in France. Okay. So the tour guide met them at a location, 8 a.m. Tana was hungover, apparently. Tana described their tour guide and calls her out by name. Full, she uses her full name. And she drops the name of the wine cellar where she works. Wow. Yep. It's giving... Um, um, Dylan Page. It's giving Dylan Page... So here's a clip. Now this is all, is this all edited? So that it doesn't play her name? Uh... <laughs> this is not, no. Station. Well, she well, has this is, done This interviews. is from her, okay, I see. This is from her podcast that is still up. Yeah. Um, yes. And has 600,000 views, so... 
Are we? Should we not play I the name? I did, yeah. The what, problem no, is she, that they named. Her. No, she has since come out publicly and done an interview with uh, NBC. NBC. Okay, so this yeah, is NBC all is okay. widely known. Okay, this is old I, news. I guess at this point it's moot then. Yeah, and our fine. viewers won't. No, they would wrong. never. Right. Right. They would never do anything like that. No. 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 Never. Anyway, um, I was using Triller the other day, and I noticed the app was flipped. That's crazy. <laughs> Did you give it a review? I left a, yeah, well, I left a review based on my experience using the app. It was yeah, a one star, uh, it was a one star you experience. One star, huh? yeah, some people might give it five, but I'm personally, I give it a one, two. Yeah. I think actually I give it like a 1.5. They let you do like a half star. Okay. Because I heard Kevin Hart was on there. Yeah. So that got he's me a little not. bit. Wait, he's not? He's not on that app. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, so I can you change it to a one? I'll I'll check it out. I don't know if I can after the. I'll I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. So um, Tana, uh, here she is talking about it. To my surprise, the woman, who is our tour guide, who is taking us mm. on, the tour, is there to greet us at the train station. Okay. Keep in mind where we're going is like three hours away. So, yeah, so she, did she come all the way there? She came all the way there. Seems nice. Is that a complaint? She's doing, doing an extra mile. Right. That's a good I'm actually going to be calling her by her name. Oh, is she horrible? Cynthia. Wait, is that she actually, she's like, I'm making the conscious decision to blast this random citizen. Mm, jeez. Tana, you've been on the internet long enough. You know what the fuck, like, the different, even if you hate this woman, you know, come on now. Cynthia. I wrote it down. Let me make sure it's fucking Cynthia. 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 Mm -hmm. That's her name. Cynthia. Can we cut to me Cynthia. for one second? If you could put me full screen real quick. Uh, I just want to send Ethan a little message real quick. One okay. second. Oh, I think so. I think so. Um... Good uh, eye, Amy. Yeah. I, I just noticed that too. I, I don't know. I mean, it's on hers. Seems dumb to wear that, though. Maybe I'll zoom in. Maybe just I'll just play the audio. Sure, let's do that. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Ab. Good mm -hmm. catch, Ab. Thank you. Um, they're just sitting there telling the uh, story, <laughs> so the audio is fine. Uh oh. We get to the train station, and I'm I haven't eaten. I'm so hungover. They tell us there's going to be food on the train. There's going to be food there. We get on the train. There's no food on the train. There's no food at the wine tour. I find out. I'm like, oh, great. Now I'm starving. I'm exhausted. I'm hungover. I'm sad. And she starts. There's like people in Nigeria like the. I just love it. I don't know. The first world problems of it is awesome. But she's entitled to complain. You know, yeah, I mean, we whine about all kinds of things. On we, the, do. So. we do. We <laughs> do. Absolutely. We're going to judge her for that. Nope. I'm complaining. I'm sitting here complaining about Anna Titer. So, fair enough. Immediately talking to us. And she asks a question that for me is going to be the entire preface of my frustration with this story. Okay? Okay. So she looks Joe. at all of us and she says, this tour can go one of two ways. Would you like to have a fun tour or an educational tour? Why the fuck would I want to have an educational tour? Nice commentary. I guess that is like what a wine tour is for. Yeah. But yeah, but well, I think I, that our no, age yeah. range. Yeah, she is should not know. necessarily whatever. And she should. She shouldn't even have asked that question, frankly. No, not. Also, yeah, if, if you go to Fran French, France, and go to, a, they're gonna be like boring. I feel like French. Yeah. Yeah, it's like educational it's for this people that care is care to me, about yeah, wine. Drinking wine I mean, slowly. If, I, I yeah. think if you wanted to get drunk, they'd assume you just go to a bar. Right. Or sit in the... They probably have a room there, a bar there, you could just drink. You know? And I appreciate the question. Thank you for asking. We all come to the consensus. Hey, we didn't really sleep last night. We're super tired. We'd like to go on a fun wine tour. Right? So then I put in my headphones for what is probably one minute. And I intend on sleeping on this two and a half hour train ride. You know, girl dinner, I'm gonna have sleep for breakfast. Mm -hmm. At least get some rest before we go on this long yeah, day. Yeah, you, you gotta charge up. And I feel a tap on my shoulder. Oh. As I'm dozing off. It's Cynthia. 
Cynthia. I take my headphone out and she proceeds to go on a 30 minute tangent to me about why Vouv Clico champagne is called Vouv Clico champagne. Shut the yeah, fuck I mean, up. Okay. So I, you know, it's probably bad social etiquette on Cynthia's part. I mean, she could have said, I'm just prefer to sleep, you know, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So what else is there? Okay, so we just took a clip out because she says the C word when she's explaining what happens. And um, it's, a little, it's a little risky if we try to mute it so I can explain to you what ends up happening. And the one where she says, I want her dead? <laughs> oh, no, no, not that one, actually. Okay. That's a separate one. Okay. But the way that the story ends is that the woman um, asked them to like drink a glass of wine the way that they would normally drink it. And one of them made a joke about like slamming it, but she didn't actually do it. And then Cynthia said like, oh, maybe only the civilized people should have a drink. And then Tana got super angry. They got into a fight and then she was like, I'm, go I'm leaving. And so Cynthia went back with them all the way. Cynthia left or Tana Cynthia, left? Cynthia uh, went with them back to Paris on the train. Like she didn't stay at the the winery. She like accompanied them. Why? I guess just that was her her prerogative or job. She picked him up that morning. Okay. So oh, here, yeah. So, so here. that happened. Um, so the problem arises here. Obviously, she had a bad time. There's so many more things I want to say, but she I. She doesn't like the lady. But here she had an Ethan moment. And Tana, girl, talk to me. You got you got to get a button. You got to. Uh, Breaks my heart to see this happen to someone else. Talking for 40 minutes. I mean, just to casually throw out a death threat. I mean, we've all been there. The 50,000 people. We've all been there, live. 600,000 in her case. Well, this isn't live, though, right? No, no, no. Right. Yeah. No, it was recorded at... I guess your point is yeah. that they had the opportunity... Right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't need a bottle. She's like, hold on, let me get her exact name. Okay, it's Cynthia, and she says her last name at some point too, right? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't know if she says oh, the last I name. I think they just we put know it, it together because, because got it, yeah. They knew the winery. Yeah, if, yeah. they knew, knew the name. Work, knew the first name. That's she right. owns okay. it too. Right. Honestly, I loved it. I, I kind of want Cynthia dead. No offense. No, uh, I, I literally, I, I, I absolutely want her dead at the hands of me. Well, okay, so. Okay, let's analyze this death wish. Um. How do we rate this on death wishes levels? I didn't catch what she said. She said... No, I, I literally... Honestly, I loved it. I, I kind of want Cynthia dead. No offense. No, well, I, I literally... Is, yeah. I, I, I absolutely they, want her dead. At the hands of me. Well, they're uh, obviously being ironic. They're just being over the top, but you can't say that on the internet. Right. Also, as we know. That's the difference. Also, the you can't say that. big difference from when I... Like, other people have done death wishes. They do it, like, to famous people, right? This is like a private, just, random yeah. citizen it's pretty wild. who is very, very exposed to anything, right? That's very fucked up. It's very just Why not? Did, did, did she not have editors? Take they want, no, I mean, they left it intentionally. It was a post. But I think, yeah, I mean, busy. it's an overall package, right? It's not even like, oh, I want her dead as a goof. It's the name, it's the location, the yeah. fact that she's just a private citizen, you know, it's pretty wild. Okay, so was that your only negative experience at least? Yeah. That's but as far as death threats go, mine was had more gusto than that, I think. Yeah, yeah. yours was worse. Sure. Yeah. This was like a Win uh, Wendy Williams style. Death to all of them. Yeah. But it's not, yeah, it's not after doxing a private citizen. Death yeah, doesn't that to make all it them. You're many, right, many, that, many, that many, element many does worse. make it a lot worse. Yeah. In my opinion. Uh, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Uh, yeah, when I, when I make death threats, I like to say it with my whole body. <laughs> Let's get <laughs> off that. <laughs> Aspect of it. I like to put it like all. Let's get, get off that die, aspect of it. Die, die. Thank you, Wendy. My soul, uh, my yeah. kindred soul. It's good. Other than the fact that I can't died. walk. But that, that was. I, so I guess that was it. But then, I guess people started getting mad. She didn't cut it out yet. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, people. I mean, all the comments are that they loved her story, but what's been happening is Babel. Uh. Oh, shout out Babel. They also <laughs> They also bailed on me the last time I did a death threat. What did they have a problem with death threats? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Babel. Clearly, Stop identifying with the Clearly they do. <laughs> yes. Wow, prudes. 
<laughs> During the episode sponsors uh, Babel, Tana said, and with Babel, I could have told Cynthia, the wine tour lady, to shut the fuck up in her native oh, language. Wait, no way. <laughs> it's edited out. Unfortunately, now. that also is something I have. <laughs> basically done too during a sponsor. That is a wild. Well, she she edited lived. that part out. <laughs> Babel has since said the company is no longer working with Tana, and would carefully vet podcast more podcasts more in the future. We. Oui. Uh oh, here it comes. The statement. This absolutely does not align with Babel's company's value. We only make death threats against. Don't. We, right, right. Just right, don't. Right. Mm -hmm. Horsberg wrote in an email highlighted here Tana is obviously not a person who understands or celebrates the difference in cultures and we regret to be in any way involved with her oh that was the problem she just wasn't, she wasn't celebrating French culture I thought it was because of the death threat um, after the podcast episode was released Cynthia told NBC News that she had started receiving strange messages from people on Instagram and her business began receiving poor reviews. That sucks. The poor review thing, so lame, bro. That sucks for a business owner. And she actually tried so hard to like go out of the, her way for her goal. I mean, traveling three ways, both ways, to Paris to pick him up. Yeah. After Cynthia listened to the podcast episode, she said she reported Tannis death threats to the Paris police. Yeah. Similarly, I was also reported to the FBI. Uh, a lot of parallels. Like a butterfly's wing. What was that video? The guy who's he was, he was talking about me, and he recorded himself calling oh, right. the police. Or yeah. <laughs> oh my that god. Guy. His name shit. is Ethan Klein. Oh, that's him. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow the guy. Oh. K L E I N. Yeah, he's on the internet <laughs> making I death threats. Podcast or the H like, okay. podcast. They're like, are you currently under threat? He's like, this happened seven days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I these feel, I dude, feel yeah. under I forgot threat. about this. Yeah. Dude, the I tried to forget about most of that. But. Good. Such a baby. It's like, bro, you're you have all these guns. Um, <laughs> you're Tom a baby. Answered. Yeah, um we we have some big news, oh boy. Uh Tom the Tom Ward show has become a member of the A Street Podcast oh, channel. Tom. Tom, you need that fiver, bro. Don't and give I, it to us. And I think he is responding. I'm with him. He is responding. <laughs> well, um, let's get give him the link. I mean, shit. Let's talk well, to him. I can set I up a Zoom. A, yeah. yeah, send him a Zoom link. Okay, one second. Oh, he says you around. Let's do it. All right, stand by, stand by. Here, so, uh, are you sending it to him or where? Yeah, I, I'll send it. From the podcast account. Um, he actually gave me my number, so I'm texting it to him. Okay, perfect. Damn, you got Tom on speed dial? Let's go. Did you send it? Not yet. I was just launching Zoom. All right, I'm going to go pee. Really? Listen, guys, I've been going for like th over three hours. I'm going to pee. Thank you. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk to Tommy Boy. And we're going to figure yeah. all this out. Careful for fr flushing so you don't burn anything. Oh, shit. Is it still hot? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> A little bit, maybe. Okay. Would it be? Hmm. Huh? S Sam, did you, did you turn it off or is it still cooking in there? She's not here. She's not here. Never mind. I doubt she left it on. <laughs> Just left the bottom. I hope not. There. <laughs> uh, she was in there cleaning for a while. I'm yeah, sure it's yeah, all yeah. Good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll go to the bathroom when Ethan gets back because. I don't want Tom calling me out. I'm not in the mood for this right now. I'm just a big fan. <laughs> That's it. I'm hiding in the yeah. bathroom. Keep I'll, your head low. I'll be making a steak in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a super chat AB that calls you AB Clout Killer. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I that's said, pretty funny. I, I'm saying I'm going to change my name after this episode to Dream Killer. <laughs> Dream Killer? <laughs> yeah. It's good. Honestly, kind of a sick name. Oh, what's name. this? Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Bobby Althoff just dropped receipts in the Instagram story. Receipts for what? Let's look into that. Let's wait for Ethan. If it's, if it's too go, juicy. Somebody go check it out. I'm on it. Yeah. Uh, Dan is my favorite member of the crew. Ethan should be <laughs> thankful that Dan, what does it say? That Dan created H3H3 and lets Ethan host the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> well, I you know. I just saw a lot of talent in him, decided to raise him up, you know. Uh, what else we got here? 
I took an airplane on Monday and listened to the podcast for once, and I gotta say, audio version of the podcast, audio version of the podcast, what gotta say, the... nice. still an entertaining program. I enjoyed it a lot. And if you're an audio listener out there, you never see me, and you never see what I do for the show. I'm sorry, but I hope you're still having a good time. Still hear your beautiful yeah. voice. It's I'm not gonna be here Friday. Show. I'll be I'll be listening on Friday. Oh, Tom Ward has entered the good. waiting room. He's entered the waiting room. He's here, people. He's here. Uh, so that's exciting. Ethan will be back in a second. A love always has W takes. Me? Love? That's, uh, that's what um, Ear says. Shout love out. always has W takes for your information. She was on the no, she's on no sleep and hungover. Later, she was drinking, blacking out on tour, and her fans have turned on her. Right. <laughs> that sucks. Um, Ethan, Tom Ward has entered the waiting room. Let's go. All right. Hold on. I also sent that update for the, uh, what's her name? Bobby? Booby? Bobby? All right. I'm letting in. What Tom Bobby update? Waiting room. Let's talk to Tom first. Okay. He's here, people. He's oh. here. Is that Tom Ward? Tom, I He's got a you. muted stream. Tom, can oh, you mute the uh, stream, please? One second. Yep. No worries. He takes me. Hello. That's, uh, that's what. Um, says always has w takes for your information why are we hearing that back wait bobby's actually upset about this this is fascinating let's do it after right tom can you hear me that sucks um ethan tom ward has entered the waiting room guys all right i also sent that update what's happened tom what? Tom, tommy boy <laughs> i don't know what all right i'm trying to figure out what's going on tommy Zach? You live back there? Zach? Tommy boy. His stream is still, like, he has his stream open or something like that. Yeah. My boy, okay. Tom Ward. <laughs> hold on, that's, hold on. Uh, that's what, um, Drew says. Tommy. Hello. All right, I'm, I'm muted. Is that okay? There, there we is. go. There it is. Tom Ward. Welcome to the show. Hey so, guys. first, Tom, thank you for calling in. I apologize, you know, for we're being a little s s uh, s snarky. Ethan, hold on, we're being a little start, snarky, am, for sure. E hold on a second, Ethan. Sorry, gang. Am I supposed to see you or no? Yes, you should be seeing me. Hold I on. I do not see you. Yeah, okay, yeah, one yeah. second. Let me uh, work that out. I see Dan Swordlove. Well, nobody wants to see that. Cameras. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Let's get that out of there. Hold on. Take there he is. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, well, hey, Tom, thanks for being here. God bless. You know, uh, we were a little snarky, so I apologize. Although, we're, we are rooting for you, Tom. We are. I appreciate it. So, um, what's going on? What is your, what is the story here? You're, are you really looking for a job at this point? It's funny. You saw my tweet, like, legit, um, yeah, like I'm not even pissed. I watched my wife's cousin text me and said, uh, you know, you were talking about me. I'm thinking like, how am I even on his radar? Like why, you know, what's he talking about? So I watched, I lasted three minutes. Yeah. You know, it was, it was too tough to watch me. I couldn't, yeah. you know, I was so bummed out and literally, yeah, like I was looking for jobs this morning. Like I have an interview tomorrow and I have one Friday, but like money's running out. YouTube ain't working like you're not wrong like it's not working so it's like it's time to figure this shit out and then yeah. I, got hit, I was like fuck I apologize for that it's alright man but it is fascinating because there's something really I, I like you have gotten consistently all these famous people you've interviewed I don't understand why the views are so low I genuinely don't understand how can you post an interview with Rob Dietrich Dear get three hundred. Get three hundred views. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's you're the interview. I don't know. I don't know anyone's name. That's your job. Uh, but well, how like, is it possible? I don't understand. Well, that's the real reason I reached out. Like, it wasn't to like you know be mad or like you know anything like that. I just wanted to be clear, like that there's no funny business going on, like behind the scenes. Oh, uh, yeah. The part I, I the part I watch, you were like speculating, like is he paying them? Are they paying him for Forbes articles and all this stuff? Um. Dude, everything's really above board. I mean, do you want to talk about how I could guess? Sure, I'd love to know, yeah. So, like, the whole thing, first of all, um, I was an equipment, I sold kitchen equipment to grocery stores for the last nine years. Like, 
about as regular on show busy job as you could possibly have. And I just hated my job. So I start blogging. I read this book and about like changing careers or finding out what you really want to do. I was just miserable at work. And one of the things was you should blog because no one writes anymore. It'll set you apart. Like just blog, just write like no one writes anymore. So this is like six, six years ago. So I start writing and no one's reading, no one gives a fuck. And then one day, Jessica Alba, the actress somehow sees my little blog post that was getting like 10, 20 views a day. Like no one, my mom and like a couple friends maybe were reading. That's it. Somehow she sees an article I wrote and posts it on LinkedIn and it blew up. It got like 200,000 views in like 24 hours. Like mm. to this day, Jessica, if you're out there, like I, I'm still, my, I have no idea how she found it. But anyway, that led me to an editor reaching out from Forbes and saying like, hey, do you want to be a contributor? Mm. I'm a sales guy. I'm not a professional writer. I didn't write for my school paper. I'm just a regular, just a regular guy trying to find out like a better job. So I did it. And I was writing like clickbaity kind of articles for Forbes, like marketing lessons you can learn from the Kardashians. Was just, Forbes paying you for that content? They, I mean, they barely pay. I mean, you have to jump through all these hoops to get paid. So for me, I mean, it's minimal. <laughs> I mean, it's minimal. Yeah. Like, the, it takes me a shitload of time to write these. The only reason I did it was for the, you know, the exposure. It gave yeah. me like a name. Mm-hmm. So I'm just writing. And then one day um, I get a pitch from this PR guy saying like, hey, do you want to interview this kid, Jake Paul? And I had really, no they reached out to you. Well, I interviewed Kate Hudson. I got an interview with Kate so Hudson. So how'd you get that interview? I just reached out. I just, I, I figured like, I'm a sales guy. I figured Forbes, like everyone would want to be in Forbes. Like who wouldn't? And like, I would pitch myself as like, Hey, I want to talk about business, Kate. Like I'm not interested in who you're dating or your wedding or any of that bullshit. Like I, I just am genuinely interested in like fabletics. Like, does it make money? How'd you start? Like, that's it. Okay. So you, yeah. So you're using the Forbes association saying, yeah. yo, so she was the first big famous person you got. For sure. And there was no YouTube or anything. I just okay. wanted to interview. That's and so it. were you mass emailing if you're like PR person you could find? Like, what was the strategy back then? No, it wasn't even really that well thought out because, again, I had a full time job and I got two kids and I got a wife and, you know, I got a, like a regular life. I didn't have a shitload of time, but like I would religiously work every Saturday and either write a Forbes article because I didn't have time during the week or I just reach out to guests. So I would have like a nothing scientific. I had a Google spreadsheet list okay so you were just reaching out like dream people and then were you reaching out to their like pr team what where were you contacting them i didn't even know what a pr person was i would just like randomly send them dms i would you know i would go on their instagram and sometimes they have an email button and i would just send an email to wherever that goes and then, okay so where did the where did the message reach reach kate which part? I don't even remember, but I don't even remember, but just a PR person reached out to me. Kate, obviously, okay. that's the reason. Okay, okay. So they reached out and said, yeah, we'd love to do this interview. Yeah. Okay. And how'd it so, go? It was good. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was a lot of work for like not that great a reward. Like it was that if you're watching this and you've never been, been to these things like I hadn't, you, you're just part of the Oh, line. you did the like, press like, junket. Was, yeah, yeah, it was okay, like a fabulous okay, event. I got you. And, and I got like three questions with her and then put me in front of the CEO who I don't give a fuck about, but they want the story about he wants to be in Forbes. So you got to sit and listen to him for 45 minutes. So that was it. Okay, interesting. Well, then I guess that opened more uh, potential for you to be like, hey, I interviewed these people. And then the for next sure. the next big one was Jake Paul. Yeah, it was so wild because I'm like, this is this is back in like 2015 2016 i didn't know who jake paul was i didn't know what a youtuber was he sends me this i was like 37 at the nah, 38 at the time so he sends me this i'm like so i look him up you know and i go who the fuck is this kid with like 20 million followers i never even heard of like what's an influencer because in 2015 it wasn't like now where a business insider has a whole team debate you know just creating or covering content creators Back then, there was only Taylor Lorenz was the only person I know doing it. And 
I said that with Jake and like what interested me most about Jake wasn't all the, you know, who he's dating or the gossip. I was a grown man. Like I didn't care about that. I was fascinated by like the entrepreneurial side of them, like the marketing side. Like I sat down with them for an hour and a half at the old team 10 house, which was a shit show just showing up there. And we just sat in his garage for like an hour and a half and chopped it up. And he just talking about business and the team that works for him. And I just, I remember leaving there being like, everyone thinks this is some dumb kid. Like I thought that an hour before I walked in the house, but this is a smart dude running a multi-million dollar business with like a whole team of people working for the organization. Like shit is wild. Like do people know this? So, so is that kind of where you got interested in the influencer side? And then, cause I noticed you started, you interviewed like Logan, you interviewed Emma yeah, yeah. Chamberlain. So why is yeah. it then that I, like, it's, it's such an, sure. why is it, do you think that it never caught on? I'm just, I'm fascinated by that. I think because I didn't, you know, it's easy to get views. If you're going to say like, you sit down with the, some, whoever the big influencer is like, who are you dating? Or like, you know, talk about this person you're in a beef with. But like, I was, you know, that wasn't my thing. Like, I'm not a kind of gotcha controversial guy. Like I was just genuinely interested in the business behind them. So and no one was telling the story. Like, like I said, Taylor was, and that's it. There was no business insider. There was no one covering this stuff. So, so like your I, theory is that you were less focused on the drama, yeah. which would have got you more engagement, more focused on the business side. Correct. Yeah, of course. And people are going to be more So interested. this one with Jason, you're asking about Trisha and stuff. How do you... And actually, you had this great moment where he was defending Colleen. And uh, it has four, it has 400 yeah. views. What the fuck? Jason Nash. I don't understand how it's possible. And I'm not saying yeah. that to be mean. I'm genuinely perplexed. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm on your side in that I don't understand it. I give up, man. I don't get it. I just know it ain't working. Like, so you know, I gave been... him my best shot. Yeah, I don't know. So you've been they don't like me. They don't like the style of interview. I'm not talking about the topics they want. Who knows? I don't know. Let me see. You have, oh, they're probably just our fans now. We got to get you to the top, Tom. Yeah, it's all just, they're all nice now. Well, that's nice. Thank you, guys. But, um, so you have a, you, it seems like you built out like a studio space. You invested a lot of time and money into this. Oh, for sure. How I long, wasted a ton of money. How long have you been doing it full time? Just since last July. Like Dorn, I know that like uh, you were talking about like how how there's not much revenue coming in. Like for before I quit my job, which was a mistake in hindsight, like I was probably spending, I was a full time, so I probably spent like 20, 25 grand a year doing that. Yeah. And which is insane. Like I'm a regular guy, but like I always justified it. And my wife, shout out to my wife for letting me spend it, was like some guys like the golf, some people have a boat and they go out on the weekends, like I just wanted to talk to interesting people and that's it. Like mm -hmm. I, it was just for the love of the game for me. Mm -hmm. I just was genuinely interested in, in doing this, talking to people. That's it. So did you give yourself, you're like, all right, I'm going to take a year off and see if I can make something happen. <laughs> yes, I did. I saved, we saved money. Like when I was doing influencers, I was getting, you know, little brand deals here and there and I had a full-time job. So I just saved all that. Mm -hmm. And then I was just so miserable at my job. I mean, I'm selling fucking, I'll never forget. <laughs> I'm on conference calls about an oven. I sold um, Sprouts Farmer's Market. Like if you're not near one, it's a grocery store. And I'm on phone calls, conference calls for like five hours about this one oven at this one store that broke. And then I leave to go to Paris Hilton's house to hang out and interview for the for the day. And the whole thing is like, in what world does this even make sense? Like the right. whole shit, the whole thing was wild. To me, <clears throat> no, I understand. I mean, listen, it's good you tried. I think it's better to try and see. But how how much cash have you burned through in that year? You don't have to tell me if you're not comfortable. I'm just curious. Uh, like a, about a, what I would have made if I stayed at my job for a year, like a year's like a salary. year's salary, so like real money. Damn. Yes. But but you know what though, like it. Like when I watched your video today, I watched the first five minutes. At first, it hurt. Like, if I, no one wants to be called like a failure publicly, basically, like, I mean, you said it. You said, like, hey, man, it ain't working. Like, may, maybe it's never going to work. And like, you were right. Like, if, if I look at those five, six years, it didn't work. But for me, like, I'm looking for jobs now and you feel like a failure and all this other shit. But if I'm honest, 
I got to do some cool shit in the last year. I would have never been able to do yeah. I mean, what guy at like 38. I mean, when you're 38, you're stuck in a career. You're kind of are where you are. You may hate your job, maybe bounce around to some companies and within the industry and you fucking retire. That's have, it. Have you thought about trying something new? It seems like you're specifically focused on the interviewing. Have you thought about maybe different strategies to grow the channel or try to capture new audience? Hey, I'm open to ideas, bro. I, I oh. obviously don't have to figure it out. Okay. You want me to pitch some stuff? I can brainstorm for you. Sure. Um, probably, oh, I don't know if you're going to like this. There's probably some kind of bald fetish stuff on YouTube. I swear to God. <laughs> like, let, let me type this. Bald fit. Now I don't. That's a pretty sharp left turn for your channel. Granted, <laughs> but there is some. Yeah, there's views here. There's views, and in the in the um, chat, they're really. I hate to say this. Uh, they really need to calm down. But the 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 ladies in chat are simping for you hard. Well, I'm flattered. I don't know why. Happily I mean. married, though, right? Yeah, happily, yes, happily yeah, married. The, but, hey, calm uh, down in the chat. I appreciate it, though. It makes me feel good. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who was who is the most interesting person you've uh, met and chatted with, regardless probably, of fame? Rob Deerdeck. It probably affected my life the most out of all the interviews I've done. He's just a wild guy. Like he, if you're watching this, if you're interested in like productivity and stuff, you watch it. But he tracks every second of his day, like literally. Like he'll track how much, and he's got, he's got his life so dialed in like that show ridiculousness, which has been mm -hmm. on forever and makes a shitload of money. He's got it like dialed in where I think he, he only spends like 20 hours a week filming that. Right. And yeah, he, like, he's wild. He's I've seen him talk. Kid. Yeah. I've seen him talking about like his venture capital stuff. He's really focused. Oh, for sure. He was telling me like after the interview, he's like, unless something really fucked up happens, like I'll be a billionaire. Oh, he's planning for it. Oh, oh, for sure. Like he's got, I mean, tons of businesses. He's got his VC stuff. Like he's dialed in, but it wasn't always like that. Like he pissed away his money, you know, had bad people <laughs> advising him. Like, Oh, I have to ask you, you miss, you misspelled his name, Tom. Do you think I know, that, I saw that, dude, I saw that on the I comments. mean, after, after Seriously. everything you did to put in, and, and then I maybe, know. maybe, I don't know, you didn't dot, you gotta dot the I's, Tom. I know, bro. Well, thank you for telling me, Nation, whatever, whatever this fan group is called. Yeah, we're, <laughs> you can call us the Fupa Troopers, the Family, Foot Army, you could they call us. They told me, so I changed it. Yeah, good, maybe the views will go up now that it's spelled right. YouTube was confused. They're like, who the fuck is this? Rob Drydeck? Dreardeck? All right, well. Hmm. Jason Nash. It's kind of embarrassing for him, though, that he didn't get more views. <laughs> yeah. It's not even your fault. It's Jason's fault at this point. You know, if I, you know, uh, I mean, shit. If I came on your, I can't do your show, Tom, because I can't, I'm too fragile. I can't go on your show and get 300 views. It would destroy me. Of course. It's my fault, not your fault. Totally understand. So, Jason, if you're watching, what the fuck, man? And Jason didn't share it anywhere? That's kind of... Did he not share you know, it anywhere? Sad part. He did. He shared it on <laughs> that, that, That's even worse. Dude. No, that is really sad. That means, like... He shared it and it only got 300 views. What is happening? I was actually looking Hello, at Jason man. Nash's Twitter and he has like a couple of tweets with like five likes on it. Jason? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Tom, that's nuts. Hard out there, man. No kidding. Now, granted, I haven't watched one of your full uh, interviews through. So I, I can't I can't say anything about like the approach or the quality or anything, but I mean, shit, man. His most popular one. You were at four years ago. You had Dubrick, Dubrick's number one, uh, with eight hundred thirty thousand. Well, I took a lot down. I did because I was I pivoted away from influencers, so I took a lot down. But I interviewed Emma Chamberlain when she first popped. Wait, you t why would you take that down? Well, because I wanted to move away from influencers. And kind of move into more business stuff. So that's also part of the reason that. But why did you down. take it down? That doesn't make sense because you still have Dubrick, Logan Paul, and all these other influences. Charlie D'Amelio. 
Well, they're unlisted. I could put them back up. I mean, if you guys think I should put them up, I'll put them back up after this. Yeah, she's huge. I mean, that that's that's a big deal to get Emma Chamberlain. She's really, really big. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I never had her on my show, Tom. What the fuck? Get it together, bro. I mean, if I can get them, like, you have no excuse. That's goddamn right. Maybe you should be my booker, bro. Oh. Let's go. I need, I need a, a fucking job. Beast. Let's go. You're like a beast booker, man. You get crazy gets. Mm. Well, I want to explain, and that's the reason I reached out to. I wanted to explain because it, apparently, <laughs> I guess, the segment on me got better as time went on, but I didn't make it that long. But the one thing I didn't like was kind of like the implication that what's he doing? Is he selling Forbes articles? Like, how is he getting these guests? Like, do you mind me explaining like how I do it? Sure. Go ahead. I mean, it's no secret. It's just that pitch I sent you in 2019 that you yeah. shared. Like, yeah. it's basically like, Hey, I want to, I'm interested in you one. Cause I have to write a Forbes article for you. So if I'm not interested, I don't want to do an article. This is a lot of work. So yeah. like, I'm genuinely interested in you. So I'm sincere. And I said, let's sit down and buy the and Basically, can we shoot it for YouTube? And most people say, yeah, the people that have said no to that, I still do the Forbes article. So it's not like I'm you know, holding them hostage. But I also provide clips about them talking about business where a lot of these people, especially the creators, don't have that kind of content. They want to show off kind of like an entrepreneur. So I provide clips to all the interviews that you don't have to show me in the video if you don't want to. Like, you don't have to tag me. Like, here's clips to do whatever you want. With. Mm -hmm. And everyone needs content. <laughs> And it's a good pitch. I got to say, you know, like I said, I almost agreed to it until that that email. You saw that email that was pretty. Did you write that, Tom, that email? I don't remember. I didn't make it to that part. Oh, of the you didn't see it. Pull up the email. No. Pull up the email. Actually, me and Dan, my producer, both remembered the email because it was so funny. Um, oh, no. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Uh-oh. Um, I, I think it was a misunderstanding, but still it was, it was quite funny. Me and Dan both remembered it. Let me pull it up here. I'm looking back. It's not blurred. Oh. So does, what's the name? Do you see it? Or just send it to me. So did you ever pretend to be a PR person? I had somebody help me before, and um, no, I had somebody help me. I never pretended. Tom. I just, I'm Tom, you know. Oh, but so no, this, this is not the right one, AB. Yeah. At times, so, I hey. hired people, like, uh, you know, off Upwork and stuff, but they could never, so maybe they, it could come from them. I sent most of them, though. What's the first name? Because it's blocked out. I can't see it. I. Nobody can see it. All right, whatever. Here, I'll just pull it up. Yeah. Oh, it's... Okay, whatever. So here is the email I got. Uh-oh. And it's, it's, it's funny. Don't worry. We are having a laugh. So I got... I said, I'm a talent booker for the Tom Ward podcast, and I love to have Ethan on the show. I loved working with Timothy at full screen. I don't know what that means. Then she I said... I don't know what that means. She says, we can tape when and where it's convenient for him. What? Fuck that. I would never say that. Never. I'm not the star. I go where the star wants to do it. I'll do it at their house. I'll do it at their studio. I thought that was so funny. And then she says, we have a studio book this Thursday. So it's read to me like, I will only do this on my time Thursday at the studio. That's what it's. And so, and so I responded, wow, he must be busy. Fuck no. No, look, I'm the little guy. I'm humble. Like, I would never send that. I did have someone helping me. I won't name her name. Um, and I tried a couple times to have other people do that because it's a lot of work. Yeah. But they could never get it. They could never get the guests I could get. Like, I always had better luck than they did. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know anyone at full screen. So. Yeah, I don't know anyone. If, I don't know what that is about. But I, I always uh, cherish that email, Tom. And I guess that's what even brought us back to, to having this long discussion about you. So, I, I guess it worked out in a weird way. So, um, I'm an entrepreneur, Tom. Okay. Would you like to know anything about me? I would. What kind of revenue do you I'm guys I'm just get kidding. It? I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> what you, would you make last year? Great question, Tom. Nice try. 
No, I don't want to say that. How much did you make last year? I just told you I lost the zero. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make any fucking money. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't hmm. It's time to level up. It's time to level up. Martin, you had Bradley Martin. He's a meathead, isn't he? He, he was wild. He cried during the interview. That was. He cried. The man cried? In the interview, for sure. If he cried watching. on our show. Wait, did, but so you got tears and did anyone watch it? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, dude, Bradley no Martin. I wouldn't do um, well on TikTok. Yeah, have you tried putting so, these on TikTok? Because I, I think Love's right about that. Yeah, they do way better on social than they do on YouTube. Like the clips, like for, I think, Charlie D'Amelio, when I interviewed her, I don't know what it got, like 80,000 views or something the last time, which is like horrible. But like the clips, I think five clips from it on TikTok got like 5 million plus views. So okay. they, they they're way not, better on social. They're not converting people to watching on YouTube. Although, no, I mean, if things, if things are popping on TikTok, it might be worth pursuing that and, st and focusing content for that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people mm -hmm. have built really successful careers on TikTok of all different verticals. Did you take down the Bradley Martin one? I can't find it. Yeah, it took a bunch. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll put everything back up. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. These Come on. These are gems, man. Nobody cares about David Dobrik. It's funny. He's I made has been, bro. this week again. It's funny that they, I got pitched him today. I may do him next week again. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. Like, I'm telling you. I That's get a pitched. huge deal. That's a huge get. Fuck yeah, it is. David, I mean, he's about as big don't, as you I get. Don't mention anything about eyeballs, okay? <laughs> Sensitive topic for him. Soon. Yeah, um, so try to think about how, and he's huge on TikTok, too. You got to work that, man. If you work that right, people are going to watch it. You know, but like he's not going to talk about Jeff and the eye. You I mean, don't have to ask about that. There's that a, would get the most attention, obviously. Yeah, but there's ways to let's see, let's see. How can we approach it in a way he'll talk about it, but obviously not explicitly about Jeff. Um, he, you could ask him about not posting on YouTube anymore because that's related to the drama. He's just gone off sure. YouTube, and that's real yeah. interesting. You know, like he's gone. He's just gone from YouTube. Uh, Snapchat. He's killing it on Snapchat. Yeah. Killing it. And then on Snapchat, I know that there's a special creator uh, program that pay. Uh, I've heard. I'm not on Snapchat. That pays like insane. I would definitely. I just talked to Jason. I just talked to Jason about this. I won't say the number, but they're made. But I mean, they're making stupid money. But he was telling me they have to post like a hundred times a day. Holy fuck! I'm like, how could you even? I mean, what? <laughs> Well, I'm he just a, he just guy. records dumb shit all day. You know what I mean? He says just anything. You just yeah. have it's all numbers. Like the Nelk boys kill it on there too. I know their manager. Like there's a lot of guys making a ton of money on Snapchat. Not us. Not my dumbass. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing fine. I tried. They didn't want me. Didn't we reach out and they're like, nah? Didn't that happen? <laughs> uh, it, I the conversation kind of. Fizzled. Fizzled out, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were going to make an account. Snapchat's annoying. I don't want to fuck around with Snapchat. I think they did want you, though. They did want me? I believe so. Oh. Whatever. Fuck them, right, Tom? Exactly. So, I would ask about the Snapchat. Why is he on Snap? Now, we know the reason. It's because of the money. You get, you're taking notes. I'm there we go. See, Tom is yeah, taking dude. notes. I'm on my shit, bro. <laughs> now, we know he's doing it because of the money. So it's interesting to ask him and try to see, like, he's going to spin some silly narrative about, like, I just like the way it's written. Just hear what he says, right? Uh, also, again, not being on YouTube. Also being in, you could say, you could kind of broadly be like, you've been through a lot of controversies. How has that affected, how has that affected your your mentality. Oh, another thing is David's always been super controversy adverse. He's even said that he would rather it's better to just ignore everything, never respond to anything. And so he was forced to respond ultimately to a few things that happened. And I feel that that would be interesting. Like what was different about this one that you wanted to respond to versus like the Seth thing? Which he never responded to. Those are pretty hard hitting, though. I don't. I don't know if he's going to bail on those. 
I don't know. As soon as you hear Jeff accident controversy. But even if he bails, it's a fucking scoop, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. And that's interesting stuff, you know? I don't know. But uh, to be totally frank with you, he's you're pro I probably just ruined your chance of landing that interview. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, but the only thing I have on my side is I've interviewed him twice. and You have you rapport. Know, I, yeah, I know the guy. I'm not going to try to fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's my problem. That is your problem. It, for it's sure. Not, it's not fuck him. It's just... Sorry, I had to button that away, Tom. I made a joke about it. Inappropriate uncle of David's. <laughs> As fear, fully speculative. Yeah, I don't, I guess maybe I'm not the best at giving advice on this sort of thing. Maybe, maybe off the air. Show me your notes. Is it empty? Show me your empty okay. notepad. Yeah. No, I wrote it down. Oh, you wrote some stuff. Okay. Smiley sure. face. There you go. You know? Thank you. You got any you you got any other ideas other than the interviewing thing? I mean, I'm not like a super exciting guy. Like my life's pretty fucking boring. Mine I mean, too. Other than, oh, well, I mean, other than getting to sit down with these people or go to events, I, I never go anywhere. Like, so I'm not like a vlog kind of guy. Like, no one's interested in that. No, I mean, maybe not a vlog thing. Yeah. I mean, so that's out. Have you tried like going to celebrities' houses and filming their inside their window? Without them knowing? <laughs> that could be good. I never thought about that. That could be good. I know a stars map guy will hook you up. Maybe, um... Oh, shit. Here's Bradley Martin. Let's see. Guess how many gems Bradley Martin got thrown out of before he opened Zoo Culture? Follow me for more clips like this. Originally, I was just going to open a gym that I was going to film my content out because I kept getting... I would, I would just play the clip. Especially yeah. on Yeah, TikTok. we tried that doing the intro. I don't do that anymore. You tried to feel okay, okay. That's Guess how many times Bradley Martin got try. thrown out of before he opened Zoo Culture. Follow now me we just do the clip. like this. Originally, I was just going to open a gym that I was going to film my content out because I can't He's talking about how his dad gym. committed suicide. Like, that was a pretty wild story. Like, yeah. you look at him like some dumb meathead, and you're like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah. That, that obviously fucked him up. Yeah, to it, is, it is very touching, that, that whole, um, all that he's been through, definitely. So Why I would, were you thinking about just you know filming? lifting girls or doing crazy <laughs> dumb shit like just doing shit that like is not normal for a gym? Yeah. But I knew it was working on the internet, so I was like, oh, I want to do more of this. But then I would go do it at like a gold gym, and they would kick me out. Guess how many gyms Bradley? That's what you need to do, Tom. You know what What's I mean? That? Go get kicked out of places. <laughs> do yeah. He goes. It was work. Like the things that are working for you seem to be like TikTok. Let me check out your TikTok. Yeah, TikTok is okay. Let me see, Tom Ward. Tom Wards. TikTok. Is it Wards? Tom Ward. Ward. W-A-R-D. All right, let's see. So here's the Jason one. It's not really popping off. Let, let me see. This uh, one got a thousand views. Let's see. How do you avoid the negativity almost or something? It seems like whether it's Trisha attacking you, you're not responding, or with the Jeff stuff, like you mentioned before, like, hey, I just saw him at the gym see, yesterday. I We're did. still friendly. You tried to that. go like, there, which I, I like. Let's see where, how was he? How do you stay, I guess, positive and- The music, uh, Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't know why he put music in this one. I like it. I think it's good. But it's making me feel like Jason's... Jason, I'm inspired by how... I think the music is fine. Let's hear Out of all the trappings, I, the drum that comes along with it, I learned, like, a long time ago that, like, I can't win at that game. So if you feed into any of that... I feel like just, this was actually kind of interesting, though, to be totally honest, about the I can't win that game. Gonna bite in the entrance. And so for the people that, like, do drama, it eventually The music's a little through. loud. Yeah, and you've yeah. got to be built for that. You've got to be able to be like, yeah, I don't care. And I don't necessarily know if I'm built for that. How do you avoid... It's not a bad clip. Love, you're the clip guy. Yeah. What would you do? You, okay, being super critical, right? Yeah. Uh, critical. Love's our social media guy. He's good. I would keep your question quicker and get to him faster. Because if sure. I, he's the famous person, so we want to see yeah. him faster, I guess. Less Tom. <laughs> Sorry. To... More guests. More yeah. Jason. It's just... I do that with Ethan even when we talk about the topic get to the topic immediately, you know, yeah so Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh so We have a campaign going for Tom to co-host the streamies 
Fuck the streamies. You say fuck the streamies? The my man, what's your problem with the streamies? I hate the streamies too. Seems so ridiculous. The whole thing seems so ridiculous. Like, who owns it? I remember I looked into it once because I had are one they? of the. Who are they? Like, I remember when I was doing influencers, I go, like, I should cover this. I interview all the big influencers. Like, they're all going to be there, and they never got back to me. They did something Scum. that pissed me off. So I'm like, fuck them. There's. Yeah, we're going to the streamies this year. We're trying to win. Good we're pl- we're train. We're playing ball this year. Can I talk about that, Dan? Yeah, you can talk about it. I don't think we have said it, though. Yes. Uh, so these guys have been peer pressuring me so bad. The crew, Hila, <laughs> they've been on me. I go, I do not want to go to the streamies. Last year, they announced the freaking category during a commercial break. You know, Because yep. we weren't there. And so, well, we said, okay. I still told streamies, everyone on the crew is coming. And we get our own table at the front. And they said yes to that. Okay. They asked me to present. I said I'm not presenting. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Then we said, tell us, is this going to be a stage category or a commercial category? <laughs> they seem to apply to us, right? Potentially. That it won't be a commercial category because we'll be there. That's what I'm saying. That It makes Is sense, it, right? They said last year nobody showed up from the podcast bracket. Right, so of course they announced it. And so, but the thing is, I'm up against Shetty, and I know Shetty's going to, he's going to win creator. He's going to sweep the whole fight. So Do you know who Jay Shetty is, so good. Tom? Yeah, you know what's so funny? I was, I wanted to interview him, and I, I, sh- I shot him a DM on Instagram, I don't know, like six months ago or something, and then I looked. He messaged me in like 2016 no and said, like, hey, I really like the art the article you did about Lele Pons. Like, would you want to have me on? And I fucking said no. I said, I'm you actually said no to Shetty. No, yeah, I know I'm focused more on creators. Dude, you said no to the Shet head? <laughs> Such a dumbass. As such, I was like kicking myself when I read you that. You said oh, no, bro? Brutal. I said no at the time. <laughs> did you even have I a looked, following at the time? Not really. I just wasn't interested awesome. in Jay Shetty. I don't know. <laughs> That's the best. I didn't know man. who he was. Like, I... opportunity comes knocking at your door, and you're like, "No." You're I, like, I "Hello, opportunity!" Shut the door in the face. So dumb. So <laughs> <It's> awesome. Dumb. <laughs> so we are we are unveiling a little bit about your journey. You just you like to shut opportunity is is. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's just to not good. Like, we don't like opportunity. Just an isolated incident. What? <laughs> This is an isolated incident. Uh-huh. There's a lot of isolated incidents, Tom. I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Jay, so, but he's like the biggest now. She, uh, Jay Shetty. He's interviewing Biden. He's a, I mean, uh, he's a fucking piece of shit, huge. bro. <laughs> killing him. The only reason Tom, he's successful is because he has beautiful eyes. What, yeah. Dan? Tom, you got to understand, he's like enemy number one to Ethan. Jay oh, Shetty. why? Well, like, he, it's kind of semi-ironic, but also because he because he always wins the streamies. He's beaten every Ethan like five times in a row. Every goddamn time. And I'll tell you what, his program is not that good, Tom. <laughs> you should be where Jay Shetty is. And Jay Shetty should be out fucking just being, I don't know, he has beautiful eyes. Go do something with that. Get off my fucking... I feel like he got the eye surgery. Doing now, if you look, like he's kind of secure and... I follow him like he's doing more influencers now, which is smart. If I want to win streamies year after year, I, I sprinkle in. I do the president, throw in some big influencers over here. Do so you think he's award baiting? Possibly. Yeah, I think so too. He, you know, he probably on even on the board of the streamies. Who knows, man? Yep. Crazy. Yeah. Um, did you ever reach back out to Shetty and be like, "Sai, come on the show, please"? Well, yeah, <laughs> like I. <laughs> But I, when I saw him, like when I reached out a year ago and I saw that, I go, fuck it, let me just ask him anyway, who cares, you know? I, I he go ghosted you, right? Oh. Yeah, and he, he big times you. Fuck. He's like, I remember yeah. this fucking guy. Yo, yeah, there's an interesting theory in the chat that, um, oh, that's that Jay Shetty got you blacklisted because you yeah. said no to him. Mm. Yeah. Yo! Because Shetty how else the... would your interviews get so little views? Shetty has that power. <laughs> and he is mean spirited. I know that. Shetty, I'm sure, is a good guy. He has way too much time to worry about me. He holds a grudge. I know that about him. He he <laughs> thinks about you regularly. The guy who said no. It's rubbed him wrong all these years. He cursed you. 
Maybe did, man. Mm. Fuck you, Jay. Yeah, there now we're talking. <laughs> Fuck Jay Shetty. Tom Ward all day. Damn. Now I like the Tom Ward show. This is a show. Let's see. Jay Shetty is nominated, first of all, in the podcast category. Of course. Uh, with me, us. Jay Shetty's also creator of the year. Like, can we please let someone else, like Logan Paul, finally get his chance? <laughs> he doesn't really fit in that list. I mean, wh who sticks out to you? I mean, he sh sticks out to me. He's not like, he's more like a 60 Minutes correspondent or something at this point. Yeah. He's not Honestly, really like a... uh, uh, this is why, I, this is just not for me. I don't know why you guys are making me go to this. I don't know everybody on here. It's gonna be fun, dude. We're gonna get all glammed up. But like Arak, Charlie D'Amelio, Jay Shetty, Logan Paul, something. what year is it? <laughs> like this, what the fuck? I got like, Mr. Beast on there. He'll probably win. Right? I mean, he should win, frankly, uh, because uh, he's Mr. Beast. I mean, what the fuck? Charlie D'Amelio? No offense to D'Amelio's, but it's 2023. You know, let's move on. Shetty has way nicer eyes than Mr. Beast, though. Let me see your eyes. What color are your eyes? Who, me? Are those They're hazel eyes? Brown hazel, yeah. Yeah, my boy. Oh, my boy. Beautiful hazels. Thank you. Perfect you gotta, podcasting. you gotta work those for what they're worth, man. Do you consider doing some kind of eye lighting so that they shimmer more in the interviews? Does the bald fetish? Does it help if you have nice eyes? I think it all works. It all works. It all works. It's very good. How tall are you? Six foot. Let's go. You got it all, man. How old are your kids? Um, eight and four. Beautiful. Aww. Yeah, two girls. Two girls. I have two boys. Four and one and a half. Oh, oh nice. Okay. I remember that. Was Beautiful, <laughs> right? Beautiful. Horrible. The best. Oh, no, horrible. No, I, Boy, I mean, they're tough years. Four and one. Yeah, they're, they're a handful, man. And the two boys together, it's like, the t I think, it's like the Tasmanian devil. You remember that character? They're yeah. both Tasmanian devils, just swirling chaos all the time. Four is a cute age. One's tough. Four age, uh, one is tough. Yeah. Well, yeah. They need a lot of. They need help with everything. Like, come on, dude, grow up already. Stop being so worthless. <laughs> like at least like my four year old. My four year old does shit for me now. I'd be like, Yo, can you take this to the trash? Can you get me that? And he does shit for me. I was yeah. like, Yo, this is paying off. That's sick. This investment is starting to have dividends. You know. I only dream of the day I can ask him to pick up the dog shit, like my- I used to have to do. Right? Right. Well, Alright, listen, Tom, I've been going way over. I- it's been a pleasure to talk to you. I don't know what, but something's gotta be done, Tom. I mean, it's just not right. It ain't- it ain't working, so, I mean, I've accepted that. Mix it up, bro. Oh, Listen to me. Oh, oh, if you get that Dobrik interview, this is your yeah. last shot, bro. Do this it. is it. Get in there and fucking mix it up, man. Because what, what are you going to go do another vanilla interview? For what purpose? You're going to go get a fucking another job. Yeah. You got you to gotta mix it up, bro. Get in there. Make some shit right. happen. You're right. It's your last shot. Absolutely. Right? So, yeah. change up I mean, your technique. I, I understand the urgency of the situation, trust yeah. me. But I'm saying, get, don't go in there and do another vanilla interview. You gotta mix it up. Try to get some more interviews and just get in there and fucking turn it all upside down. You're not Tom Ward anymore. You're Mott Drowd. It's your name backwards. Pick up David's chair with like an excavator or something mid-interview. That'll get some attention on you. That's it. I'm saying, just go, you know, do crazy shit. Ethan, well, how about this? Could you, I tell you where the interview is, and you bulldoze the wall with an excavator. You just interrupt the interview. That'd be that would be fantastic. Like the cool potentially man. highly illegal. Are you? Is it? Can we destroy your studio? Is that okay? Can we just demolish it? I mean, this is my office. This is no studio. So, can we destroy your home? Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That'll work. My man is committed. Oh, but one thing before we go, though, I did want to say one thing. Like, when you we talked about it before about, you know, is he using the Forbes thing and all this other stuff? Like, the one thing is, I don't, for some reason, like, there's thousands of contributors for Forbes and Entrepreneur and Inc. Magazine and all these other places, right? And they can do the same exact thing I'm doing. Yeah. But yet, maybe they are, I don't know. 
But for some reason, the guests come to me, and I, honestly, I'm shocked. Like, my views are so horrible <laughs> that I'm surprised. Like, me I am, too. I'm interviewing, it's such I'm interviewing, a... Go ahead. I'm interviewing corporate Natalie tomorrow. I don't have to do a Forbes article. I'm interviewing Pat Bed David, who's like a crazy business guy on social media, doing him Friday. No Forbes Wait, article. Who's corporate Natalie? I'm looking that up. So she's a she's big... Like a, she's a work... She's a... I don't know what she does. She's like a millennial, had a corporate job during the pandemic, started making content. And then what's the other person you said? Pat Bet David. It's kind of a weird name. Patrick Bet David. You do. You have this uncanny ability to get people on your show. There's something. So there's you, there's reason, something going on, Tom, that we need to figure out. That's what I'm saying. Like these people, despite my views being fucking awful, my channel being dead, you know, all this other shit that you clearly, you know, talked about and laid it out for me this morning. Um, they keep coming on. Wait. And I don't know why. Like I've been interviewing. No, you're like, interviewing th this guy's a big deal. You're interviewing. I know, him. that's what I'm telling you. And I don't have to do it for it. He's just coming on the Tom Ward show. Dude, now, why? that is huge for you. Yeah. So mate, you got it, dude. So let's go go in with this. Whatever okay. I've been doing. It doesn't work for sure. Nobody's watching. So the problem is not the guests clearly or the platform. You got the formula. The problem is somehow, however you're approaching these interviews, go in there and mix it the fuck up, dude. Go into goblin mode. That's what they call it. And that's what the kids call it. You know, okay. get nervous, get in there, feel anxious, get nervous, put yourself outside your comfort zone. This guy's got, there's a lot of juice about this guy, man. You could do a real good interview with him. He's an interesting guy. Oh, for sure. I haven't prepped for him yet, but yeah, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow after I'm done with Natalie. So, um, that's really exciting. I mean, you have a lot of really good opportunities coming up. That's exciting. I'd love yeah. to see, I'm going to be, wa I mean, we're all going to be watching. I'd love to see what you make with these. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me on to kind of defend myself a little bit. And uh, You don't need to defend nice, yourself, Tommy. This we was know. nice from where I was two hours ago, so I appreciate it. Well, if you just so you know, if you watch the um, the rest, we got less mean and more supportive. People wanted me to tell you that. By the end, we loved. Yeah, you might want to. Oh, if you watch the whole thing, you'll feel better, I think. All right, thank you. But I, I'm excited for you. I think you can do this. With these, okay. you have this. You have these big opportunities coming up. We're all going to be watching. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it. All right, mix it up, Tom. Remember, goblin mode. Goblin mode, Tom. Get the fuck in there. All right, buddy. Nice chatting. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Talk to you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. We'll stay in touch. All right. All right. Bye, Tom. Bye, guys. Tom Ward. Good yeah. guy. Dude, he's got big saying. interviews coming up. Yeah, dude. Massive. Like, you could definitely do something interesting with this dude. Well, especially for his niche, I think that is a huge opportunity because that guy's podcast is very business-focused and everything. And so the, the crossover potential, the angle that he wants to approach it from of talking to you know influencers and famous people <clears throat> about their entrepreneurship... Um, Talking That's to not this a good guy angle, is more though. valuable to that goal but than... But it's not than, a good angle. Don't encourage him. Dude, I don't know. I don't, it, I don't, it is. It, it, lots I, of, those, they're very successful podcasts. But it's talk not, about that kind but of stuff. How, but it's dude, not happening. Every, true. But every time, He's got to do something every time, different. Like, when we ask people on the show how much money they make, TikTok revenue, everything. I make a clip of that. Three million views. Okay, but why? I think he's got to loosen up because yeah. he's like... So I, I don't watching, disagree with you because he goes, "Oh, Jay right. Shetty's not in my bucket." So no, you got to loosen up. You got to not. You can't just right. talk about this one thing. But also, this guy has like a lot of questionable tags, a lot of questionable opinions. He's very political. Mm -hmm. He's had a lot of questionable people on his podcast. You know, I don't know Tom's politics or if he's even comfortable doing that. But in my opinion, my point is just this: he's got yeah, to dig change in, dig his into approach. The controversy a little bit more that that i that i agree i'm not even saying on. controversy necessarily just something different yeah mm -hmm. if he goes into this interview and just goes in vanilla let's talk about business nobody's gonna watch it again fair enough shetty's got him cursed or some shit i think <laughs> right. at least we got him to say fuck jay that was good that was very funny the fact that he big time jay shetty that was dude so iconic that's, that's gold so iconic. That's gold, baby. All right. We are 
at four hours and 10 minutes. Oh, what quick uh, react to this for love. Thanks. So this is really fucking interesting. So Bobby just posted this update about the Drake thing. She said, I did not want to do this podcast in the first place. And now so much negativity is coming from it. I'm going to leave it alone after this, but this is the uncensored DM between Dave. She's and talking I. about doing yeah. D- Dave. She's talking about Dave, who is a giant piece of shit asshole, which we right. all know. Okay. So she didn't go on it, and now he's causing all this trouble for her. So here's their whole conversation. My girlfriend says you hooked up with Drake and got divorced. I am saying that is not true. She said, "I am not commenting publicly, but off the record, you're right. That is not true. I knew I was right." And then he goes on his show. And says the and opposite. bleeps it. Oh, bleep! Right. He bleeped it, so it sounded like he was saying something compromising. Right. Which is right. fucked up. That's what I'm saying. It's fucked up. Isn't that literally yeah, the definition yeah, of uh, yeah. what's it called? The legal statute where you say something and it's not true. Defamation. You say it, defamation, right? Um, you knowing it's not true uh, and then still because. Nah, but he didn't know. say it. They no, bleeped yeah. it. Oh, okay. He, he's fine. But no, like but the obvious fine. implication of it is. Super fucked up. Yeah, it's really up, weird. Super, yeah. super fucked up. Uh, and Bobby, think. again, I'm on your side, girl. Fuck Dave Pork Boy. He's a piece of shit. He's an asshole. I've known this from the beginning. Mm. Come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Off the record, DM me. You can tell me anything you want. I won't share it on the show, I promise. Never have, never will. On the Tom Ward podcast, Bobby. Yes! <laughs> All right. So... There it is, Bobby. I'm sorry you had to deal with Dave. That was really messed up what he did, yeah, man. Not cool. Not cool, Dave. Um, so she dispelled the rumor, though. So there it is. There you anyway, go. shout out to Tom Ward. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. This has gone way over. Yep. Way over. How long have we been going? Ethan Four is hours. giving bad advice. How the fuck am I giving bad advice, Gamooch? Don't read the chat. The <laughs> worst advice you could give this poor guy. He's put his life on pause. He's put it all on the line. Is to go in there and then do another goddamn interview the same way he's been yeah. doing it. Yeah, no, the, absolutely. He, fuck do you know, Gamooch? He doesn't need another yes man. Like, or yeah, another, yeah, yeah. like... Gamooch? <laughs> More like... What do they call it? Is, uh, the douche. Talk, toxic Gooch. positivity. Gooch. Ta- well, right. Gooch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what do you know about it, Ethan? What do you do for a living? Nothing. I don't know nothing about yeah. it. Gamooch. No. Gamooch. Where's your show, Gamooch? Gamooch. Come on, huh? Gamooch. I think it's good advice. And anyway, he doesn't have to take it. He's got nothing to lose. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Tom. Thank you to Samantha for the, the beautiful three-course yes. meal. Well done, Samantha. How long have we been going, Dan? This is a month. Four hours and ten minutes. What the fuck? All right. I got to get out of here. We got to go. Thank you, guys. Be back tomorrow morning with Leftovers. Be back on Friday after dark. You know what it is. It's the H3 Podcast. We're here all the time. See you next time.